Block 1 Audiobook Title Apocalypse Fantasy 00 to 153 by Dan Nepzen Prologue Announcement This is my first ever writing a novel I hope I did great writing it I don't know if I made a mistake or not hope you guys like it Question mark Poff I remember it clearly of the past I used to know I was enjoying a fun trip with my family I was happy at that time hanging out with everyone but I never expected that that would be our last trip. Third person poff. On a street in a burning city, a man with wolf ears and tail is running with a little girl in his arm. A woman is following behind him, also have wolf ears and tail. Both of them are sweating except the little girl. She was scared. She also has wolf ears and tail. Ha, running running as fast as they can. D dad, little girl. He looks at the little girl in his arm. He then says a relaxing word. It's okay it's okay it's fine now, dad. Honey, he looks at the woman beside, running with him. It's okay, we can make it, dad. Mom, little girl. The little girl looked at her mom. She only smiled at her. Don't worry don't be scared we will be okay, mom. All of them are running. They heard sounds of screaming everywhere they go. Help R. Save me. Bang. 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 Boom. MM my leg. Woo bang. 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 Explosion happening, sounds of crying and despair everywhere. Then, woo, he looks in front and sees a metal skeleton or a droid holding a gun. It was looking at him. Take Liana and go, Dad. While giving the little girl to the woman's arm, he looked at the droid in his sight. Be but, Mum, just go, Dad. D Dad, little girl, the woman is crying while looking at him. Without looking back, she hurries and ran in the other direction, away from him. Dad, Dad, Dad. Little girl, don't worry, your dad is strong, he will be fine, mum. The woman runs as fast as she could with the little girl in her arms away from the place where he was. Bang, bang, bang. The only thing the little girl heard is that sound, that was ringing from where her dad is. Liana Poff. Why why is this happening? Don't worry don't worry don't worry, mum. My mum while patting me on the back of my head with her gentle hand kept running on a small street. Woo clang. Clang, clang, woo clang, clang, clang. The only thing I heard is the sound of something running to us in the distance. My mum stopped and looked at a small rubble opening. She looks at me with crying eyes. She runs to the place and put me down inside the small rubble opening. I look at my mum. Mum? Liana. Mum looks at me with her warm, gentle eyes that were crying, and she smiled at me. Liana, mum. Mom put her hand on my head and gently brushes my hair a few times and said with a gentle voice, Mommy loves you and I know this is very sad but, Mom, clang, 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 the sound is getting closer, tears coming from my eyes as I look at Mom, she puts one of her fingers on her lips, then she said, Liana I want you to be quite high I know it's hard, but whatever happens please always be strong, Mom, my mom hugged me very tightly. I also hug her back, after a couple of seconds, she pushed me back, and she got up look around, and find a metal sheet beside her leg mom then grab the metal sheet and look at me. Mom? Liana. Mom only smiled as she was looking at me. She then put the metal sheet in front of me, blocking the small rubber opening with me inside it. Liana please stay strong, okay? I love you, mom. Mom? Liana, the last thing I heard is mom's footsteps echoing and then the sound of clanging follows it, boom, boom, I I R. Liana, everything started shaking, I fall down on the floor and I quickly tried to get up but then, boom, R. Liana, a big explosion came and the place I was at started shaking a lot, I fell down and hit my head on a rock, the rock also sliced my lower right cheek while also knocking me out, silently my vision darkens then something, wait, I saw a happy family, it's, not my family, a mum, dad, a younger brother and sister, what am what is this, wait who am I, then everything went dark, third person poff, hey hey hey, smile, a family is having fun going on a trip, a woman is taking a picture with a girl, h hey, mum, it's embarrassing, girl, looking at her mum with a red face, the girl told her, ha ha ha, one chan is cute, the girl looks behind her to see a little girl smiling happily at her and made the girl's cheeks bright red, she then put her hand on her face to cover it up. Well, that's my little girl for you. Hey dad, that will just make her more embarrassed, you know. 
The girl looks to the side and sees two guys, one is her father and one is her little brother. Well, this trip is fun, right? Little sister. She looks at her little sister and smiled. Yeah, girl. After having fun on the trip, the family is happy we're all walking on a street full of people. Ah oh, by the way in San you have a mid-test next week right? Little brother. Ah oh, yes well I got to study again now, sigh, girl. Ha ha. You don't have to worry about that because you will do great as always. Dad. The girl smiled happily as she heard that she then runs in front jumping three times did a twist and look back at her happy family. Yep and I will always stay str, girl. Crash. Peang. Peang. Teary eye. Everyone looks at the source of the sound and saw a car crash nearby a car and a truck crash together. The crash made the truck driver to the side of the road and the truck is running at fast speed too. The girl crush. The only thing the girl saw was her family running to her, while her vision started going darker and darker. Processing detection. What? The girl heard a computer voice, targeting target found. Wait. What is going? Proceed with reincarnation. 10%, 20%, 40%, 70%, 99%, 100%. Way I. Starting process of world transfer world found determined location place found finding host host found proses memory locks down active when the user is in critical condition processing. Smile. Good luck us hash er buzz l a and hash buzz p l a hash a hash buzz sa s hash buzz buzz u u hash buzz pung. And everything went dark. 81. Chapter 1 System. Liana Poff. System processing. I heard a sound somewhere. Processing complete. What's going on? I tried to open my eyes. User, please wake up. HG. Liana. I open my eyes slowly to see rubble of broken buildings. I look around and see a small light in the distance. Gah it hurts. Liana. I touch my right cheek with one of my hands to feel something. I look at my hand and see blood. Shock and panic are what I was feeling right now. But I tried to calm myself down by taking a couple of deep breaths. Okay okay calm down Miha. Liana. I got up and looked around the place is quite cramped but because I am small I'm a wait. Eh? Liana. Wait wait wait. Why is my voice high pitched? Wait I am a girl. But why does it sound younger? I look down to see that I am a little girl. Eh? Wah. Liana. I then got a headache out of nowhere. Eh? Liana. Then my memory started to hit me. I, I was hit by a truck and wait. I also saw my mom's R. A. Wait where am I hers? Liana. Looking at my body I was wearing a white one piece clothing nothing more I think. I then look at my small hands. I have so many questions right now. Why am I here? What is going on? Uh, what is happening? Liana. I scratch my head with my other hand that is no blood and tighten my other hand as I was scratching my head I suddenly touch something wait what is this feeling it feels soft and fluffy? And it felt weird. I grabbed it and stroke it with my hand. It's twitching. It kinda felt like ears. Animal ears. Brush brush. I then heard something brushing behind me. I look behind to see. A tail. Wait what? Liana. Use a secure starting system. I then heard a computer voice, I look around to see nothing was there at all, W who is there, Liana, then a rectangular screen showed up in front of me, that shocked me, what is this, hello user, I am the system, system, Liana, I am tasked to help the user in this world by the creator, wait what, what's happening now, W what do you mean, Liana, as he or she was saying that, I raised my hand to touch the screen, but it went through it, a hologram, how does this work? You have died and was reincarnated to this world, and I was tasked to help you on your journey in this world. I suddenly stop on track as he or she said that. Wait I died? Liana. Yes, you have died. I was shocked. Wait isn't this setting like one of the novels my little brother is reading? Is this like the Ice Kai novel about how you died and got reincarnated to a fantasy world with an rebounds per game system? Like I can look at my stats and all like I'm playing a game? Liana. Yes and yes you can. The system put a long rectangular screen in front of me. Name. Liana Gender. Female. Wolfkin. Age. 5 Job Class. None LVL. 1. HP. 100 100 MP. 50 50. ATK. 5 Def. 1 Mag. 5 Dex. 10 Int. 10 Luck. 5. Skill. Fire Magic LVL 1. Lock. Earth Magic LVL 1. Lock. Wind Magic LVL 1. Lock. Water Magic LVL1, Lock, 
Lightning Magic of the L2 Passive Skill, Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Senses Danger System, Hidden Skill, Void Magic of the L1 Dark Magic of the L1 Lock Light Magic of the L1 Lock Creation Magic of the L0 Lock, Hide Status L the L Max Active, Titles, Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Helper Okay, that's a lot of things to see from my status screen but okay let's check I know some like HP, MP, ATK, DEF, MAG, and the others and job class R, that's classes ok I played a lot of rebounds per game games when I have free time at home wait a second, I'm 5 years old and a wolfkin wait, like I'm a beastkin with wolf features okay enough of that, I look at my status screen again, I wonder what does the others stands for passive skill hidden skill one of them is mechs and the titles also what do the lock and active mean then another screen showed up passive skill skills that will always activate and can't be deactivated enhanced hearing can hear a lot more easily from long or short distances enhanced smell can pick up a lot of sense and smell easily from long or short distances senses danger can feel danger from any places if they raised bloodlust or dangerous thought system can access the system menu skill, your common skill can get more by learning fire magic of the L1, lock, can use fire magic, can't be used, earth magic of the L1, lock, can use earth magic, can't be used, wind magic of the L1, lock, can use wind magic, can't be used, water magic of the L1, lock, can use water magic, can't be used, lightning magic of the L2, can use more lightning magic, hidden skill, a secret skill that can be unlocked on certain condition. Void magic of the L1, can use void magic. Dark magic of the L1, lock, can use dark magic, can't be used. Light magic of the L1, lock, can use light magic, can't be used. Creation magic of the L0, lock, impossible to use creation magic for now, can't be used. Hide status LVL max, active, hide your real stats. High status recheck to low status, passive skill hidden, hidden skill hidden, titles hidden. Titles, names that were granted can get more by getting more achievement on certain condition. Reincarnator, can only get from someone who is reincarnated from another world effect get two times more exp. Lone Wolf, the one who survives an onslaught alone effect skill stats increase by five times when fighting alone. Survivor. Survive one of the most dangerous situation effect increase health regeneration and defense up to 10 times when near death for 10 second. System helper. The one who is blessed by the system creator to help the world in need effect access to the system. Liana. That's a lot of information. Now I've seen everything is this not um quite up? Well not that much but maybe what's this about the blessing part? Now that's a very unexpected blessing. Well thank you. Liana. I said that, but I don't hear any sound or a screen popping out saying something. Um system? Liana, no answer at all I cited what should I do now? I wonder if my family is alright I can only look at this small light not only that, but I have this little girl's memory and well, it hurts. I shake my head a couple of times trying to remember what happened. Okay listen to me. I have to be strong because I am wait eh? Liana, I, I don't remember my name. Wait, why? I started to panic again, but I only know one thing, always be strong and think of something. How did I forget my name in the first place? I then started thinking about what I know that is happening from the little girl's memory or maybe Liana's memory but what about my memory? I, I only remember everything from until I was hit by that car but wait this can't be right. Why did I forget my name out of all things? I shake my head left and right and then look in front and saw a small light in the distance in front of me. Okay, I will think about it later, first priority is to get out of this place. I got up and started walking to the light. Then I felt my right cheek burning or hurting. And uh, my cheek, Liana, my right cheek hurts, maybe because of what happened. I sighed again as I kept moving to the small opening while enduring the pain. The exit was blocked by a metal sheet I can see that the metal sheet is bent a little as I saw light from the bend I tried pushing the sheet if it can be moved. HG. Ark. Liana. Seriously, 
Why is it so hard to push? Something is blocking it from behind. System pops out a window in front of me telling me what I was trying to know. I look at it again and sighted now how am I supposed to get out of here now? Advice using magic. Thank you again. System you are a helper. I then noticed something and started thinking how do I use magic? System. How do I use magic? Liana, with imagination and also, magic can only activate by knowing what it does and how it works. Alright okay I am very smart, with my studies in my school and I always got high scores in every class. I look at my status again, I can only use thunder magic I wonder why is the other element lock except for void, but I'll try thinking about that later first. I need to get out of here. Let me think lightning is the same as thunder. So magnet, shockwave, I imagined something then I look in front and raised my hand aiming at the metal sheet, shockwave, then an electric shockwave was shot from my hand to the metal sheet, bang, break, brack, bank, ping, pang, plang, pang, the metal sheet flew off with a couple rubble and makes a loud sound while it started falling down to the ground, Liana, um this might be bad I then walk out from the little rubble opening to see, rumble, Rumble, ta 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 ta, boom, boom, a chaotic world. I saw a ravine in front of me, broken building around it, and flames spending everywhere, guns blazing up to the dark sky while explosion is happening everywhere. I thought to myself, I wish I was reincarnated in a regular fantasy world like in the novel, not something like this. 70, Chapter 2 Hollow Droid. Liana Poff. After seeing that view I can't really tell what is going on anymore. I look around and found a path leading somewhere to the left side of the ravine. I followed that path since it's the only path I see there while also trying to be cautious of what is around me. After some time walking I only see rubble of broken buildings along the way. The place is very quiet, and it was making me nervous. Dang! Exclamation mark Liana. I flinch and look at the place where the sound is coming from. There I see an empty can of soda falling from a bench near me. I breathe a long sigh then walked forward slowly again. Then my ears twitched. <laughs> Liana, I heard a sound in front of me it's pretty far but because of my enchanted hearing I have, I can hear it from here. Clang 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 clang. I remember that sound. My face went pale as I look around to find a cover somewhere. I saw a broken building cover or rubble on the side of the road that I might be able to hide behind. I quickly hide behind it. Clang. 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 I slowly raised my head to see the thing there. There I saw. A robot armed with a gun its eyes are at the body is the same as the droid from Stahash Wahash kinda. Just a different design. Its body is grey, and it's holding what looks like a handgun it is looking around the place, and it seems to be trying to find something or someone. Good thing it didn't see me. But what to do now? Advice defeating it. The system said that to me by putting a rectangular panel or a screen beside my face. I then look at where the robot or droid is again. I wonder if I can look at its stats. You can. Eh? Liana. I was dumbfounded. Wait really? How? Liana. Just by looking at it and saying appraisal inside or outside your mind. Okay. Thanks. Liana. The system didn't respond to that. I then look at the robot and use appraisal. Hollow droid. LVL 15 HP 150 150 MP 00 Ah, it works but, I can only look at its name, level, HP, and MP but that's a cool name, okay, its HP is around 150, and it seems that it doesn't have any MP but, level 15? Liana talk about a high difference of level I am still level 1 oi, can I even defeat it? Liana, yes you can the hollow droid is weak to lightning magic. Ah, thank you for the tip system. Why didn't I think of that? Of course, its weakness is electricity it's a machine. I then think a little about what move should I use. I look at how much MP I got by doing an appraisal of myself. Liana, LVL1, HP, 100 100, MP, 40 50. So, I can quickly look at my main stats myself by using appraisal that's a good thing to know. Okay, let's see. Shockwave, uses 10 MP. Better save it for later. I then started thinking of another move that might be more effective. Shockwave is pretty much a burst type that uses the impact force of the electrical field so something that can stun them. Ah, I then think of a way. Effect of shutting down electronic devices with high-pitched sound low cost. Easy to use. I then made a gun pose on my hand aiming at the hollow droid. EMP shot. 
Liana. Then a small wave of electricity shoots out from my hand. Ping. Patush. Buzz. 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 The droid was coiled with the electric current before it fell. I look at my MP with appraisal again. Liana. LVL1. HP. 100 100. MP. 35 50. Okay good. That only use 5 MP that's great. Then I will use EMP shot for the moment. Clacking. The droid fell down. And I went in and got close to the droid. It looks at me with its red eyes. I was a little scared but. Advice grab the hollow droid weapon. I grabbed the handgun with my hand and unexpectedly. It was light. Even now it should have been heavy right? Because of title low and wolf strength is 5 times more. And you can easily lift things that weigh 10 pounds. My mouth opened wide from that answer from the system. Okay then I can say I'm pretty strong. I then named the handgun in my hand at the droid's head. Liana. I I never shoots a real gun before in real life. I know how to shoot but. Well, I did play some FPS game with my little brother. So I have some knowledge on how to do it at least. But this is still a new experience for me so. As I was still thinking suddenly. Woo -woo, you are. Liana. The droid got up. And I move back from it a couple of steps back. The droid look at me with its red eyes and move slowly to me. Don't come any close. Liana. I said that. But the droid still keep moving to me. I then name at its head. I am warning you. Liana. It's still moving to me. While I step back I then hit a wall behind me. The droid is still walking toward me. I was sweating. I quickly aimed the handgun at the head of the droid and pull the trigger. Cluck. Bang. Click buzz. Buzz. Clacking. I shoot. And the bullet hit the droid in the head. And it fell down. Level up. I breathe a sigh of relief. I then look at my status. Name. Liana. Gender. Female. Wolfkin. Age. 5. Job class. None. LVL. 10. HP. 1000 1000. MP. 500 500. ATK. 50. Def. 10. Mag. 50. Dex. 100. Int. 100. Luck. 50. Skill. Fire Magic LVL 1. Lock. Earth Magic LVL 1. Lock. Wind Magic LVL 1. Lock. Water Magic LVL 1. Lock. Lightning Magic LVL 2. Passive Skill. Enhanced Hearing. Enhanced Smell. Senses Danger. System. Hidden Skill. Void Magic LVL 1. Dark Magic LVL 1. Lock. Light Magic LVL 1. Lock. Creation Magic LVL 0. Lock. Hide Status LVL Max Active. Titles. Reincarnator. Lone Wolf. Survivor. System Helper. Nanny. Big Status Boost. Title Effect Reincarnator Active. R. The two times EXP boost I forgot about that. I look at the remains of the droid. I wonder if I can store it. Liana. You can. Eh hey, really? Liana. Void magic can be used to store items. Ah yes. Liana. But. I look at the droid in the ground. How? Liana. By touching it and think about storing it. Ah thanks. Liana. The system didn't reply and that just made me sad. I then touch it and try to think about storing it and the droid turn into light and got suck into my hand. I was a little shocked but good to know I can store it. Now how do I get it out after storing it? Liana. By just imagine grabbing the item you want and pull it out. Ah thank you. Liana. And the system didn't answer. This is going to take a while to get used to. I then kept walking around and found more droids. But I managed up to beat all of them and level up a couple of times on the way and I also managed to find a convenience store there too. I got some food now. So I'm happy with that at least and put everything in my inventory. I keep going around looting things that might be useful from the droids that I beat. I got some bullet rounds for the gun it used and some mags I found from the droid. All of them are using handguns not other types of guns. I also grab their body for a reason because I like looting and somehow my storage is quite big. Even though my void magic is LVL1 I have a very big inventory. I kept going around and started grinding the droids for a while before taking a rest on a shade somewhere. Third person poff. This is Echo Squad does anyone copy? A guy looking like military police say that. He has two horns on top of his head he was walking on a street while looking around with his gun ready he was talking on a radio in his hand but. Buzz buzz damn. He looks around but didn't see anything in his sight. The sound of gun firing around the city already stopped, and the flame also already died out some hours ago. So now everything is quiet. 
Great already got separate from my squad and I don't know where I am in this goddamn city. He then kept moving forward gun raised while still being cautious of what's around him. 59 Chapter 3 Looks and Encounter Liana Poff It's been a couple of hours now, maybe. Since I've been grinding the droids I wonder how strong I became now. I'm just moving around the place destroying every droid I see on sight. Actually, I haven't looked at my stats at all since I was grinding, yet maybe I should try looking at it now. I open up my status screen and see. Name, Liana. Gender, female. Wolfkin. Age, 5. Job class, none. Class available. LVL, 36. HP, 3600-3600. MP, 1800-1800. ATK, 180. Def, 36. Mag. 180. Dex, 360. Int, 360. Luck, 180. Skill, Fire Magic LVL1, Lock. Earth Magic LVL1, Lock. Wind Magic LVL1, Lock. Water Magic LVL1, Lock. Lightning Magic LVL3, Plus Up. Gun Mastery LVL1, Plus New. Passive Skill, Enhanced Hearing. Enhanced Smell. Senses Danger. System, Hidden Skill. Void Magic LVL1, Dark Magic LVL1 Lock, Light Magic LVL1 Lock, Creation Magic LVL0, Lock, Hide Status LVL Max Active, Titles, Reincarnator, Lone Wolf, Survivor, System Helper, OK, More Big Boost, I got another skill, and it's Gun Mastery ha, huh? well, I kept using guns while fighting the droids so no wonder, my Thunder Magic also level up that's good to know. I can use more advanced spells now, right? And class available? I can change the class now? How do I change class? Liana. Then a screen showed up in front of me. Class available. Gunner. Improve gun performance. Mage. Improve magic performance. Scavenger. Improve looting performance. Magic gunner. Additional effect on guns. Guns can now use magic and bullets when shooting. Okay. There are four classes that I can choose from. But I wonder what happened if I choose one. The advised class can't be changed later on except if you have the skill class change your option to switch class. Ah, that might be bad if I pick a bad one. I'll think of choosing the classes later. I then start walking again on the road with my gun ready. Third person poff. On a dark parking lot below a building. Cho Wu, a big red eye is glowing in the dark. It also has a big body and four long legs. Drub. 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 It started moving and a small tremor was made when its leg touches the ground the big red glowing eyes started to walk somewhere inside the dark parking lot. Liana Poff I kept walking on the street while also thinking about things, mainly about what was happening to me and what to do now in this desolated city. Liana I look up at the dark cloudy sky that is no light only grey clouds, I then felt something hitting my cheek, I touch my cheek with my hand and looked at my hand, water, rain? Liana. I look up towards the sky again and, it started raining I started running quickly to find shelter from the rain. I found a nearby bus stop with a roof beside a parking lot I took cover there for now. My clothes were soggy and that's not good it's pretty cold. I look around to see if there's any place to go then I see that the parking lot is beside a mall. I also saw an entrance to the mall was wide open, and it's quite close to me from here. So I ran out from the bus stop towards the entrance of the mall while it's still raining. When I look inside the place it's rather dark inside, it feels like something you see in a horror zombie movie or game it gave shivers down my spine but for some reason, I can see pretty well in the dark. I wonder why? Additional ability have been added to status screen. I was taken aback by that pop-up screen in front of me, so I open up my status screen. What does that mean? Name, Liana. Gender, female. Wolfkin. Age, 5. Job class, none. Class available. LVL, 36. HP, 3600-3600. MP, 1800-1800. ATK, 180. Def, 36. Mag, 180. Dex. 360. Int, 360. Luck, 180. Skill, Fire Magic LVL1, Unlocked. Earth Magic LVL1, Lock. Wind Magic LVL1, Lock. Water Magic LVL1, Lock. Lightning Magic LVL3, Gun Mastery LVL1. Passive Skill, Enhanced Hearing, Enhanced Smell, Enhanced Aze, 
plus new senses danger system, hidden skill, void magic LVL1, dark magic LVL1 lock, light magic LVL1 lock, creation magic LVL0 lock, hide status LVL max active, titles, reincarnator, lone wolf, survivor, system helper, ah, I can finally use fire magic, great, and what do the enchanted eyes do, skill, enchanted eyes, let you see mana and dark places easily, R. now I can see in the dark and see mana, well, that's a good thing, I then move inside the dark mall, after walking a little from the entrance, this place is very quiet, Liana, I didn't hear any sound or anything alike at all here, Hucky, Liana, I sneeze, and it echoes around the place, but it's a good thing that didn't attract anything, I better hurry and get some new clothes first it's freezing, I look around the place and see a clothing shop in the distance, I moved in and stop at the entrance of the clothing shop, I wonder if I might trigger something dangerous here if I shoot my gun inside the mall accidentally, Liana, advice to use magic because gun makes loud noises, okay, then, Liana, I put my gun in my inventory and walk into the clothing store, good thing it didn't trigger any alarm or something the clothing store is quite empty no droids or anything that can be dangerous only clothes and nothing else. There I found some clothes for kids my age, well, I'm a 5 year old anyway, I grab some clothes that fit me and go inside the changing room, after finish changing clothes I got out of the changing room, I am now wearing a short black skirt and a white t-shirt and also a light blue jacket, but the jacket is a little too big for me, but it's quite comfy to wear, the skirt has a hole in the back actually and that's a good thing because I don't need to force my tail inside now, my hand didn't even reach the end of the jacket ah, I also didn't forget undergarments like underwear uck, I can't even wear a bra since my chest is non-existent, I cry, well, there is a sports bra for kids so I'll use that, I also pack some other clothes and put them in my inventory, ok that's done, Liana, I then saw a mirror beside a wall on the side I walk to it and look at myself in the mirror, I was quite shocked actually because I didn't actually look at myself at all since the time I was reincarnated, but for a 5 year old little girl, I look quite grown up maybe beast can grow up faster than other races, I look cute with my long black hair and blue eyes and add the wolf ears and the tail and ears just make it even cuter, if it's not for the scar on my right cheek, but still, cute from my perspective the scar makes it quite unique in some ways, I'm happy with how I looked and for some reason, my tail started moving around a lot, then my ears twitched, question mark Liana, I heard a sound coming from somewhere, I moved out of the clothing shop and look around it seems to be coming from the center of the mall, I have a bad feeling about this, advice to be cautious, I take a deep breath and ready myself as I walked slowly to the center of the mall, it didn't take long for me to get there but the sound stops when I got there, the center place is a large open area with nothing in it, I look up, and it seems that it pretty high up it around 5 floors, I move a little closer to the center area while I ready myself for any attacks that might come out of nowhere, step step step, the sound of my footsteps is making me very scared, but I have to be strong, I then saw something and it's, a dead body, I was terrified, and my face went pale, there are 5 dead bodies all of them are wearing military police clothing 3 of them are on the ground cut in half from their belly, 1 is hanging on the side of a pole on my right with a big cut on its body, the last one got stuck on a wall this might be bad but all of them have assault rifles, and it was all in the ground in front of me, I can't shake the feeling of wanting to get one, I walk closer to one of the dead body making slow steps while trying to not make any sounds, I slowly bent down and touch the gun as I look around, phew, Liana, okay nothing ha, huh? grumble, grumble, exclamation mark Liana, I store the gun in my inventory and ran back away from there, then crack, 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 the ground in the center of the area started cracking and boom, an explosion came and send waves of dust and rocks flying everywhere good thing that the rocks didn't hit me, but I have to close my eyes from the dust. As I opened my eyes slowly I see, thin and crush, thin and crush, two big giant pincers the size of a car came from the big black hole on the ground, 
As I kept looking at it with my mouth opened wide I then saw its body slowly going up. Go woo. A big red eye giant robot was looking at me and the size of the body is around two bus stacks on vertically. Drub. 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 And I see two more pincers grabbing the other ledge of the hole. It got up and stretched its legs making its body go up as high as the second floor of the mall. Yep. I see where this is going. I should have already known when I got myself to an open area. Ting. That big guy is looking at me. I slowly take a step back. This is a boss room is it? Liana. Thinan. It raises its big pincer at me. I was petrified and can't move my body and can only look at the pincer that is swinging at me. I closed my eyes. But then I heard a voice. Look out. Someone grabbed me from the side and pincer missed me. Boom. The pincer hit the floor and made a loud sound. I opened my eyes to see that I was carried by someone in a princess carry style. I then look at the one who just saves me. It's a guy with two horns on his head wearing military police clothing with a police helmet on his head that was blocking his face. I can't see his face from the helmet. Are you alright kid? Question mark. <laughs> Liana. I nodded at him. He then put me down and look at the big robot with his gun aiming at it. The gun he was using is an assault rifle. This is going to be tough. He looks pretty exhausted from his heavy breathing I heard. I raise my hand to him. I I can help. Liana. There's no way you can help with that small body of yours kid. Question mark. I I can use magic. Liana. He looks at me silently. And then he looked at the big robot and sighted. Okay. But stay beside me. I can't do it alone anyway. And I guess I don't have a choice now. I nodded and look at the big robot. Thanang drub. Thanang drub. Thang. Thang. The big robot looks at us ready to attack us with its pincer opening and closing. We also readied ourselves. And the battle with the giant robot start. 62. Chapter 4 Defeating the Big Robot Part 1. Third person poff. Inside a mall somewhere. Boom. 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 The sounds of explosions can be heard making little thermos all around the mall. On the inside. Two people are fighting a big robot. One of them is wearing military police clothing and was shooting with a gun in his hand and on his other hand he was carrying a little girl wearing simple clothes, and she was shooting magic at the big robot. Liana Poff. ta 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 EMP shot. Liana. Boom. 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 We are fighting the big giant robot right now. The guy carrying me is shooting it with the gun that he had, and I was shooting magic at it too but. Ping. Plang. Plang. Pong. Purchase purchase purchase. The bullet got deflected because of its strong armor and my magic can't even get through its armor as well. Gu Wong. Tainan. Wash. TCH. Mr. Liana. Boom. The giant robot swings its pincers at him, but he evades it with a roll to the right while still carrying me. The pincers hit the floor behind him, and it accidentally got stuck on the ground. With that happening. He aims his gun at the giant robot's head and shoots at it. ta 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 Ping. Plang. Pang. Pong. But the bullet didn't even dent it at all. Where the hell is its freaking weak point? Mr. Cramble. Cramble. Boom. Wash. The pincer that got stuck forced its way out of the floor and flew towards his back. Watch out. Shock wave. Liana. I shoot an electric wave to the pincer and manage to knock it back from hitting him. He looks behind and shoots at the pincer with his gun. ta 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 Ping. Pang. Picus. Pong. <laughs> Liana. I think I heard something there. The pincers move back and grab the ledge of the big hole. The big robot body is pretty much at the center of the hole and the four pincers is securing its body from falling down the hole. Three pincers. Actually. One of them is attacking us but wait a second here. I look at the pincers that are holding the body in place. As I look closer it seems to have some damage on it. R. I look at the guy and shouted to him. Mr. The pincers is its weak point. Liana. He looks at the pincers and lowered me down to the ground. And then he gave me a thumbs up at me. He then aims his gun at it and shoots his gun at the pincers that were holding one of the walls. ta 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 Picus. Pang. Plang. Picus. Buzz. Buzz. Gawoo. Two of its pincers move. One of its pincers grabs a pillar breaking it, but the pillar is still standing. The other pincer grabs the second floor and broke the floor there but the floor still manages to hold then the big robot's body. It then started rising its body up till it reaches the second floor. The robot big red eye locked on to us and then its front body started opening and kicking. Plang. 
Chuck, I see two big heavy machine guns or HMG for short open up in its body, I shouted at him, Mr. Liana, exclamation mark Mr. He then runs towards me, grabbed me and started to run as fast as he could. The machine guns started shooting at us as we ran to avoid the bullets. The bullets came and went, flying everywhere in every direction around us. But luckily we didn't get hit by it and managed to get to cover behind a pillar somewhere, but it's still firing its machine guns at us. Ra 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 Brick. Bruck. Brack. Breek. Well that's just great, Mr. Clacking. Packack. Chuck. The guy changes his gun mag while looking at the big robot behind the pillar with me. The pillar won't be able to hold for long since it started to crack a lot from machine gun fire. I quickly started thinking of something to do. Okay, think, think. What can I do right now to stop that thing? I look at the big robot in the middle of the hole shooting at us with its machine guns. I then try using appraisal at the big robot. Spider Walk with Eager Type Mark V, LVL 50, HP, 120,950, 350,000, MP, 00. Liana, okay, let's think about that later because that doesn't help. My brain is going to blow up because of the differences in stats. I look around and saw that one of its pincers was badly damaged from the shots that he was shooting at with his gun, which could be useful. I then started looking around. When I look up I saw something in the top layer of the floor up in the ceiling. It's a gigantic TV screen. If I'm right, if it falls it might hit the body and the badly damaged pincer of the robot for where it's standing. It just might work I just need a distraction. I look at him and pointed my hand at the TV screen on the top floor. Mister I think if that TV screen falls it may hit the giant robot and might cause the robot to fall and crash down into the hole. Liana, he looks at where I am pointing, but he shakes his head. There's no way I can make that fall with my gear, it is impossible since it has a steel part that has to be cut to get it to fall, Mister. I looked at the TV screen, and he is right I see a big steel pipe holding it in place behind it. I then closed my eyes and started thinking. Wait I got fire magic. I look at him again. I can cut it with magic. Liana, he looks at me. Ha? Huh? Really? Mister. He didn't seem to believe me. I have fire magic. I can cut it. Liana. I said to him with determined eyes. He looks at me then at the gigantic TV screen then at me again. After a couple of seconds. He cited, just be quick okay, I'll give you ten minutes, mister. Yes, Liana, he then started running out of the pillar and did support fire while also taking cover in some places. The giant robot started looking at the guy and kept shooting its machine guns at him. I ran as fast as I can from where I am to quickly find a way up to the second floor. There are five floors to get to the top floor. The gigantic TV screen is on the fifth floor of course. I run around and found a stair that is leading up to the second floor. I use that to go to the second floor. After climbing the stairs and now on the second floor I can see the robot's face from here, and it's still locking onto him and kept shooting its machine guns round him. I better move fast. Then I heard some sounds down there. Boom. Boom. I look down and see him throwing grenades on the pincers. It damages it a lot, but the robot is still hanging. I kept moving and found another stair that leads to the third floor. I climb up to the third floor and when I got there I see woo 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 three hollow droids in front of me great. I made a gun shape on my hand and use my skill. EMP shot. Liana pass I hi he. Buzz. Buzz. Clacking. I shoot my magic at it, and it hit the middle hollow droid and then I move to a cover on a nearby stool. The other two hollow droids aims its gun at me and started shooting at me. Bang. 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 Drub. Pung. Balang. I then move out from there and did a roll to the side while grabbing my gun from my inventory. I then aim it at the two hollow droids in front of me and pull the trigger. Pukik. Hit. Liana. Bang. Bang. Pitches. Buzz. Buzz. Clacking. Pukking. One of the bullets I fire hit the first droid in the head, and it falls down to the floor, but the other one got hit on the body. The one that got hit on the body is still standing and was still aiming its gun at me. Exclamation mark Liana. Bang. 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 I rolled to the side evading the bullet's butt. Strip. Ah. 
Liana, I failed to evade it and one of the bullets hit my left leg and I fell onto the ground. I aim my gun at the droid that was about to shoot me again and quickly pull the trigger. Bang. Bang. Click. Patches. Buzz. Buzz. Clacking. I shoot two times and all that hit its head the droid then falls to the floor and stops moving. I then started getting up. Uck. Liana, my left leg hurts so much I have tears in my eyes and my leg is bleeding quite a bit but I need to get going. I look at the stairs in front of me and move to the stairs while jumping a lot with my right leg while still bearing the pain in my left leg. But I stop since I almost forgot about something, my ears started flickering. Bang! 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 I quickly aimed my gun behind me and shoot three times. Click! Patches! Patches! Buzz! Buzz! Clacking! I heard something falling behind me. I look behind and see a droid on the ground with one bullet hitting its chest and the other in the head. Always double check, Liana. After seeing that there are no more droids anymore on the third floor aiming at me, I quickly moved up to the fourth floor while bearing the pain in my leg. It's hell climbing the stairs with my leg that got shot. After getting to the fourth floor I saw a lot of furniture blocking the way to the fifth floor. There's a lot of types of furniture here like chairs, tables, and other big things and it's pretty annoying because my left leg hurts right now, and I don't have time to go around it good thing all of them are made of metal. I aimed my hand at the furniture that was blocking my way and used my skill. Shock wave. Boom. Critching. Break. Balang. Pang. Boom. All the furniture that was blocking me got flung out of my way some of it got sent flying out of the fourth floor and falls to the first floor below. Some also got sent flying to some stalls nearby and destroyed them. I keep moving up the stairs not minding what happens at all to the fifth floor where the big TV screen should be at. Mr. Poff ta -ta 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 -ta. shooting my gun at one of the pincers and kept damaging it a lot but it was still not enough. Gu Wong TCH. Mr. Its machine guns moved and aimed at me and were about to fire but then. Bar. Break. Bram. Boom. Crack. Ra 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 ra. Some furniture out of nowhere fell from the sky and hit the big robot on top of its head shaking the robot up and messing up its shots. I managed to quickly find cover before it started looking around to find me again. Whatever happened there I say my thanks. 61. Chapter 5 Defeating the Big Robot Part 2. Liana Poff. I arrive on the fifth floor and walked myself to the gigantic TV screen I was also bearing the pain in my left leg that got shot last time the bleeding is still there but not that much anymore I moved to the ledge of the fifth floor to see what's going on below I heard the sound of gunfire still raging below. I look at the giant TV screen and it seems that it's quite high up in the ceiling. I look around but didn't see any ladders to go up there. My fire magic is only level 1 so I might be unable to melt it at long distance and my lightning magic won't do well again steel at long distance too. What to do now? Liana, I closed my eyes and started thinking, boom, 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 w wo, Liana, the small tremor came and made me lose balance a little but I'm still okay, crack. Liana, a cracking sound came from on top of me I look up to see that there is a crack on the rooftop near the TV screen. Liana, I then look at the crack then on the TV screen then on the crack again it's pretty close almost very close to it I then look around to see if there is a way to get to the rooftop. Ah, found it. Liana, I found an emergency exit door to my right at the edge of the wall I moved to the door and open it and I saw the stairs going down to the other floors but to get to the rooftop I need to climb a ladder the way to the rooftop is going up by ladder and that's not good my leg still hurts from the shot, huh? Liana, I took a long deep breath before going to the ladder and climbing up the pain in my leg is still there I also haven't checked my HP at all yet I use appraisal on myself. Liana LVL 35 HP, 1019 3500 bleeding MP, 855 1800. Okay, I lost a lot of HP. From that one shot to my leg that's a lot weight bleeding, bleeding, minus one horsepower every second. Oh if so I lose one horsepower every second, how much damage does that shot do? Liana, that shot did 2000 DMG. Big, how did the droid survive that shot then? It only has 150 horsepower, with my HP I will die with only 2 hits from them, how did the droid survive a bullet in the chest? 
liana, protective armor on the chest area and other parts of its body except for the head. Okay, thanks for the information. Let's move on. I climb up the ladder while bearing the pain in my leg. Mr. Poff, ta 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 shooting my gun on its pincer a lot of times but it's still standing. Seriously why the hell won't it fall? Ra 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 I evaded another barrage of bullets coming at me by moving to cover on a pillar. I look in front to see one of its pincers moved and was aiming at me. Crap. Mister. I move to the side and the pincer strikes the pillar beside me. Boom. Crumble. Crumble. The pillar falls and the pincer is stuck there. I aim at it and fire my gun. Ta 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 ta. Click. 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 TCH. Mr. Bullet out at this time. Ra 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 ra. I did a tactical roll while reloading my gun. Seriously, will the kid plan work? What is that kid doing right now? I aimed my gun again at the giant robot and started shooting. Liana Poff. Huh? Liana. I managed to arrive at the rooftop by ladder I was sweating non-stop right now I look up front and see the door to the roof I slowly walked there and tried opening the door chick chick it won't open I take a big sigh the door seems to be made out of metal so I raised my hand towards the door and use my skill shock wave liana boom packing pang brass the door flies a couple of feet away and falls to the rooftop floor I move out to felt the wind blowing around me I look around and saw the crack on the floor I then move to the crack hopefully it's the right one. Liana, but I wonder how will I blow it up? Advice using combination magic. Combination magic? Liana, yes a combination of two elements of magic. I then think I only have fire and lightning magic right now I wonder what I can do I look at the ground it's still sturdy even though it's cracked I might be able to soften it out with fire ah, I move back from the crack I then took out a droid part from my inventory combining fire and lightning elements fire to melt the ground beneath it and lightning to overheat the metal flaming arc flash Liana the droid part started to shake violently and glowing red I then throw it to the crack it started melting the ground beneath the crack and submerged itself on the ground I then wait a couple of seconds then boom an explosion was made and dust came flying out everywhere I cover my eyes to not let the dust get in my eyes. Once I open my eyes and look at the crack it made a hole for me to jump in I look at what's below the hole and see that it's the back of the TV screen where the metal pipe is. Might as well explained what my spell did I combined my fire magic and lightning magic. I use the fire magic to melt the ground and lightning magic to make the metal droid part explode. Arc flash is a thing in science. Using the power of electricity to a metal piece with a hollow out inside to evaporate it causing a burst of flame that explosion on sight from the inside the force of the blast is also very strong. Combine its power with fire to melt the ground beneath it will make the explosion bigger because of the force it generate and the ground blocking and heating it faster. I jump down from the hole I made and land down on the back of the TV screen. I saw the steel pipe beside me. I look at it and it's around 100 centimeters in diameter it's pretty big I made a gun pose on my hand and aimed it at the steel pipe and used my skill adding the power of compress flame adding oxygen as high energy blowtorch, patches. Then a small blue condensed flame was made in one of my fingers I then move my hand closer to the steel pipe and let the flame touch it. Chai. Great. It's melting it. I just need to keep this up. Mr. Poff. Boom. What was that? Mr. It came from the top floor I hope the kid is okay I look at the giant robot in front of me it stops firing its gun at me what is it doing now its eyes started to glow very brightly and then drub. Drub. Drub, 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 drub. I saw something opening on top of the robot. Wait, is that? Bus, pass, bus, pass, bus, pass. Oh my god. Mister, it fired missiles. The missiles were flying around the place, and one of them hit the floor beside me and flung me away. I managed to roll away from the explosion. Boom. It made a big explosion, but at least I managed to evade it. Another one hit the third floor and made the floor fall down to the second floor the last one hit the rooftop on the side and made some rubble falls to the first floor onto me? Uh, Mr. Boom. 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 I evade the falling rubble and managed to get out with only a scratch. Bus. Pass. Bus. Pass. Bus. Pass. It fired three more missiles it hit the second and fourth floor but one of them is going to. 
Lianapov, almost there, only 20 centimeters left then, boom, boom, you are, Liana, I grabbed a railing near me, I felt trembling everywhere what's going on down there, I almost fell and I have to stop cutting and started balancing myself here again then, sssssss, <laughs> Liana, I look down and see, a missile, Liana, boom, Kaya, Liana, the missile hit near me and a shockwave came shaking the gigantic TV screen with me on it, where did that come from, Liana, warning boss entered rage mode, wait seriously, Liana, oh no, what to do I better hurry up, then my ear twitched, eh? Liana, sssssssssssssss, I look down again and see a missile aiming at me, I use my skill fast, shock wave. Liana, packing. Buzz. Buzz, it hit the missile and stopping it from getting closer but then, crew you ing, ah not good, Liana, boom. The missile explodes in front of the gigantic TV screen and made a gigantic shockwave hitting the TV screen with me on it, you are. Liana, I grabbed onto the railing beside me so that I won't fall down but then I heard a sound, crack. <laughs> Liana, I look at the steel pipe and saw a crack my face went pale and I started sweating a lot, crack. Gacking. Go wrong. Go wrong. Go wrong. Cacking. AR. Liana. Working, and the gigantic TV screen falls with me on its back. KK Liana, 56, Chapter 6 Defeating the Big Robot Part 3 Plus Class Change. Liana Poff, Kiawa. Liana, I'm falling with the gigantic TV screen down to the first floor. B -b -b oh, ouch, that's a long fall and it hurts. I think all of my bones in my body broke like a certain drunk demolition man in a game somewhere. I try using an appraisal on myself, Liana, LVL 36, HP, 10 3600, MP, 1200 to low, I so about to die, title survivor active, R, the survivor title active, I feel better again, I look at my HP with appraisal, Liana, LVL 36, HP, 110 3600, MP, 1200 Okay good, I'm okay for now, it seems my HP raised plus 100 every second right now. Lucky that I have the survivor title getting my health regen and defense up to 10 times save my life for 10 seconds. I look around and saw the front part of the TV screen hit the badly damaged pincer of the robot destroying it in the process then. Critching, cronk, crock, crock, R, the TV screen started falling to the front, boom, kunk. It hit the body of the big robot and made a crack on its head. Crack. Brush. You are. Liana, the TV screen bent and made me slide down from the steel pipe, but I managed to stop myself from sliding by grabbing a broken piece of wire that was hanging beside me. I use appraisal on myself to see if I lost some HP from the fall again. Liana, LVL 36, HP, 1010 3600, MP. 1200 okay never mind my HP is at 1k now I'm okay I think crack 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 I heard sounds coming from the pincers that were holding the body in place I look at the floor where the pincer is grabbing it was cracking boos 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 and kia liana wound I fell down the black hole on the ground with a big robot mr. poff boom a large shock wave came from below the black hole on the ground where the kid fell. Kid. Mister. I better look for a way to get down there fast. The kid is with that big robot alone down there. Liana Poff. Drip. 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 And GH. Liana. I opened my eyes to see a big hole in the ceiling. Wah. Ah. I fell down the hole. I heard water dripping somewhere. Uck. Liana. I try to get up and look around while putting my right hand in my head. I felt dizzy. I look up at the big hole in the ceiling. That's quite the fall. I look at my HP by using appraisal on myself. Liana, LVL 36, HP, 510 3600, MP, 1800 1800. Okay, my HP dropped a half, and my MP is full at least, but I'm still very low on HP. Woo <laughs> Liana, I look in front of me and see. R. Liana, a big red eye in front of me it's the big robot I see that its body is broken and seems like its machine guns are both destroyed the body is covered with rubble as well making it unable to move. I saw a crack in its chest area and head, 
The crack on the chest is glowing red. I look at the big robot in front of me without saying anything. I slowly move to the big crack in its body my left leg seems to be alright now and doesn't hurt anymore. Maybe the survivor title heals it. I was about 10 feet close to its chest then. Crack. Crack. Exclamation mark Liana. Boom. The chest of the big robot burst open and bright light shone brightly at my eyes. I have to close my eyes because of the brightness. After that, the light started to fade. As it fades I slowly open my eyes and look at the big robot body. What I saw was a big red crystal inside and it's pretty sparkly. I slowly move to it but then. Goo woo oo oonk. Boom. 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 The big robot made a big sound and three of its pincer burst from the rubble and swing at me. I evade it by jumping back. Boom. 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 All three pincers hit the ground where I am at and made a crack there. I don't want to imagine myself getting hit by that. I use appraisal on the big robot. Spider Walk Eager Type Mark 5. LVL 350. HP 5700 350,000. MP 00. It seems that it only has a small amount of HP left but still big for me. I look in front and see that its pincers are protecting the crystal. I'm guessing. That crystal is the source of the big robot energy. I grabbed my gun from my inventory and aim at the crystal and shoot. Bang. Bang. Ting. Plang. But one of its pincers blocks my shots. Wash. I saw a pincer coming from the side to hit me. Boom. But I managed to evade it. I aim my gun at the pincer and pull the trigger. Bang. Bang. Click. Click. Out of bullets at the stupidest time. The pincers started to attack me because I am out of bullets. Whoa. You are. Liana, I can't reload my gun because of their attack. Slice. Eh? Liana, I got sliced from behind by a pincer. It hurts. I evade to the side avoiding another pincer that is trying to stab me. I look at my HP with appraisal. Liana, LVL 36. HP, 103,600. MPG, 1800, 1800. R? I'm very low right now. Whoosh. Liana, I evade a pincer by jumping to the side then I look at the big robot. Goo woo oo 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 It's big red eyes looking at me and its pincers are all aiming at me. What should I do? Available options change class. Then a screen pops up beside me. Change class. Ah, I haven't changed my class yet. I opened my status screen. Name. Liana. Gender. Female. Wolfkin. Age. 5. Job class. None. Class available. LVL. 36 HP 103600 MP 1800 1800 ATK 180 DEF 36 MAG 180 DEX 360 INT 360 LUCK 180 SKILL FIRE MAGIC LVL1 EARTH MAGIC LVL1 LOCK WIND MAGIC LVL1 LOCK WATER MAGIC LVL1 LOCK Lightning Magic LVL3 Gun Mastery LVL1 Passive Skill Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced A's Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Void Magic LVL1 Dark Magic LVL1 Lock Light Magic LVL1 Lock Creation Magic LVL0 Lock Hide Status LVL Max Active Titles Reincarnator Lone Wolf Survivor System Helper Class Change Liana. Then a screen pops out beside my status screen. Class available. Gunner. Improve gun performance like accuracy and critical shoot. Mage. Improve magic performance like stronger magic and easy spell cast. Scavenger. Easy to find rare things like a weapon and other stuff that might be useful also improve stealth performance. Magic gunner. Improve guns adding the ability to not use only bullets but magic with guns also improve the power of guns combined with magic while also adding elemental shoots for guns. Ah, it is more information than before but this is not the time to be thinking about that. I look at all the classes I can use. Gunner is good but very bad right now. Mage is great and all but I don't think it will do great in this situation. Scavenger might be useful but I am still in a very tight spot. Then there can only be one class right now that I can pick. Magic Gunner The information of this class is pretty good I can't really reload right now since the pincers will attack me when I do it. Class Change Magic Gunner Liana Are you sure? The class will not be able to be changed again except for certain conditions. Yes, Liana. Class change complete. Magic gunner class effect active. Elemental bullets are usable. New title and skill unlock. 
Okay, a lot of stuff happens. I open my status screen again. Name, Liana. Gender, female. Wolfkin, age, 5. Job class, magic gunner, plus new. LVL, 36. HP, 103,600. MP, 1800, 1800. ATK, 180 plus 100. Def, 36. Mag, 180 plus 100. Dex, 360. Int, 360 plus 100. Luck, 180. Skill, Fire Magic LVL1. Earth Magic LVL1. Unlock, Wind Magic LVL1. Unlock, Water Magic LVL1. Unlock, Lightning Magic LVL3. Gun Mastery LVL2. Plus up magic bullets mastery LVL1, plus new buff magic LVL1, plus new debuff magic LVL1, plus new passive skill, enhanced hearing, enhanced smell, enhanced A's, senses danger, system, hidden skill, void magic LVL1, dark magic LVL1 lock, light magic LVL1 lock, creation magic LVL0, lock, hide status LVL max active, titles, Reincarnator, Lone Wolf, Survivor, System Helper, Machine Breaker, plus new gun knowledge, plus new nanny. A lot of things are unlocked. Is this what you call lucky or just plain op? My ATK, MAG, an interrupt plus 100 that's a lot. I can now use Earth, Wind, and Water Magic Great. Gun Mastery also level up. And also Magic Bullet Mastery. Also new Magic Buff and Debuff huh? I also got two new titles Machine Breaker and Gun Knowledge. Okay, the Machine Breaker looks really cool and Gun Knowledge I wonder what that means? Then a screen pops up beside me. Skill, Magic Bullets Mastery. Use mana to create a bullet with elemental damage. Code to use, Charge Shots. Change Bullet Type Load. Name of Element, Bolt Fire. Buff Magic, Strengthen the one that got hit by this magic. Self shoot is available. Debuff magic. Weaken the one that got hit by this magic. Titles. Machine breaker. Breaking machine parts add more damage base on every successful part you destroyed or break. Only work for machines type enemy. Gun knowledge. Able to know any type of guns and know how to use it by just touching it. Okay. More cool things that I can do and use. I like the skill magic bullet mastery the ability to make bullets with mana it's awesome. The title is also very useful in so many ways right now. Gu Wang, I look up front and see one of its pincer moving at me. Let's try out my new magic, shall we? I aim my hand at the pincer and use a debuff effect skill. Slowing process. Lowering speed. Slow. Liana, I shoot the debuff magic I used to the pincer it hit it and the pincer started to slow down. I aim my gun at the pincer that is slowly moving to me. Change bullet type. Liana. Ching. Click, ching, clacking, clacking, trick, the gun I am holding then lights up, reload lightning bullet, Liana, click, buzz, buzz, I add a lot of mana to the bullet, electricity started to gather at the front barrel of the gun, the sound around me died out and became quite the only thing I heard is the buzzing sound of my gun charging up, buzz, buzz, fine, fire, Liana, ting, poo, you were, the knockback. The shot sends me back 10 feet behind. Poo. Break. Boom. What I saw is a straight line of light coiled with electricity hitting the pincer destroying it in the process before it hits the wall behind the big robot and made a big explosion. The force is big and the knockback is strong that I fell down on my butt from the shock. I look up front and saw. You are. Liana. Buzz. Buzz. Electricity still coil around me and my gun. Up front I see the remains of the pincer broken into little piece. And a gigantic crack on the wall behind the big robot. That's a lot of fire powers. Woo I look at the big robot and I saw that the other two pincers started to move towards me. I aim my gun at the pincers but, buzz, buzz. My gun is buzzing. I look at my gun to see that, the barrel melted. Crap. Liana. I evade to the side. Boom. Boom. I use appraisal on myself, Liana, LVL 36, HP, 103,600, MP colon 800, 1800, wow, that cost 1k MP, and why did my gun melt, too much mana was sent making the gun overheat, okay, 
Thank you system. I guess it was my fault that my gun overheats and melted. I throw the broken gun in hand to the ground and grab another one from my inventory. Seems like I still need to evade all of its attacks again. 60. Chapter 7 Defeating the Big Robot Part Final Mr. Poff Boom. A large shockwave came from below me. Mr. I look around again and tried to find a way down I then got an idea. I look to where the entrance of the mall is the parking lot should have an entrance going below. I hope the kid is okay, mister. I then ran outside of the mall and moved to where the parking lot is. Liana Poff. Boom. Boom. Uck. Liana. Evading the pincers is a tough job I look at the big robot and use appraisal on it. Spider Walk Quick Eager Type Mark 5. LVL 350 HP. 2900 350,000 MP. 0 0. Okay. Good it's below 3k HP now I look at my status with appraisal. Liana LVL 36 HP, 153,600 MP, 1,800. My HP got up a little I'm starting to get tired from evading its pincers good thing my agility is high so I'm not that tired yet. Wash wash. Ah. Liana I evaded another hit from the pincers by jumping back. Boom. Boom. The pincer hit the ground in front of me then, boom, exclamation mark Liana, the pincer shovel itself to the front and, arc. Liana, hit me I was sent 20 feet behind and hit the wall, boom, uh, Liana, drub, my vision started to go blurry I look in front and one of the pincers is about to hit me, title survivor active, then my vision and energy started to come back and I move my body to the side. Boom. I avoided the pincer and now it's stuck on the wall. I got up and move away from the pincer and look at the giant robot. Woong. It's about to attack me with its other pincer up in the air. I'm getting tired of this. Skill unlock. <laughs> Liana. I unlock another skill. I open my status screen. Name. Liana Gender. Female. Wolfkin. Age. 5 Job Class. Magic Gun Rel VL. 36. HP. 553,600 MP. 1,800 ATK, 180 plus 100 DEF, 36 MAG, 180 plus 100 DEX, 360 INT, 360 plus 100 LUCK, 180 SKILL, FIRE MAGIC LVL1 EARTH MAGIC LVL1 WIND MAGIC LVL1 WATER MAGIC LVL1 LIGHTNING MAGIC LVL3 GUN MASTERY LVL2 MAGIC BULLETS MASTERY LVL1 BUFF MAGIC LVL1 DEBUFF MAGIC LVL1 PASSIVE SKILL, HYPER EVADE LOW, PLUS NEW, ENHANCED HEARING, ENHANCED SMELL, ENHANCED AIS, SENSES DANGER, SYSTEM, HIDDEN SKILL, PERFECT EVADE LVL1, PLUS NEW, Void Magic LVL1 Dark Magic LVL1 Lock Light Magic LVL1 Lock Creation Magic LVL0 Lock Hide Status LVL Max Active Titles Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Break a Gun Knowledge RR Tilda What's this about evade skill? Maybe because I keep evading attacks that I unlock this passive skill Hyper Evade Low Have a low chance of evading any attack automatically Hidden Skill Perfect evade LVL1, when doing a perfect evade time will slow down for one second. Nanny, these two evade skills are op, but not to op but still hyper evade low seems to be a very useful skill even though it has a low chance of activating but the perfect evade yeah even if it's one second it's already very op I just need to evade perfectly I think I heard of this mechanic somewhere in a Chinese gacka game. Is it hoka hash? I don't know I'll think of it later. Swa hash. Whoa. A pincer came right in front of me I evade to the side and the pincer misses me by a hair breeze and then somehow something feels wrong I look at the pincer and I saw that the pincer suddenly slowed down for a second before hitting the ground, boom. Okay, I see a little delay there I guess perfect evade active, okay, I'm fired up. I look at the big robot in front of me I then use appraisal on myself. Liana LVL 36 HP, 1153600 MP. 1200 Okay. I can use lightning bullet one more time I ready my handgun. Change bullet type reload lightning bullet. Click. Buzz. Buzz. Haha. 
Liana, I take a deep breath and look in front of me the big robot moves its two pincers up in the air I look up front at the red crystal that was inside the big robot body glowing brightly I look at my gun then look in front again. Yo's. I take a running position lowering my body to the ground a little I only have one chance. I'm counting on your evasion skill. I then ran to the front where the giant robot is. Wash. Wash. The two giant pincers moved and swing itself towards me I evaded the first one. The second one follows suit but perfect evade active when I evade the first one and I manage to move to the side and evade the second pincer. I then kept running as fast as I can to where the big robot body is. Goo woo woo grumble, grumble, I saw something moving it's one of its marching guns wait that one is still working, bah, I stopped on my track I look in front and for some reason, I jump in the air wait how did I? Ra 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 I saw a line of bullets firing below me. I did 360 degree turn Madeira and then fall down elegantly to the ground in front of the big robot body I look in front and I see the red crystal. Are we? Liana. Well, I don't know what happened but maybe hyper evade active. Click. Buzz. Buzz. Fine. I aim my gun at the red crystal inside its body. Game over. Liana. And I pulled the trigger. Ting. Ooh, boo, ooh, ooh. A long line of light coiled with electricity hit the red crystal breaking it to piece then it penetrated the back armor of its body and the made a big hole before hitting the wall behind it I was knocked back a couple of feet behind when I fire. Woo ooh, ooh, ooh. The glowing big red eye faded and the pincers falls to the ground behind me. Boom. Boom. Buzz. Buzz. Buah. Buzz. Huh? Liana. Level up. I fall to the ground as well for exhaustion I look up to the open hole on the ceiling and raise my hand. I did it. Liana. I then look at the big robot I guess what remains of it now are that was a tough fight I close my eyes for a second that was really tiring. Fuff. Hmm? Liana. I saw the remains of the red crystal on the ground changing color to a light blue color it started to glow I slowly got up and moved to where that blue glowing crystal is and I looked at it then I grabbed it with my right hand. Ark. Liana, energy point found. Begin scanning. Memory in energy point found. Begin absorbing energy. Begin scanning memory. 1%, 2%. Something like E energy started to pour inside my body from my hand. My eyes are getting dizzy. 10%, 20%, 30%. I put my left hand on my head. I can't let go of the crystal on my left hand from some reason. Error detected. Calculating. Missing parts detected. Absorbing same wave energy around the area. I look around and see that the other broken crystal also started to glow light blue and blue particles started leaking out from the crystal into the air. Processing. Begin absorbing nearby energy. The blue particles then got absorbed by the crystal on my right hand and more energy started to pour into my body. My eyes started to feel heavy. Absorbing energy. Calculating. Memory found. Absorbing energy. Scanning memory. 40%, 60%, 70%. My eyes started to get blurry and my body feels a little heavy. I fell down to the ground with the crystal in my hand. 80%, 95%. I'm really tired. 99%. I slowly close my eyes. The only thing I heard before I black out is someone running towards me. Energy absorbed. Calculating. Memory restored. Automatically starting memory replay. Begin replay. 58. Chapter 8 Memory replay. Liana Poff. Buzz. Buzz. HG. Liana. Ah. My head hurts. I slowly opened my eyes. A. Eh? Liana. And find myself standing in a dark place. I looked around but I only saw darkness everywhere. Fip. I heard a sound behind me. I looked behind and saw a metal door in the distance. Fip. 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 The sounds came from inside the metal door. Liana. I look around again, and I didn't see anything except for the metal door. Seriously what's going on right now? Liana. I then tried opening my status screen. Liana. But it's not opening? I then tried using my magic and nothing is happened to. I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. Fip. 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 The sound is still there. The only option I can do is to open that metal door huh? I slowly move to where the metal door is. I saw the handle to open it. I slowly move my hand and grab the handle and turned it, clicking. <laughs> Liana. Okay this is scary, but I have to stay strong. I opened the door. Cree-e-e-ack. 
the door made a very scary sound and that just made me lost my confidence. I look inside while my trembling hands push the door open and what I saw was click, 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 fip, 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 root something like a lab. I then move inside. Bang. A loud sound came from behind me making me jump. I looked behind and saw the metal door closed. I ran to it and try opening the door, but it won't open at all. My face became pale. Glithang. I flinched and look around and I saw something or someone in front of me. I saw two people wearing lab coats maybe they are scientists? The two of them are watching a screen. This is remarkable. I heard the sound of one of them talking the sound is a lot like an echo for some reason. With this experiment I will be able to make a new revolution, the one that said that laugh out loud and then move towards me. I brace myself but he walks past me from some reason. Eh? Hey? Liana, can they not see me? The other scientists also start following the one that just walks past me. I also followed them since there's nothing I can do here other than follow them I guess. Dr. R the experiment is still unstable, it's dangerous to go down there. Nonsense. I can handle myself just fine. You just get the samples DRR with cold eyes. The scientist or DRR looks at the other scientist and kept walking. I followed them from behind. After walking for some time I found myself in front of a big door. I saw the other scientist use a card on a panel on the door. Clathang. Puss. The big door opens and they move in. I also follow them before the door closed. I look around and saw a lot of tools mainly stingers and the different colored liquid inside many glass containers. I look in front and saw a door and it was guarded by two hollow droids or something. The two scientists move to the door and the two hollow droids move away. I was a little shocked. Never thought that it moved to let them in. I usually saw them shooting at everything that is moving. Then they use another card on a panel in the door. Fuss. The door opens and they move in. I follow but a little too late the door closed before I could get to it. Damn. Liana, I look around to see if there is a way to get in. Gratang. Gratang. I heard a sound behind me. I look around and saw a girl coming in from the door I just came. Her hair and skin are white. She also has red ruby-like eyes and pointy ears and was wearing black clothes. She looks in front and saw the two hollow droids guarding the door. TCH girl. She clicks her lips and looks around. She looks to the right and then looks at the two droids. She moves to the side on the left hiding from the two droids at the door. I saw her grabbing something from her pocket. Is that a small screw? She looks at the two hollow droids seeing if they see her or not then she trow the screw to the right side. Ting. 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 Pip pip it. Pip pip it. Clang. 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 The two hollow droids move to where the screw is. Hugh easy well it was a type 1 and was very dumb will only attack if the person have a weapon and try to investigate something if they heard a weird sound that's why there's always a security team around but it seems that there's none here girl. The girl then moves to the door and pulls out something in her pocket, it looks like a phone, she turns it on and puts it in front of the panel on the door. Click. Buzz. Buzz. Fuss. The door opens and she moves in I follow her in before the door closed behind me. The place is a little dark but I can see some stuff around the room. It's mainly computer panels and a lot of them. The girl moved to one of the panels turns it on and starts looking at it. I also look at it and what I saw is, huh? Liana, the same red glowing crystal from the big robot. I look at the girl and I saw that she took out something from her pocket. It's the phone that she uses to open the door. She types in something and then puts the phone beside her ear. It seems that she is calling someone. P.S.S.S.S. This is D. Over. What's your status? Z. I heard a man's voice on her phone. I found something looks like a big mana crystal. Z. Is there anything wrong with it? D. Well if I look at it Z. She was about to say something but then. <coughs> Z. A scream came from somewhere the sound came from next door. D I call you back Z W wait Z D Pip. She closes the call and moves to the door where the sound came from. The door has a handle and she slowly turns it and opens it and then moves in I also followed her in. There I saw stairs moving downwards. She moves down using the stairs and I also followed down behind her. It didn't take long for me and her to reach the bottom and there I saw a door. It is writing said dangerous personnel only. She ignores the writing and proceeds to open the door and move in I follow her in two. Inside me and the girl saw. H help me Dr. R. Ha 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 ha. Yes, it's working. Ha 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 ha. 
DRR. What I and the girl saw was one of the scientists up front turning into a glowing red crystal, and DRR laughing like a maniac at a gigantic red crystal that was placed in the middle of the room. I can see a lot of pipes attached to the red crystal. What is this Z? The girl beside me was shocked seeing this she looked at Dr. R. Dr. R. also noticed the girl and he smiled at her. The girl grabs her phone from her pocket and, pressed a button and the phone turns into a gun. Freeze. Z. She aims the gun at Dr. R. But he keeps smiling at her. Oh ho. An intruder managed to get in here I see. Well the security is lax here so no matter Dr. R. He looks at the gigantic red crystal and opens his arm. It's already starting ha 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 ha. DRR grumble, grumble, grumble. The place started to shake. Zed look at him with her gun still pointing at him. What did you do? Zed. He looks at her with a disappointed face. What did I do? DRR. He looks at the gigantic red crystal. Then he grabs something from his pocket. It's a red button. Stop. Zed. He laughed at her. He's raised his thumb up at the red button. I'm making a revolution DRR. He then pressed the red button and everything became white and I close my eyes. Replay complete. Memory replay complete. New skill acquired. Returning. Liana Poff. HG. Liana. I opened my eyes to see a ceiling. I got up and look around. It seems I'm in a room somewhere. Then. Clackick. I heard a door open from the side of the room. I look at the open door and saw. Oh? You're finally awake, mister. Mister coming in with some food in hand. 51. Chapter 9 Talking, Liana Poff, in a room somewhere, few him full thanks for the food. Liana, I just finished eating some food that Mr. brought, I felt grateful that I can meet someone here it's very hard since everything I saw when I got here wants to kill me on sight. I look around, this room only has a bed, table, and chair, Mr. is sitting on a chair beside me, I'm on the bed by the way, well, it's good that you are healthy, Mr. I look at him, he is still wearing his helmet? I can't see his face at all. Where am I? Liana, where? Well, this is my base, mister. Your base mister? Liana, yes, my base and also stop calling me mister it's getting uncomfortable, mister. Ah sorry but then what should I call you miss? Liana, just call me Echo, Echo. Um oak okay, nice you meet you Echo, Liana. Yay and nice to meet you too, Echo, Liana. Liana, alright nice to meet you Liana, Echo. Echo then got up and walked to the door and when he got to the door he looks at me. If you have anything to say about me you can find me on the first floor this is the second floor there is a stair leading to the first floor at the end of the hallway, Echo. I nodded and then Echo got out of the room and closed the door. I fall down onto the bed again looking at the ceiling, I was reminded of the thing I saw. I shake my head and then open my status screen. I beat a very powerful boss and got a new skill from the memory of I remember. Name, Liana. Gender, female. Wolfkin. Age, 5. Job class, magic gunner. LVL, 285. HP, 28,500. 28,500. MP, 14,250. 14,250. ATK. 1425 plus 100 def 285 mag 1425 plus 100 dex 2850 and 2850 plus 100 luck 1425 skill fire magic lvl1 earth magic lvl1 wind magic lvl1 water magic lvl1 Lightning Magic LVL5, plus up. Gun Mastery LVL3, plus up. Magic Bullets Mastery LVL2, plus up. Buff Magic LVL1. Debuff Magic LVL2, plus up. Passive Skill, Hyper Evade Low. Enhanced Hearing. Enhanced Smell. Enhanced A's. Senses Danger. System. Hidden Skill. Perfect Evade LVL1. Void Magic LVL1. Dark Magic LVL1 Lock. Light Magic LVL1 Lock, Creation Magic LVL0, Lock, Corpse Drain, Plus New, Mineral Drain, Plus New, Hide Status LVL Max Active, Titles, Reincarnator, Lone Wolf, Survivor, System Helper, Machine Breaker, Gun Knowledge, Memory Link, Plus New, Okay that's a lot, 
Let's see. I jumped 200 levels. That's amazing. Okay my lightning magic level up 2 times wow. Same as gun mastery. Magic bullets and debuff also level up. But I look at my hidden skill. Okay. I need an explanation. How did I get this skill? Skill got from the memory that was replayed. I see. Liana. I look at the floating screen. Why did I get that skills from the memory? I don't think there's anything related to that skills from the memory I saw. Liana. Unknown. This is the first time I ever see system not having an answer. Liana. Then a screen pops up in front of me. Hidden skill. Corpse drain. By touching a corpse you will be able to absorb the core on your hand to get stronger skill effect able to grab one skill from a corpse. Material drain. By touching powerful material you will be able to absorb the minerals on your hand and get stronger, only material with mana inside. Title. Memory Link. The ability to look at memory fragments every completed memory will be awarded a skill. Okay. I get it now kinda, I guess I'm ok with it for now. The skill is very useful like corpse drain but it's pretty creepy skill. The skill to be able to take a skill from a dead corpse is cool thought. The material drain looks to be just me absorbing mineral related things as long as it is mana huh. I got up from the bed started stretching my body a little and moved to the door. Clackick. I turned the handle of the door and opened the door and started moving out of the room. What I saw is a hallway just like what Echo said when I got out of the room. Echo said that the stairs are at the end of the hallway I looked around the place. The hallway is pretty decent doors are lining up on the side around 5 doors on each side of the wall. I guess every one of the rooms is the same as mine. I moved to the end of the hallway and found the stairs moving down. I then used the stairs to go down to the first floor. When I arrived at the first floor I saw that the place is filled with electronic devices like radio and camera screens and I saw Echo sitting on a seat on the left side of the room. Click. 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 He seems to be trying something on a computer. I moved closer to see what is he was typing but he turned off his computer and looks at me. Sorry but confidential information I can't let you see it. Echo. S sorry. Liana. Well. It's okay do you have anything you want to know? I can't believe a little child like you can survive in this hell of a place. Echo. I played with my hand looking at him. I don't know the only thing I remember is waking up in a pile of rubbles alone my mum. Liana. I look down sadly remember what happened at that time. My condolences, Echo. I didn't answer and move to another topic. I look at Echo. Um, Liana. Yes? Echo. Do you know how this happened and why all of this is happening? Liana. Echo put his hand on his chin and lowered his head a bit after a couple of seconds he looked at me. Well I guess I can tell you about what happened a little kid like you wouldn't know anything so I might start from the very begging on how this all started. Echo. Echo then started to tell me about why is this happening from the very beginning. I then listened to Echo's story. Third person poff. It happened 10 years ago. Robots that humans made invade them. They didn't know the time. A lot of them were killed. Monsters are already bad enough but adding the robot to the mix is just plain wrong. It all started at a place in the human kingdom. They declared war on every races. They managed to protect their own homelands from them. But. They came prepared. With weapons surpassing us we were overwhelmed by the moment they launched their attack. Humans also use dirty tricks like using prisoners as bait and livestock. They send their best spies to infiltrate one of the key facilities but they never returned. The last they saw words from their best spies when a research facility became the center of a big mana stone explosion because of a failure. They then started to improve their own defense to protect their citizens but the human launched a robot army to attack them every moment in key areas. And that's what is happening to them right now. Robots killing everyone in sight. Nobody left alive. The worst has yet to even come to them that is trying their best to survive the attack. Liana Poff. Liana, listening to the story, it's very bad for my heart. For me, that was once a human it kinda broke me to see they are doing this. I understand what is going on here now. The humans launched an attack on the other races with their technology that far surpassed the other countries. I can only think of what the other races are doing to save themselves. So anything else you want to talk about? Echo. Echo look at me. I shake my head. But then it came to me I look at Echo. Why are you always wearing that helmet? Liana. Well, Echo. He looks at me for a moment before looking at a picture frame on the wall. I also look at the picture. 
I saw three people all of them are wearing police clothes and all of them have horns on their heads. It's a memento from my friend, Echo Azri. Liana Echo shakes his head and then puts his hand on my head and started rubbing my hair and ears. It tickles. He saw me making a weird face and stop his hand and moved it away. Or well anyway, Echo. He then goes back to his computer turns it on and then he turned on a big TV on the wall. It shows a map of the area. He then pointed at a green dot that has a house icon on the top. This is the base we are in now, Echo. Then he moves his hand up to another green dot with an H icon. This is the helicopter drop point or extraction point. Sadly no rescue helicopter will be sent today. They say that they will send one a week later, Echo. Okay, so we just need to wait a week till a rescue helicopter came. Also, Echo. He pressed a button from his computer and a lot of red dots light up on the screen. There are a lot of robots blocking the way to the extraction point so this is the problem. Echo. He looks at me from my feet till my face. He cited. I never thought I would be saying this to a kid. Echo. Hey even though I am small doesn't mean I'm not useful. Liana. Echo looks at me silently. What age are you? Echo. I'm five years old. Liana. I made a thumbs up with my hand pointing at him. He stops talking and looks at me. I became quite taken aback by this. He then starts talking. You are five years old? Echo. Why yes. Liana. He only looks at me silently. I look to the side avoiding my sight from him. We stay silent after that for a couple of seconds or two. 61. Chapter 10 Base Exploring and Looting. Liana Poff. And here I thought you were a ten-year-old or more never thought that you were a five-year-old child. Echo. Echo looked at me as he said that. Well sorry if I look like this, Liana. Also I never thought that you are actually that smart and good at using magic he even using a gun for a five year old at that, Echo. Oh, Ho Echo is looking at me as he said that oh I'm sweating, well I learned a lot at home, Liana. Really now, Echo. I nodded repeatedly at Echo, he then just gave up trying to know and move on to the screen. Well at least you're useful, Echo. He then clicks on a button on his computer and the map on the screen turns off and was replaced with multiple screens. I saw a lot of information display there. Something about news and videos of something. Well we're in a tight spot now and we need to move fast. My base isn't well protected if this base got found out they will overwhelm us with their numbers so this is our problem now. Echo clicked another button and one of the screens moves in. The screen shows a picture of a big machine with tracks. Is that a? If you look at it the robots are moving in with an armored vehicle it has two tracks on each side has a big armor body with two long barrel turret on the top and they are now on the move to the extraction point I try my best to contact the extraction team but I didn't manage to connect to them after I notice it so I can't warn them at all if we want to get out of here safely we have to deal with that vehicle first, Echo. He pointed at the vehicle with his hand. Guess we don't have much of a choice if the extraction helicopter got destroyed by it it's the end of us. I look at the screen too. Its body is a little bit the same as the big robot but the most different part is that it's a vehicle. Well we don't have that much time to if that armored vehicle was already at the extraction point it's going to be guarded by powerful robots and droids. Echo. Well, it's one of their big guns I guess. If you need anything I'll be here you should get ready to this base is the least base you will stay in. Echo. Wait, we're leaving now? Liana. Yes that thing is on the move if we don't strike it now. We don't know what will happen. Echo. Echo look at me. I closed my eyes for a second and then opened it and look at the screen. I look at Echo. I'll try my best. Liana. Okay. But also be careful not to make a lot of sounds when we're going there. Echo. Yes. Liana. If you need me I'll be here you can check the base out but be hurry. Echo. I nodded and look around. The room is pretty decent with big and small monitors all around the place. I saw two doors on my right side and left side. I look at Echo. Is it okay if I grab things here? Liana. Well as long as it's not heavy and you can carry it sheer. Echo. I smiled at him and look around the place again. Okay. Let's see. I moved to the door on my left and opened it. What I saw is a kitchen. I saw some cooking tools still here and I saw a refrigerator in the distance I moved to it and when I opened it I saw some cans of food and other things like fruits. I wonder if Echo even thinks to not bring this. I put all of them in my inventory. I also saw some pots and pans that were left here I moved them to my inventory I also don't forget about the necessary tools for cooking I was good at cooking before my reincarnation.
I also saw a door leading somewhere in the kitchen. I open it and it leads down to the basement. I saw a light switch near me and turn it on. The place lights up and I moved down. When I got there I saw a lot of box stuff. I open one up and I saw a lot of parts I try touching one of them. A, eh? it a part of the Chris Vector? Liana, huh? Wait how did I know this? Title gun knowledge active. R, thanks for reminding me system. Liana, system didn't say anything. I shakes my head and kept looking around the place. What I find is some gun parts and also other parts but I don't know what they do. The gun parts that I found seem to not have all of the parts to make them work properly. I wonder what I can do with this. I better look it up later. Liana. I only grabbed a couple of boxes mainly parts that only need a couple of things to make it work. I grabbed three boxes all of them have different types of guns inside. One of them is the Chris Vector submachine gun. The other two are a Remington 870 shotgun and the SSG-10 sniper rifle. The three of them are the only guns that are only missing two or three parts, mainly the bullet I didn't see any bullets for any guns in any of the boxes so even if I managed to fix it I still need the bullets to fire it or, I then noticed that I can actually make magic bullets, I guess I just need to fix them then. I better start going, Liana, I moved out of the room to the kitchen then move out to the room where Echo is. When I got there I saw Eka focused on a screen on his computer. I look at him and he seems to be really focused on the computer screen right now and was not looking at me so I walked to the other doors that I haven't opened yet. I move to the door on the right. I open the door and look inside I saw a lot of things scattered on the floor. Paper, books, and other things. I grab one of the papers on the floor and read it. Company Tech Industry Cow? Liana. It about a tech industry? I look at another paper and it's about different things. Why is it scattered everywhere? All of the paper and books are about random things as well. I wonder if Echo never cleaned this up. Liana. I look around the piles but there's nothing that interests me so I didn't take anything with me and got out from that room. I look around the other rooms and saw a door that has a sign on top of it with an exit word written. It seems this is the exit door. I don't think I should go out yet so I moved back to meet Echo. When I got there I didn't see him at all I look around the place then. Clackick. I heard a door opening I looked there and saw Echo opening the door on the left where the kitchen is. I have a bad feeling about this. He started walking to me and look at me with his face still wearing the helmet. Hey, Echo. I flinch. Do you know what happens to the food in the kitchen? Echo. I slowly look away. He looks at me silently. You know? Echo. I heard him saying that with a deep voice. I am sweating. I hate some type of people. Echo. I slowly look at Echo. One of it is. Echo. What I saw is Echo. With a black aura behind him. Looking at me. When I can't even see his face. It makes it even scarier, the one that won't tell the truth about what happened. Echo. Third person poff. Somewhere in another place on a mountain. Thing. Gratang. Ra 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 ra. Yu 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 na hung. Something big is moving. Shaking everything that was all around the place. Down on his feet are a lot of robots on the ground not moving. It did a big roar waking all of the robots up from the ground beside it. Then the thing started to walk, its destination is the city, and on top of that thing is a small figure, and it was looking at the city in front. Third person poff, in a building somewhere far away, clacking. Someone opens a door to an office, a guy is sitting on a chair in the room putting his hand on a desk in front of him filled with paper. He looks at the one that came in. Status report is there any news at city yes? Yes. Commander, Ekka from Squad 4 has made a call now. Sir, good work soldier sir what is in the report? Commander, requesting a rescue helicopter sir, soldier, what? Did something happen to Squad 4? Commander, yes sir Squad 4 have been wiped out and only Echo survived sir, soldier. This is a problem Squad 4 is one of our best anyway, any other news? Commander, yes sir, it seems Echo save a little girl sir, soldier, a little girl? Commander, yes, sir it seems that she is a survivor in City S. Sir Echo gives us details that even though she is a child she is very strong and can use magic, soldier. A child like that is a survivor huh, Commander, he thinks. A child that is surviving in a dangerous place alone without her parents huh. He shakes his head and then looks at the soldier. Anything else? Commander, yes sir it's this, soldier. The soldier put a couple of papers on the desk. He picks one of the paper up and read it. His eyebrows go up slightly. 
He then looks at the soldier, be ready to get that rescue helicopter up and running as soon as possible this is going to be very dangerous, commander. Yes sir but our last helicopter is badly damaged it will take a week at most to repair it, soldier, make it as quick as possible we don't have a lot of time here, commander. Yes sir, soldier. The soldier then runs out of the room. The commander got up from his chair and then look at the window. I hope it will be done soon Echo is under a very dangerous position now, commander. He looks at the paper one of it is a picture of something it has two legs and two arms its body is the shape of a human but its size, is the size of a building. Out of all the three guns Liana find what do you guys want to see her use? Chris Vector, Remington 870, SSG 10 total voters. 168, cast vote view results, oops, we ran into some problems, view results, out of all the three guns Liana find what do you guys want to see her use, 50, chapter 11 moving and resting, echo poff, this kid seriously, I am so e, Liana, right now I am scolding this kid right here in front of me by stretching her small chubby chick, well not like I have any way to scold her other than this, I was quite shocked that this kid is 5 years old with a body that looks like a 10 year old. I still have a lot of questions for this kid. Well, I can see that she is pretty talented with magic at least, but that doesn't answer why she was talented with shooting a gun too. Also, her behavior is a little too mature for a 5 year old little kid. This kid has a lot of secrets I don't know. I look at the little kid I was scolding, I also never thought that she has storage magic too it's a very rare magic to have. We usually use storage bags since storage magic uses the rare element void magic. She is also pretty great with thunder and fire magic for some reason seriously who is this kid? Seriously, Echo. S sorry, Liana, the kid was sitting on the floor legs down and was blowing her head with a sad face filled with tears. Looking at that I can't really do anything else to her if she is making that face. Even if she is very talented, she is still a kid, her way of emotions and movement kind reminds me of my daughter for some reason. You really remind me of my daughter, Echo. Eh? Liana, nothing, Echo. I looked up then looked at her again. Anyway if you try to do that again without telling me it will be a serious problem, Echo. Why yes, Liana. I sighed. Well. It's also my fault too since I did tell her that she was free to take anything. Well I'm sorry if I'm a bit harsh but it can't be helped anyway since you have storage magic might as well help me pack some things that I can't bring I did want to left them here but with your ability maybe I can bring almost all of it, Echo. Might be a pain to say it but we don't have a lot of time either, Liana Poff. After that little accident and scolding I and Echo packed a lot of things. Well mainly putting all of it into my storage, mainly food, documents, and ammunition. The way to the extraction point is pretty long but we kept our pace on the road while trying to not get a lot of attention. We first started by walking to another checkpoint that Echo said, it's not that far from the base but we encountered a couple of walkers along the way. Echo is not using his gun but he is using his knife, it's because he doesn't want to waste any ammo he said, while I used my magic at them. We kept advancing like that until we get to the checkpoint, it's already noon when we got there. Phew, Liana. As we got there I sat on a chair somewhere in there while Echo was looking at a map he put on a nearby desk. Well with our current way of fighting we may be able to get there in about maybe half today. Well if we don't run into any trouble though, Echo. He closed his map and looked at me. Kid, can you grab some food and cooking tools from your inventory? Echo. I look at Echo and nodded. I then grabbed a couple of foods and the cooking tools from my inventory and gave them to Echo. Our food today is pretty much a cup of instant noodles since it's the fastest just need to heat the water and put it in. After it's done making we eat the cup of instant noodles then we go to sleep. Oh, and I am sleeping on a sleeping bag because there is no bed here in this checkpoint also there is only one room here so I and Echo are sharing the same room. The room only has a table and some chairs and a window. I was sleeping on the right end of the wall while Echo is sleeping on the left end of the wall beside the door. I looked at the window and saw the sky. I saw a lot of stars up in the sky. It reminds me of the time I was looking at the sky with my parents, little brother, and sister. I miss them. I slowly close my eyes without saying anything. Echo Poff. It's midnight now. I got up from my sleeping bag while staying close to the door. My gun is in my hand. I don't sleep a lot at night because there could be something lurking in the night. 
The kid is sleeping and the room is pretty quiet. It seems this is going to be a long night for us. Hick. Liana. I heard a crying sound from where the kid was. I looked at her. Her face is in front of the wall so I can't see her face but I know she is crying. Mom Dad. Liana. Echo. This kid really looks like my daughter. Crying because her family wasn't there. Maybe. Myra Luca. Liana. Is that her sibling's name or her friend's? I guess she misses them too. It's pretty sad they might have already. I want to go home. Ik. Liana. She then wiggles to the side and I can see her face. Her face is quite pale with tears running down her face. She is still sleeping but I guess she is having a bad dream. Huh? I got up and moved to where the kid was. I then slowly sat beside her. I don't know if this works but I took off my glove and wiped her tears from her face. Then I patted the kid in the head with my hands and I slowly rubbed my hand on her hair. Hick hick. Liana. She slowly stops crying as I kept brushing her head. When she stopped crying and now in deep sleep I sighed a little. Seriously why does she remind me of my daughter so much? I look up to the window and see the stars above the sky. I grab onto my helmet. I wish I managed to beat that bastard that day. Echo. Looking at the sky full of stars I kept petting the kid in her head while she was sleeping calmly. Liana Poff. HG. Liana. I opened my eyes and saw light. Ah. My eyes it hurts. It seems that the sunlight from the window hit my face when I woke up. So that's why it felt hot all of a sudden. I then got up from the sleeping bag with sleepy eyes. I rubbed my eyes and did a stretch with my arms up in the air before I started looking around. The room is empty and I didn't see Echo in the room. I then walked out of the room to look for Echo and there I saw Echo with some box in hand in front of me. He looks at me while still wearing his helmet on his head. Looking for me? Liana. I looked down and did a nodded a little. Well I guess that's fine anyway. Echo. He walks to the table and put the box on top of it, clicking. The box made a loud sound when Echo put it on the table. I move to the table while Echo opens the box up. What I see inside the box was a lot of parts from something. Mainly metal parts or scrap? I found this in the basement here I don't know if it will come in handy, but it's still in good condition there are more down there so feel free to look it up I'm going down to the basement again. Echo. Echo them move out of the room and close the door. I stared at the door for a moment then look at the parts on the box and I tried grabbing one of them. A gun trigger? Liana. Ah, my gun knowledge skill activated. Maybe all of this is gun parts? I started digging in there to find if there's more inside. And what I found is, ah, some of the parts that are now missing from the guns I have. Liana, I then took out the three boxes that I have in my inventory. I wonder if I can fix this. Liana, looking at the three boxes, I wonder. Clackick. Oh? I looked to the door and see Echo moving in with another box in his hand. He put the box down on the table and then looked at me. He saw the three boxes on the floor. What are you doing? Echo. I'm just checking. Liana, Echo. He looks at me for a second before going out of the door again probably to the basement again. I then look at the three boxes, Chris Vector or the Remington 870 or the SSG-10. Liana, the Chris Vector is a very lightweight weapon and good for running while shooting. It also has a good amount of damage in games that I played. Actually, it's a very good SMG but usually, it always runs out of magazines very fast. Well, maybe Magic might be able to fix that. Next is the Remington 870 it's a very strong shotgun but it was quite heavy, but pack a punch at least. Sadly the recoil is big and it needs to be reloaded every time I used it. I don't think that will be good for my small body. Oh last one is SSG-10, from my memory, my little brother uses to tell dad to buy him this airsoft sniper rifle, but looking at it, it seems that the SSG-10 is improved so that it can shoot bullets. Well from my point of view from my knowledge of this gun. Mainly from airsoft. This gun is very lightweight for a sniper and it has a very good range of fire. It's mainly uses for ambushing but also good at cover fire. The recoil is also quite low well for the airsoft one. I don't know about this one. The Chris is good at high mobility and it's lightweight so it will be a great thing to use for me. Lastly, the Remington is very bad for me big recoil and needs to be reloaded every time. The SSG-10 is very good for me I guess, I may be able to use the SSG-10 to shoot things at long range distances without getting shot at by the walkers. We'll let's see the length may be a problem it's around my shoulder or almost to my head. But I can use it, maybe.
I then try to fix the Chris Vector and SSG10 with the parts I look in the box good thing it has all the parts to fix the two of them. 50. Chapter 12 Another way to make magic bullets? Liana Poff. Clacky clackack. Okay I just need this and. Liana. Kling. Clackank. Clock. Bathank. Done. Liana. I'm trying to fixing the SSG10 in my hand right now, need a little testing and a couple of things then after that I'm going with the Chris Vector. Good thing I have the tools to fix it on my inventory and thanks to the skill gun knowledge I know how to fix it easily. Clacking. Struck. Chuck. Click. Okay everything seems alright. The receiver is fine now I just need to test it out. Liana. Seems like the SSG-10 is working properly just need to try shooting with it wait I don't even have the specific bullets for this gun I look inside the box if there are some bullets for this gun but all of them are gun parts with no bullets at all there now that I noticed there's also the other box that Echo put. I haven't checked that one yet I moved to the next box beside the other one I already looked into I opened it and what I find inside is bullet casing? Liana. Well, bullets with only their casing there's no arrow red only the casing at all just a hollow casing wait. Liana I picked up one of the casings in there the casing I pick looks like a rifle bullet I want to know if I may be able to do something with it. Um, I wonder if I can fill this casing with magic like in some animes. Liana Yes you can. Eh? Liana I was startled by the random text on a screen that suddenly pops up beside me. Really? Liana the skill magic bullets can be used to make magic bullets by sending any elemental magic on any empty bullet rounds not only is it very great it also save mana. Awesome why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Liana, never ask, okay sorry for not asking. Using pew magic energy to make a bullet from pew mana cost a lot of mana, but it will increase the power and strength of the bullet, it is good against a strong enemy. Another way is by using pure energy on an empty vassal or bullet casing to make a bullet it cost a small amount of MP but it is weak at damage and strength. Ok I look at the bullet casing I have on my hand, but I wonder how to fill it up? Liana By focusing and pouring magic energy inside the casing. Ok worth trying I focused on a specific element and try putting it inside. I wonder if I can adjust its power. Liana it depends on how much energy is put in on the casing if the energy is too much the casing will not be able to contain the energy and explode. Easy enough but I have to be careful about that how I started pouring magic energy into the bullet casing R. Uh, also the bullet is a type 300 win magnum round I think will it fit in an SSG? It's pretty big I continued pouring magic into it it started glowing and it then started to form into an arrow for the bullet top the bullet fits into the round and was making a slight glow around it. Maybe that's the effect of using magic to make this har. Also the magic I use is fire magic because I wanted to level it up the arrow of the bullet is glowing red and it looks pretty. I then look at the SSG I have on my hand I put my hand on the sniper receiver. Clacking. Struck. I opened the cartridge place and put the bullet in there. P kick. For some reason, the bullet goes in perfectly. Chuck. Click. I then close it. OK. It's loaded now. I just need to find a place to shoot it. But let's try to see how much mana I lost from that. Let's see. Liana. I opened up my status screen. Name. Liana Gender. Female. Wolfkin. Age. Five job class. Magic Gun LVL. 285. HP. 28528500 28, Northern Mariana Islands 13750-14250 ATK 1425-100 DEF 285 MAG 1425-100 DEX 2850 INT 2850-100 LUCK 1425 Skill Fire Magic LVL1 Earth Magic LVL1 Wind Magic LVL1 Water Magic LVL1 Lightning Magic LVL5 Gun Mastery LVL3 Magic Bullets Mastery LVL2 Buff Magic LVL1 Debuff Magic LVL2 Passive Skill Hyper Evade Low Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced Eyes Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Perfect Evade LVL1 Void Magic LVL1 Dark Magic LVL1 Lock Light Magic LVL1 Lock Creation Magic LVL0 Lock Corpse Drain Mineral Drain Hide Status LVL Max Active 
Titles, Reincarnate a Lone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Break a Gun Knowledge Memory Link Oh wow, it cost 500 MP that's a lot to fill one bullet but, it's a sniper round so I guess it will cost quite a lot I also put a lot of energy into it I wonder how much damage will it do when I shoot it I don't think I can try shooting it for now but I still need to test it out I have to tell Eka first but he is still in the basement while waiting I might as well look up my vector to I put the SSG that was loaded with the bullet in my inventory and look at the vector Yo's Liana Chuck Click Okay Seems the barrel mechanics is fine I look at the box full of empty rounds and found a long straight SMG mag I look at my vector and the mag I then try to put the mag on the vector Clackic, it fit perfectly into the gun, that's good I then took out the mag and then look at the box again and find some empty bullet rounds that will fit in the mag I just need to make the magic bullets and put them on the mag Ah, the rounds of empty bullet casing I found is the 10mm type I make some magic bullets with it and coincidentally it only cost 20 MP for the SMG bullets for every round so I made 3 rounds filled with 20 magic bullets every mag. Every mag has a different type of element one is wind another one is earth and the last one is water. I look at the box again and found more sniper bullets caching. I experiment with my magic to see what I can make with this. And it took a couple of minutes to finish. Ok phew that should do it. Liana, let's see how many bullets I made, Chris Vector, 25 bullet 1 mag, Wind, 25 bullet 1 mag, Earth, 25 bullet 1 mag, Water, 25 bullet 2 mag, Lightning, SSG 10, 10 bullet, Fire, 1 bullet, Debuff, Slow, 1 bullet, Buff, Strengthen, 5 bullet, Thunder, Well, that's done, my mana is quite depleted after making all of that around 11k of MP in total, I think. The total amount for all of the SMG rounds is around 25k MP, and for the sniper rounds were around 85k MP. I'm okay with pistol mag since I have a lot of it from looting. I look at the box and search to see if there's a sniper magazine somewhere to put the sniper bullets in but there's none sadly so I have to manually reload it one at a time if I use the SSG. I put all of them into my inventory. After I put all of the bullets and mags inside my inventory I heard the door opening. Clackic. I look at the door and saw Echo moving in but he isn't carrying anything in his hands now. He looks at me and uses his hand to signal me to come over here. He then moves out of the door. I was confused but I go up and started following him. I arrived at the basement of the base. Echo kept walking to the basement and I followed him from behind. What I found over there was a lot of boxes stacked up all around the place and in the middle of the room, I saw a big thing covered with a long blanket of fabric. I can't see what's inside it so I look around I saw that there is a garage door up from but it was blocked by a lot of boxes. Echo walked to the thing that was covered with a long blanket grabs the blanket with his hands and pulled it off, crutch hung. What I saw in front of me was a 6 wee Lama APC or an armored personnel carrier. 48 Chapter 13 Racing on the road while evading. Third person poff. In a street somewhere in a broken city two walkers stop in the middle of the street with a gun in its arm and were looking around. Woo-oom. They headed a sound in the distance they look at where the sound came and saw smoke trails they aimed their guns there and Ru-oom. what they saw was an APC with six wheels running towards them at top speed they started shooting their guns at it bang 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 room brag brag sadly it didn't work the two walkers got run over and were sent flying to the sky the APC kept moving while the walkers fall to the ground behind it Liana poff oh if that's got to hurt a lot Liana, I was looking at the back window of the APC where the walkers fall to the ground. Well like I care we are speeding up. Echo. Echo and I are in the APC right now driving at a fast pace on the road of the city. I saw Echo running over more walkers along the way. Echo is on the right where the driver's seat is while I was beside him on the left seat looking behind the APC is very bumpy making me jump up and down a little and the shaking is scarring me but at least I managed to control myself from getting sick because of the constant shaking. Grumble. Grumble. I felt the vehicle shaking violently. Is there an earthquake outside? I look at Hego and he is just looking in front not minding the shaking then. Roar, roar, roar. I heard something somewhere outside I think. 
The sound is getting louder and louder then. Roar 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 Something big came flying from the sky right past the roof of the APC. I look up from the front window and saw a helicopter. It is a Vulcan on the bottom nose of the helicopter and two rocket pods on each of its small wings. It's an attack helicopter. Well SHT, Echo. The helicopter turns to us on the side and I see. Woo -woo. Ah ha 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 so that's why so that's a boss right? And then, rated it at data 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 data. The helicopter shoots at us with its Vulcan and Echo drives to the side, evading the shots. He then steps on the pedal and speeds up the APC on the road. The helicopter follows from behind us. TCH talk about bad luck. Echo data data data. Echo moves the APC to the right, avoiding the shots. Push, push, push. Room, boom, boom, boom. The helicopter shoots its rockets at us. And Echo did a zigzag on it to avoid the rockets. A rocket hit a random wall on the side another one hit a building in the distance and the last one hit the road in front of us barely hitting us and made the APC jump a bit. Ta -ta 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 -ta. The helicopter keeps shooting us from the back and Echo kept driving the APC at max speed, to the front moving left and right shaking the vehicle in every direction and the constant shaking is me feel sick I only cover my mouth with my right hand I'm also getting a little dizzy good thing I did my seat belt or I will be trash around a lot. Not good, I can't shake it off, Echo. I look at Echo then I look to the back of the APC to look if there was something I can use but I saw nothing that can help us now. I then look up at the roof of the APC and saw a hatch. The roof of the APC seems to have a hatch to the top entrance of the APC maybe for turret tuesday I then look up front. Liana, you know what f it. I take off my seatbelt. Whoa hey kid. Echo, Echo look at me with a panicked voice but I didn't care and move to the back of the APC, you got to be kidding me oof. Echo, Echo moves the APC to the right making me stagger to the right almost hitting my head on a window beside me, boom, 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 I saw rockets firing and hitting at random things on the side I shake my head and move to the hatch I then try opening it the hatch is pretty much just a lever hatch made of metal I then turn the lever it took quite a strength but. Crew you you are unpacking. I managed to open it I then quickly push it up and then stick my head up to the roof of the APC and saw ta -ta 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 -ta, the helicopter firing. I pull my head down quickly from the hatch. Ping. Pang. Pong. Plang. Pang. I saw a couple of its bullets hitting the roof of the APC as the helicopter flew past the APC again. Phew. Good thing I managed to get my head in. Or else I will have a bullet in my head I then stick my head up again and look around I saw the helicopter flying behind us again I use appraisal on it. Eclipse attack helicopter well the L125 HP, 10,000 10,000 MP, 0 0. Okay, another strong one but my level is even higher, maybe this is a mid boss. Well, the level is quite low for me so I don't need to be afraid of the moment I look at my status using appraisal again. Liana LVL 285 HP, 28,500 28,500 MP, 14,250 12,450. Okay, I'm ready now. I grab the SSG from my inventory to my hand and I look up at the helicopter. Clacking. Struck. I grab the receiver and look inside the cartridge place and saw the fired bullet still loaded in the SSG. Chuck. Click. I close it and look up to where the helicopter is. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Push. 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 Boom. 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 The helicopter is still firing at us but Echo manages to evade every shot but some of the bullets still hit some parts of the APC. The APC is still moving very fast while turning left and right. This is bad since I can't aim because of the turning. I have my SSG in hand and aim at the helicopter but the APC is still moving left and right and the helicopter is also moving up, down, left, right too. Then, whoosh, suddenly it got dark ah, our APC drove into a tunnel I then move down from the hatch and look to the front, well we got a breather for a moment I can bet that it will start chasing us again up front, Echo, Echo then looks at me with his helmet still covering his face. Don't do that dangerous stunt again, Echo. Sorry, Liana. Well, we're still not in the clear yet that attack copter is going to be a very annoying thing to fight, Echo. I then look to the front and saw light in the distance. It will be hard but I guess I try my best to not move the vehicle left and right too much just take it down fast, 
Echo. I only look at him and nodded and got my head and SSG out to the hatch again then we got out of the tunnel. Push. 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 Boom. 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 As soon as we got out of the tunnel I saw a couple of rockets hitting around us and I see the helicopter following us from the back again I look at it and aim my SSG at the helicopter well, this is going to be a challenge to take it down. 45, Chapter 14 Taking that helicopter down, Liana Poff. Steady steady, Liana. Aiming at the moving helicopter with my SSG in my hand is a tough job right now. ta 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 Ping. Plang. Pang. The helicopter keeps shooting a lot of bullets from its Vulcan making it very hard for me to aim at it. Drunk. The APC stumbled on a random rubble on the ground making it jump off the ground a little before touching it again. Whoa? Liana. I managed to balance myself from that and try aiming my SSG at the flying helicopter again. The bullet is a fired bullet. I wonder how much damage will it do to it? I then pull the trigger. Bam. Boom. Woo. -oo. The bullet hit the helicopter front cockpit and the helicopter started falling to the side but it manages to regain balance in the air and start chasing us again I saw a crack in the cockpit of the helicopter it seems to be working and it's taking damage. Clacking. Struck. I put my hand on the SSG receiver and the empty bullet fly out of the cartridge place I then grab another fire bullet from my inventory and load it in. Clackick. Chuck. Click. I then aim at the helicopter again. Push. Push push. The helicopter fired more rockets at us again and Echo drives the APC in a zigzag motion again to avoid the rockets. Boom. 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 It staggers me but I'm okay I look up front on the road and saw a bridge there's no water on the bottom it's a dry river when I look up in front of the bridge my face went pale what I saw in front is a broken bridge that was cut into two going straight to the ground around 100 feet high and Echo kept driving straight towards it. Hey. This is going to get pretty rough kid so grab onto something. Echo. Echo speed up the APC not minding anything wait. 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 You're joking right? Then the APC jumped down from the broken bridge to the ground. Kia. Liana. Boom gang. The APC touches the ground below the bridge and it jumps a couple of times before steadying itself. Echo then drives at full speed again along the dry river. Ouch. I managed to get in the APC and managed to grab hold of the frame that was on my right side. Good thing that I didn't get hurt from that fall. I then stick my head outside the hatch again and look around. Push. 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 Boom. 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 I heard an explosion behind us. I look behind and saw the helicopter following us again while shooting at us from behind the APC. I quickly aim my SSG at the helicopter again and pull the trigger. Bang. Pia us. R. I miss. The helicopter turned left at the time I shoot my SSG and made me miss my shot completely. Clacking. Struck. Pulling the receiver and taking out the empty shell I take another fire bullet from my inventory and reload it again. Clacking. Chuck. Click. I then named again but then I heard Echo shouting from the inside. Hey, kid, there's a bridge up front it looks badly damaged. I also saw a couple of explosive barrels up top. Echo. I looked at the front and saw the bridge it's badly damaged and I also saw red explosive barrels on the bridge above and there's a lot of them no wonder Echo can see it I say that there is around 20 or so stuck in many places mainly the supporting part of the bridge below maybe it was used to blow up the bridge before but failed to detonate. The bridge. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Push. 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 Boom. 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 I don't have a choice now because the helicopter is behind us. The helicopter keeps firing at us following us at a very low altitude. That's good. Push. 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 Boom. 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 Clackick. I aim my SSG at the bridge on one of the explosive barrels that was attached there. I only have one chance now. Aim steady and bam. Pang. Boom. 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 Our APC manages to move out from the bottom of the bridge before the bridge falls. The helicopter is following us but. Woo Boom. It was too late and the helicopter got hit by the falling bridge and got squashed by it. Yes. We did it. Push. But then I look behind and see. R. Liana. A rocket aiming straight at us and. Boom. Hit us from behind. And the APC started to move out of control. You are. Liana. Then it hit a big rock on the ground and the APC stumbled over to the side. Boom. I got knocked out from the APC and started rolling on the ground. I put my hand on top of my head so that my head is alright. Ouch. Ark. R. 
Liana, I am rolling a couple of feet away from the APC and I then fall flat to the ground with my head on the dirt ouch that hurt I started to raise my head slowly my eyes are blurry, drunk. I then heard something from beside me on my right I think. I look there and saw something moving my eyes are still blurry. Hey kid you alright? Echo. I heard Echo voice there ha ha it seems that Echo is alright my eyes started to properly adjust and I look around some parts of the APC came off and are now on the ground around me. I look around again and saw my SSG a couple of steps away from me I move there and grab it and look if there is anything broken or not. Clacking. Struck. Chuck. Click. Oak seems to be alright I then look at where the APC is I saw Echo moving to me I raise my hand to signal him. I'm okay. Liana. He then shakes his head while still moving to me phew that was a fun one I then use appraisal on myself to see how much HP did I lose. Liana LVL 285 HP, 23528500 MP. 14,250 12,450 Oak 3k that's quite a lot but at least I'm fine, boom, level up. I then a screen pop up in front of me I also heard an explosion in the distance before the screen pop up I look at where the explosion came from and it was at the fallen bridge where the helicopter is seems like the helicopter is down now I look at my stats. Name, Liana Gender, Female, Wolfkin, Age, 5 Job Class. Magic Gun LVL, 292 HP, 29,529,500 MP, 14,600, 14,600. ATK, 1,460 plus 100 F, 295 MAG, 1,460 plus 100 DEX, 2,950 INT, 2,950 plus 100 LUCK. 1460 Skill Fire Magic LVL1 Earth Magic LVL1 Wind Magic LVL1 Water Magic LVL1 Lightning Magic LVL5 Gun Mastery LVL3 Magic Bullets Mastery LVL2 Buff Magic LVL1 Debuff Magic LVL2 Passive Skill Hyper Evade Low Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced Eyes Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Perfect Evade LVL1 Void Magic LVL1 Dark Magic LVL1 Lock Light Magic LVL1 Lock Creation Magic LVL0 Lock Corpse Drain Mineral Drain Hide Status LVL Max Active Titles Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Break a Gun Knowledge Memory Link Oak seems like I level up 7 levels good I hope I can get a rest now I'm pretty tired from that fight and racing I sigh long Well that was fun Echo I then saw Echo already beside me. Hey good thing you are oak kid but we better get going now, Echo. I look at Echo and then nodded and we start moving away from there leaving the broken APC behind. Guess I can't rest right now better start moving. 43. Chapter 15 A Mesh and a Scary Place Third person poff on a small narrow street somewhere in the city. Clackick. A guy is looking around with a gun in hand around the place. Behind him is a little girl also having a gun in hand looking around behind to see if there's any movement in her view. It's Echo and Liana. Clear move, Echo. Echo then moves up front and Liana follows behind him. After doing that a couple of times Echo raises his hand telling Liana to stop. She looks at Echo with a confused face but she then heard something in front of him. Movement up ahead and get ready, Echo. Liana nodded and raised her gun to the front. The two of them then started walking slowly to the front. Liana poff. Moving to the front while being cautious is a hard thing to do. We move to the source of the sound and find ourselves in a park inside the city. There we saw a couple of droids around the park so we hide ourselves behind some bushes. Hey, Echo. Echo tab my shoulder and point his hand somewhere his hand is pointing at a building a couple of ways from the park. That's our resting place sadly it's full of them right now, Echo. Looking in front were the droids, is I counted all of them. And it's around 25 walkers and also, that thing in the middle there is an armored mesh, Echo. Seriously, a mesh? It's going to be a problem if we get spotted by that. Echo looked at me and pointed his hand on some parts of the mesh. That mesh seems to be damage on the back so I think it can't shoot its missile pod that's a good thing and also seems like both of its legs is broken. Echo. I look again at the mesh part where his hand is pointing and he is right the back part is damaged greatly and both the legs seem to be broken. 
I guess it's in a damaged state so it should be easy since it can't run or walk in that condition, but that assault trifle on its hand will be a problem, echo, I guess, the mesh has an assault trifle attached to its hand and it's the size of an anti-tank turret with its weapon that big I think it can pretty much demolish us if we get shoot by it, also, the mesh is quite big around the size of our APC if it was laying down and I don't think I want to fight that thing. Even though I fight something bigger than that thing it's still pretty risky. Its design also kind reminds me of a video game series somewhere for some reason. The mesh was also guarded with a lot of droids around it and I hate fighting a lot of them at once. Echo then moves his hand to the bushes beside the park. We're going to have sneak past all of them to get to the resting place, Echo. Echo then looks at me and I nodded my head at him. He then nods back at me and started moving up front while hiding from sight and I followed behind him. Clang. 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 We are now hiding behind a bush somewhere in the park and as a random walker walked past us we move on to the place while being stealthy. We're maybe about one per third of the way to that place Echo mention. Then we found a small storage house and moved to the front door of the storage house. I look behind with my gun raised while Echo is opening the door with his gun raised as well. Clear go, Echo. Echo then moves in and I follow suit slowly then after I got in Echo closes the door and we lower our guns. Echo then saw a window and look outside. I also followed to see what is going on outside. There's a lot of droids moving to the mesh and the mesh is still there in the middle of the park. Okay, we're now halfway there now, Echo. Yay, Liana. Then I saw something coming into the park. SHT is that reinforcement? Echo. What we saw was a couple of heavy robots walking up from the entrance of the park to the mesh. They were carrying something. What is that? Liana. What we saw is that they are carrying a big box on their back. Echo. Echo isn't saying anything so I guess he doesn't know too. Maybe I can use appraisal on them, but can I use it from this distance? Can I use the appraisal from here? Liana, I said that with a small voice so I think Echo didn't hear it. Then a screen pop up. Distance is too far to use appraisal. Ha, huh, figure we're around a couple of miles away from it. This park is pretty big. Then, rum, 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 rum. Rum. I heard something like an engine coming from the entrance of the park there I saw a truck like vehicle moving towards where the mesh was. I saw the heavy robots grab some chains from the truck and hook it to the mesh. So they're taking the mesh ha, huh? echo. After they finish hooking the mesh the truck then pulls it out to the park exit and the heavy robots and droids follow as well. After a while, the park then stays silent. It seems like every droids and robot are out of the park leaving us behind. I wonder what will they do with that mesh there's a lot of questions on my mind right now. Then I saw Echo moved from the window to the door. I look at him. I'm just looking outside, Echo. He then opened the door with his gun raised and walks to the front. He looks around a couple of times before signaling me that it's okay to come out. I nodded and move out. We're near the resting place so don't fall behind, Echo. He then moves and I follow him. After a couple of times walking we then arrive at the place in front of the door. But Echo moves to the side. I look at him with a questionable look. The front entrance is barricaded so no use trying to open it. Echo. Okay. I then follow Echo to the side. There I saw a metal door that was covered with plants. Echo moves the plants and then tries opening the door. Cree -e -e ack The door makes an eerie sound making me shiver a little. He then moves in and I follow into the place before Echo closes the door behind me. Clathang. The place is quite dark. Echo took something out of his pocket. Kakak. It's a flashlight. He then looks around and finds a switch near a wall. He then moves there and flicks it. Flick. But nothing happened. The place is still dark. Damn did something block the generator? Echo. He then moved in and I follow. The place is quite creepy. I saw a couple of spider webs around the place and broke pieces of furniture. Then I saw a stair leading up from the flashlight view. Echo then climbs up the stairs and I follow. Creak. 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 Okay. This is so like to horror house. My body starting to tremble a lot. Then we arrive at the second floor and there's only one closed door. It's leading straight. And at the ground, I saw. A trail of blood leading to the closed door from one of the windows. I think my soul is about to depart from my body. I'm bad with horror. Echo. Echo seems fine with it. He moved to the door with his gun raised to the door and then put his hand to the doorknob. He then slowly turn it. Clackick. He looks at me then looks at the door. 
he then pushes it quickly and aims at the room, and what we saw is, hi. Liana, a dead body, well, a corpse is on the ground in the middle of the room filled with a lot of electronics and blood. Knowing that my face got even paler and my body started to shake again. 46, Chapter 16 Corpse Drain and Busted Liana Poff Looking at the body on the ground in the middle of the room Echo slowly moves into the room. I was frozen stiff at the front door while still looking at the body that was laying there Echo slowly moved to the body with his gun name at it he then slowly bends down and puts his hand to its neck checking if there's a pulse or something, Echo. After a couple of seconds, he then takes his hand off its neck and Echo then looks at me and shakes his head left and right seems like it's official it's dead Echo then turns the body around and Hi, Liana, I made a small scream. The body is pretty much full of holes bite marks on the feet and the head is pretty much okay I might get sick from looking at it it's not like the other bodies I see at the mall because this one was getting eaten alive I shiver thinking about that I look left so that I won't see the body while Echo examines it well this is Echo I slowly look to where Echo is examining it he is examining the head oh god a gun maybe a sword no something multiple bites and claw marks Echo. While he is examining the corpse I look around the room the wall is pretty much covered with a bloody handprint and some claw mark. Every electronic device here is not on I then saw a big lever on one of the devices in the room there's also blood covering the lever I look at it for a while and then look at Echo. Um Echo what is this lever for? Liana, he looks at me. R, that's the generator lever can you turn it on? Echo. I nodded and walked to the leaves that I saw I was quite hesitant because of the blood but I turned the leaves down and clack it. True, the lights in the room turned on every electronic device here started turning on one by one seems it's still working and wasn't broken I look at Echo that was still examining the corpse it's still bugging me. Oh this is worrying, Echo. Echo got up and moves towards where I was I look at him. This corp I mean body on the ground is someone I know he is a mechanic in this place. He stays here to fix the equipment when we move out never thought that he ends up like this, Echo. So it's a he and he is a mechanic in this place, Echo might be sad right now because of what happened to him but I can see his face behind his helmet. It's quite the thing seeing that all of his team were whipped out and another one died here. I look at the corpse well his body not his dead. Corpse drain available. Then a screen pops out in front of me. Wait what do you mean corpse drain available? Wait I can use it. It said that it's available I wonder if I can try using the skill still a little sickening seeing the corpse but I'm okay for now even though the face is messed up and the body is full of blood and holes I'm okay maybe. I wonder how do I use corpse drain. Liana. I said that with a small voice so that Echo can't hear it. By touching a corpse of a living being that died you can look at their skill and traits and take one of it out by saying corpse drain choose wisely because the corpse will then turn to dust and skill will not be able to be used on the same corpse again. Seems good but I think I have to wait until Echo goes somewhere else and lucky that Echo said something to me. I'm going to go check the other rooms you stay here, Echo. He walks to the door but stops he then looks at me. Don't do anything and do be patient since I don't know what to do about the body here, Echo. He then leaves the room wait seriously? Are you just going to leave a five year old kid in a bloody room with claw marks and blood everywhere with a dead body in the middle of the floor? I have a lot of questions about that brain of yours Echo but with that, I can finally try my skill I slowly move to where the corpse is. <laughs> Liana. I was hesitant since this is quite the thing I am about to do I put one of my shaking hands on the corpse well, mainly the arm of the corpse I was also actually poking it not touching it wait get a hold of yourself. This corpse can't move like in the movie or video game with the Z word in front. I then slowly touch the hand of the corpse wait a minute, isn't this disrespecting the dead? Wait this is also Echo friend right? Am I okay to do this? Liana. Actually, I don't think he cares about him he just examines him and left. I also remember him saying something disrespectful to it Sue. I think I'm okay maybe well, I can try to convince Echo that something happens to the body when he got back here so I think it's okay to use my skill I then look at the corpse and use the skill. Corpse drain. Liana. Then a screen pops up in front of me. Skill available. Mechanic LVL5, hash, hash. A, what do the tags mean? What is this? Liana, 
The skill with hash means unavailable or lost can't be taken with skill corpse drain. Oak. I guess I can't take that skill there's only the mechanic skill and it's level 5 so it's pretty good. So what to do now? Liana, to grab the skill say take skill. Skill name, Oak seems easy enough. Take skill mechanic, Liana. Skill taken, new skill unlock. I opened my status screen. Name, Liana gender, female, wolfkin, age, 5 job class, magic gun LVL, 292 HP. 29,500 29,500 MP, 14,600 14,600 ATK, 1,460 plus 100 DEF, 295 MAG, 1,460 plus 100 DEX, 2,950 INT, 2,950 plus 100 LUCK, 1,460 SKILL Fire Magic L the L1 Earth Magic L the L1 Wind Magic L the L1 Water Magic L the L1 Lightning Magic L the L5 Gun Mastery L the L3 Magic Bullets Mastery L the L2 Buff Magic L the L1 Debuff Magic L the L2 Mechanic L the L5 Plus New Passive Skill Hyper Evade Low Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced Eyes Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Perfect Evade L the L1 Void Magic L the L1 Dark Magic L the L1 Lock Light Magic L the L1 Lock Creation Magic L the L0 Lock Corpse Drain Mineral Drain Hide Status L the L Max Active Titles Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Break a Gun Knowledge Memory Link Seems like I did it then when I look at the corpse it slowly turns to dust and all the blood seems to disappear to so that's what happens when I finish taking the skill huh nothing left except dust just like what it said that seems easy enough Liana oh is that so yes it I Liana I turned to stone oh no I knew you were going to do something kid so I waited patiently Exclamation mark Liana Jadang. My body stiffens like a flash of electricity comes running through my body. I'm starting to sweat also. Am I can imagine things, or is there the Jadang? Sound effects from Joe Hasho somehow behind me. I think I also heard other Joe Hasho references sound effects from behind me too. It is funny since you are to focus on what you just did to the corpse to not know me walking into the room. R. Liana Sweeting intensity. Sweeting intensity. I think I heard footsteps from behind getting closer and closer by the second is his head already behind me I'm so scared to know, I slowly move my head to the back with screeching robotics turning sounds effect to the left worst mistake I ever made, now how will you explain this to me I wonder, Echo, there I saw Echo with his hand crossed looking at me at point blank range on my face with his face still hidden behind his helmet wait is my eyes playing tricks on me or am I seeing a black sinister aura behind him? That makes it 1000 times scary. Wimp. Liana, I wimp like a scared wolf cub that was targeted by a fierce predator. Kid I know you've been hiding a lot of little secrets from me from the start since we first meet and I have stayed quiet about those little secrets you have since I trust you but I think it's time you tell me all of that little secrets. You've been hiding from me right now and don't try to lie to me I already saw a lot of things you've been doing secretly since we were together if you think I wasn't looking at you when I wasn't there when you are alone you're going to have to think again kid. Echo. Ah. I've been busted from the start and he stayed quiet from the start never mentioning anything he just fooled me from the start I've been had from the start. 44. Chapter 17 Truth and Talking with Echo Echo Poff After a little intimidation The kid seems to be shaking uncontrollably for the most part Sigh I don't want to do this but I need to know what that kid has on that little head of hers <laughs> Liana Oh Come on I look like a bully who is picking on a little kid here if you make that kind of puppy face Well Echo She still stays quiet Maybe I've needed to be a little rough on her but seriously she just doesn't look like a kid at all. She is smart and good at what she does and that's not all. She always stays quiet sometimes and usually talks to herself when she is alone. Well, she did do a lot of things alone that make me shocked, and thought she might have something wrong with her brain. Or am I seeing things that make my head hurt? But after knowing her for some time I just started questioning what she can do and what does she want to do in my head. This is getting more confusing the more I see her. I slowly look at her face which seems to be on the brink of tears. I lower my voice and talk to her. Hey sorry if I raise my voice okay? 
but I can't help myself to not know what you are doing and what you are hiding behind my back. Kid we've been together for quite some time and I saw a lot of things you did that makes me want to questions you including that moment where that corpse of my friend turned to dust when you touch it so don't cry okay? Echo, she looks at me with her eyes still having some tears, W will you keep it a secret? Liana, her voice is quite broken but sure I promise I won't tell anyone well not like I can tell anyone anyway, Echo, seriously she looks like my daughter when she looks like that, she started to tell me her story, well, what her story is it's quite questionable, reincarnated and getting some skills I never know and heard, well, this is getting quite weird also seems like she still didn't tell the full story about everything I think, I'll let that slide for now, Liana Poff, reincarnated huh? Echo, I knew he won't believe me, and my story is weird anyway, like he believes me getting reincarnated to this world, well this is something so that explains why you are quite smart and intelligent, Echo, eh? Liana, I look at Echo he believes my story, you believe me? Liana, he looks at me and nodded, well it explains a lot of things you can do that time and also what you did back then, trying your best when we're fighting together so it's not like I don't trust you. Also reincarnation was written in some book I read in the city where I'm from, Echo. I look down with a little blush, and wait for a written book about reincarnation. Does that mean that there may be other reincarnators like me in the past? Well anyway out of all the story you still haven't told me about how you make the corpse turn to dust, Echo. Ah, I haven't told him about corpse drain, but it seems it's useless to lie to him so I tell him about my ability corpse drain. Third person puff. Outside of the place where Liana and Echo are something is moving behind some bushes in the park. Basie. 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 G R R R R R. It came out of the bushes with growing sounds. G R R R R R. Basie. Basie. G R R R R. Growl. More came from the shadow of the thing moving slowly to where they are. The sun in the distance started to settle down and the place started to go darker and darker. The thing slowly moves to the place where Liana and Echo are with the others following it. Liana puff. Echo. After listening to my corpse drain skill. Echo stays silent with his hand on his hand raised to his chin while thinking. He then looks at me. Kid. Echo. Why yes? Liana. He talks with his deep voice while looking at me. Never tell anyone about that skill of yours. Echo. I move my head to the right with a questionable face. If anyone finds out about your skill I don't know what they will do the ability to get a skill from a corpse is quite lethal for the one that wants power it's best to hide it instead of letting anyone know, Echo. Yes, pretty reasonable that that ability is pretty dangerous to have anyone that wants power will want it. Anyway I give my thanks for telling me that I guess I can relax now, Echo. I did another questionable face and moved my head to the left. Well I just have so many questions about you but almost all of it is answered so I can loosen up a bit, Echo. Oak seems I'm good and Oak. Ah, I also want to ask him some questions. Um Echo? Liana? Yes? Liana? How do you know what I was doing and how did I not notice you when I was alone, Liana? Well no point in hiding it I guess you did tell me your story so it is better if I tell you my story too it's because of my skill, Echo. You skill? Liana, yes my skill is quite special I am one of the Recon unit and intelligent division types in my squad I am one of the top operators in the police department and was assigned to a special squad to protect the citizen in the city I am usually tasked with intelligence gathering and keeping tracks on drugs organization and when I was deployed in the field I mainly do radio and ambush the skill that I have is presence concealment and silent noise my skill pretty much block any of my presence so it's hard for them to know where I am and silent noise enchanted my presence concealment skill by not making any noise I'm pretty much invisible in any way and place it's easy to take down some enemy, Echo, holy Jesus, he looks like a cloaker from Pa and a hash with SWAT armor, just need to switch his helmet with night vision goggles that glow green and it's done, can he move like the way of the cloaker, moving on vents and places undetected and kicking the robbers in the face from the back before striking them with a baton repeatedly? Okay, stop daydreaming. Well, there is the drawback, Echo. I look at Echo. A drawback? I need to be very concentrated to use my skill. If I'm not well my skill will fail also I can only conceal myself. I can't conceal the others so it's pretty hard using it if I am under fire, Echo. R. 
Okay I guess that's why Echo didn't use that skill huh. I look at Echo there one more question I have that I want to know what's been on my mind. Um own more question? Liana, eh is what is it? You did tell me your part so now you can tell me my part. Echo, um before eat the base you mentioned something about him someone who is it? Liana, Echo, um did it hit something that he doesn't want to tell you I'm sorry for as, Liana, no it's okay, Echo, he looks at me and I look back at him, the place was silent, he takes a deal breath, it was about my daughter, Echo, you are, uh, I did pick a bad topic, I lower my face to the ground, hey, come on don't look at me like that, it's okay, Echo. I stop my face and then slowly look at Echo. I have a daughter her name is Anya she resembles a lot about you. Echo. Really? Liana. Yes about your expression when you're sad or happy, and about how you always work hard till the end, and always try to be strong you really do look like her in a way. I just wish that I wasn't so weak that time. Echo. What happened? Liana. Echo looks down, and then he put his hand behind his vest and took out something. It's a hairpin with a decoration of a falling star with a blue round jewelry decoration in the middle of the star. It happens when the first Armageddon started. Echo. The first Armageddon? Liana. Are you don't know about that do you? About that? Well the first Armageddon is when the human first unleashed their machines to our country this is the second Armageddon. Echo. Echo look at me then he looks at the hairpin in his hand. The story is quite hard to tell and quite harsh, but I think I can tell the story to you I guess it all started 10 years ago when the first Armageddon arrived at one of the capital city of the beast can name Uranus and also the home of where all race are free to live in, Echo. Echo then started telling his story, the story about what happened to him in the past. 45, Chapter 18 Echo Past Part 1 Echo Poff I was just a regular police officer before the first Armageddon happened. I lived in the capital city of Uranus with my daughter before it happens. Third person Poff, 10 years ago in the capital city of Uranus, in a mall somewhere in the city. Papa, hurry up or we will miss the show. Yes, yes coming. A dad and his daughter happy walk around the mall having fun together. The dad has black hair with two horns sticking on top of his head and his daughter also has black hair and two horns on top of her head. Both of them are wearing regular clothes. The father wears a white t-shirt with blue jeans and a brown jacket. His daughter is wearing a white one piece. The mall is big, and filled with life. Everywhere you see, a lot of different stores and people. Regarding races, there are beastkins, elves, dwarfs, demons, and humans living together in harmony in the city. The capital city of Uranus is the root of trades in every city around the world. Many people gather here to have fun and see the spectacular places in the city. Hey Echo. And someone called him from behind. Echo Poff. I was called from behind I looks behind and saw. A guy with yellow hair wearing a white t-shirt and black jeans coming to him he also has pointy ears. He is an elf and I know him. R. John. What are you doing here? Echo. R. I was just buying a new phone my old one broke yesterday, John. I smile at him, is it because of the bet you did with the crew before? Echo, he looks away without saying anything. Seriously? Well it's your fault for losing, Echo. Hey is that an offense that I heard? I know that I lose and I have to do whatever the winner said but to hell with me trying to eat a super spicy chicken with ghost chili. John. We are talking to each other happily together then someone tugged my leg. I looked down and saw my daughter with a sulking face. Papa hurry. Yes yes Anya, Echo. My daughter then looks at me with a smile and runs in front. I look at John. Well I better get going, Echo. Ah yes sure have fun with your daughter, John. I then move to follow my daughter. Ah, Echo. John. But John calls me from behind I look at him again. A couple of days later is Anya's birthday right? John. Yes why ask? Echo. Did you get her a present? John. I took out a small box from my jacket waving it at him. Yes, I have, I bet she will love this gift that the love stars so much. Echo. Ah true maybe I should give her a present too, John. Well good luck with that but if you try giving her something stupid again, Echo. I smile at him and he shivers. Yes, yes. I will pick carefully, John. He then waves goodbye and runs off somewhere. I then move to where my daughter is. After some time walking we arrive at the top floor of the mall. The top floor of the mall has a big place that was used as an auditorium for some show they have every weekend. The show today is about stars and my daughter forced me to come with her. 
Anya is 10 years old girl and very energetic one. She is also my only child as well as the only one in my family. She is the last memento of my wife. She died giving birth to Anya, there's some resemble of her in my daughter, her smile and excitement are just like her. The show starts at night time so it's pretty late here a lot of people gather on the show, it was a happy moment. The place in the auditorium was quite dark and a lot of people gather there. When the show started stars came flying everywhere around the auditorium making my daughter happy while clapping her hands in excitement. I pat her head with my hand and she looked at me with a smile. The show then goes on and we have fun together till it ends at midnight. After the show is over my daughter fell asleep, and I have to carry her on my back to my car after that I drive home to our house and place her on the bed and then I move to the living room and turn on the TV and watch some show. As I started to almost fall asleep my phone rang. I look at it and the text said the name Han. Han is a police officer like me he is a human that was assigned to my team a couple of weeks ago, why is he calling me at this time of hour? I look at the clock and saw that it was 1am, I press the answer button and put it in my ear. Hello, Han? Echo. E Echo Han, he sounds quite panicky. What happened? Han? What's going on? Echo. Echo we need to get out of here out of this sit in a J just run away Han. Hey, Han? What's going on? Echo. P please a run Han. Drip. Toot toot toot. The call ended just like that. What does he mean by run? Away from the city. Then grumble. Grumble. Whoa. Echo. The ground starts shaking, and the window started to light up. I took a deal breath and moved to the window. The window is closed and covered with curtains. I slowly open it and look outside and see. Boom boom boom. A building in the city. Failing the ground in the distance. What? Then I see a light in the sky and it's falling like a shooting star to another building in the city. Boom. Grumble. Grumble. The building explodes and the shock wave came, and the glass on the window crack. Oh no. Echo. I then run to my daughter's room. I open the door and see that she was already up and looking at the window in her room. She looks at me with a pale face. Papa it's happening? Aina. She has small tears coming from her eyes. I move to her hug her and put my hand in her hair telling her that is alright everything is okay, then I move to the garage of my house while carrying my daughter in my hands, the garage is pretty big my car is parked in the middle and there is a room beside the garage that is locked. I lower my daughter onto the ground and open a tool drawer somewhere in the garage and look below it, I strip a key that was attached with duct tape below the tool drawer for safekeeping I grab the key and move to the locked room I insert the key to the lock and turn it and the door opens, what's inside is my police officer suit and weapons, it's equipped with Kevlar armor and a helmet and my guns are also inside, I move and the change into my police suit grabbing my guns and anything else inside, then I move to the garage where my daughter is, she looks at me with a worrying expression, I only pat her head. Don't worry everything will be alright, Echo. I then grab my car key on the top of a shelf and open the car then I open the garage and when it opened I saw a lot of people outside looking at the burning city some of them are panicking and some of them are calling. Rah um rah um. I started my car. Aina is sitting beside me on one of the driver's seats. My car is quite small but it can fit five people inside. I then drove the car from the garage onto the road then pia us. I look at the sky above and saw a bright light falling here and boom, it hit a house a couple of blocks away. And that's where the panic began. Screaming and fear started to form and a lot of people started running as I look at the sky I saw something big. Woong, it's a big airship and it's sending fighter jets and big cargo planes everywhere. While also rated to da 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 boom, boom. Boom. Shooting at everything they see. I started my car and drive. The first thing that I have to know is to go to the police headquarters. The headquarters is not in the city but not too far from the city I move there for the time being while minding the road that is full of panic people. What is going on? And Han, how do you know about this? While sweating in the car from panicking I didn't see that my daughter is still looking at me with a worrying expression. I just drive my car as fast as I can to the police headquarters, it's not quite a safe place for my daughter, but there's nowhere else but to go from here. 33, Chapter 19 Echo Past Part 2 Echo Poff The sirens all around the city started ringing, vehicles started moving all around the place, everyone was in a state of panic, 
Broken buildings and flames were made all around the place. I drove my car to where the police headquarters was at a fast speed, with Anya beside me in the car. ta 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 Boom. 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 Gunshots and explosions came all around us. The road I took leads to a bridge and the bridge was full of cars blocking the way. I stop the car and I click my lips stress because the route was blocked. Looking at the long bridge filled with cars and trucks I started looking around if there's another way. Then another star came flying from the sky. Oh god, echo. And it hit the bridge dead in the center and destroyed it. Panic started while I just sat there in the car looking at the bridge falling into the water beneath with a lot of cars and people. I then drove my car back and drive through another road while finding a way to go to the other side of the river. Aina keeps looking at the falling bridge in the distance and then looks in front of the road. She is not making any sound at all. She just stayed silent. Then she looks at me. Her eyes started to tear up again. It's fine everything is fine don't worry I'm here. Echo. After a couple of times on the road. I saw a small empty bridge that I can use for a crossing and use it. And I managed to get across to the other side with nothing happening to us. The road is full of trees all around us and it's quite hard to notice us from the sky even when the vehicle's lights are on. But I still have to be careful while also navigating the road. Then I heard sounds from the sky above I look up from the car window and saw. For you or you are us. For you or you are us. Taro ro 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 Flap, 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 roar, flap, flap, flap. Jets and helicopters moving up above on the sky below us. It's the military and it's moving to the city where the giant flying ship was. I also saw dragons and people with wings following the helicopters and jets. Seems like the people with wings and dragons are also helping them out. I then speed up my car and move through the road leading to where the police headquarters is. Third person poff. In a big building somewhere in the distance where Echo was driving to. The police headquarters. Woo-ooing. 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 The alarm of the headquarters was ringing and a lot of people are moving out and into the building. Almost all of them were wearing police gear with guns in their hands. One of the police was talking on the radio. This is John PSSS. What's the status? John. PSSS we're evacuating the people in the city but there is no end to them. PSSS keep it it reinforcement is coming to your location, John. It better be. PSSS we can't hold much longer. Click. John closes the radio and looks up in the sky. The headquarters is quite on the chaos side right now but everything is under control for now. The CEO is not here even the secretary of this place is not here. He looks at all of them that already have their weapons in their hands, and some are moving in every direction. He is at the front of the main entrance of the headquarters. He looks at the distance where the city is. It's early in the morning but the burning light from the city shines so bring that the sky lit up. He looks at the big flying ship hovering at the city dropping a lot of things into the city. He saw in the distance the army advancing to the city very quickly. Then, woo-oo-oonk, he heard sounds coming from the ship that was hovering in the city. He looks at it and saw, oh god, John. Three lights came flying here. Boom, boom, boom. Echo Poff. Driving on the road for a while I managed to get to where the headquarters was, only a couple of miles away. Boom, boom. Boom. I heard an explosion in the distance, and it's coming from where the headquarters should be at. I narrowed my eyes. That's not a good sign. I step on the accelerator while Lania looks at me from her seat. I look at the distance headquarter that was smoking. I hope everything is all right there. Echo. After some time I arrive at the headquarter to see. ta 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 One. No three gigantic machines destroying the headquarter. A lot of people shooting at it with their guns but the bullets didn't do anything against it. Eh? Help me? A lot of sounds were made there. I saw a couple of police officers fighting those big machines but get destroyed easily by them. Seeing that I look at Anya closing her ears with her hands from the sound happening here. This is bad. I parked my car beside the headquarters and got out of the car to get a better look. Papa? Aina. Aina looks at me with her eyes. I pat her in the head. Don't worry I'm okay I'll protect you but stay here for a while okay? Echo. Well that was what I said with my lips but I was panicking on the inside. What to do now? It's chaotic. The HQ is being destroyed. The city is under attack. A lot of people were killed, and I can't even do anything. Then I heard shouting in front of the HQ. I look there and saw some people I recognize. Everyone moves out. Go, 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 go. Don't break formation. 
support unit help cover fire with the main unit. Other units help the wounded and get the vehicles here. John, I see John commanding the place. Where is the CEO of this place? Tatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
Nice to meet you, Ellie. We will be having you on the team for now. Right on. Better be prepared, Rug. Raga's weapon was a pistol and a compound bow while he is an elf and elves are very good with bows and ranged weapons he is a sniper class or ranger. Rug is using a riot shield and a shotgun guess he is a defender or a tanker. Rayton is using an assault rifle with some additional granite and C4 with a handgun I guess a demolition. Ellie is equipped with an SMG with a pistol and a medical bag. She is the only medic on the team. And Fort reforms the looks of things I didn't look at him yet, but he is equipped with an assault rifle and a riot shield well I guess he is an all-rounder and also seems to be the leader of the squad. Well as long as we finish this quickly, we don't have much time here, Raggers. We all nodded at Raggers' words and move into the headquarter. We found a door leading inside right in front of us so we used that. Clackick. Okay. Let's move. Fortra. The door opens and we move in guns ready. The headquarter seems to be fine at first when we got in, but some stuff is scattered everywhere. The place is a mess. Well, for now. No enemy on sight but there's a lot of rumbling outside. We all move in fast to where the place where the vehicle was stationed at. Third person poff. Woo oo oonk. Fire. Fire. Tatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
We saw a drill came drilling from the wall. We aim our guns at the drill while being cautious. The drill stops and then it open. What? Raggers. Then, and clackick, and clackick, and clackick. Well, bloody hell. Take cover. Fortra. Tatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
What's about Fortratine? Ego. I wonder what is Fortra doing right now. Let me look he is okay for now with the others they are moving down to the underground section as we speak, Raggers. Okay, that's good Ellie you okay? Echo. Yes I'm good, Ellie. This place has no electricity so it's quite dark but there's a lot of windows and the light from outside was pretty bright so I can see every droid here. I then started firing my gun at the droids followed by Ellie doing cover fire with her SMG and Raggers sniping some at long distance with his bow. After dealing with all of that we moved to the designated place and moved to the underground section using the ladder that was leading down. Fortripoff Arriving at the underground section of the headquarter we ran through the corridor and saw a door in the distance. The door was another metal door and it's red. This is the door right? Right on. Yes kid this is the door, rug. The place is dark but our team is specialized in dark places so we're okay. We then take a defensive position at the door. C4 coming right up. Rayton. Rayton put a C4 at the door and we move back to cover. And then he presses the button. And boom. The C4 explode and the metal door was sent flying. We then started moving into the underground section. And we arrive at the control station of the underground basement of the headquarter where they manage the garage to open the vehicle sector. What we see is a lot of rubbles and dead bodies. So that's the reason nobody picks up. The control place collapsed by the rubble so we need to blow up the gate manually. We then move into the control room. But then, wounding, a red light looking like a V appears in front of us. Ah, this is as different from the droids we fight. 22. Chapter 22 Echo Past Part 5 Echo Poff We are in front of the door leading to the underground section now. I look at the others and they nodded their heads so I look at the door and... Bang! I kicked the door open and the door flung to the right making a loud sound and we move in. The place is rather dark so we use a flashlight that we have in our gear. I have never been here so I'm blind about everything here. I can only count on Raga's map here. Place clear? Echo. I don't know I don't see any movement here. Raggers. Same here, Ellie. The place seems to be just a regular hallway, but just pretty dark. Okay. Let's move. Echo. We then started moving into the dark hallway. Raggers do you know the map here? Echo. Let me check, Raggers. He opens his wrist device and looks it up. We're in the northern section of the underground base of the headquarter. To get to the vehicle hangar or garage we need to go five rooms right in front of us. That's where the garage is located. Also, there are the armory three rooms away from here. There should be explosives and useful gear that we can use there as well, Raggers. I then think we need to go to the vehicle hangar but our equipment is very limited right now so I guess moving to the armory is a good idea. We're moving to the armory for now where is it located? Echo are this way, Raggers. We then move to where the armory is. While we're moving I heard footsteps in the distance in front of us. I look at Raggers and he looks at me. I look at Ellie and she tilted her head to the side. Well, Ellie is a human so she doesn't have a very powerful hearing sense. Raggers is an elf so he is quite good. For me I've been trained to hear long distance movement. Ready your weapons. We got company, Echo. We all ready our guns and aim in front. Then, boom. The door at the end of the hallway exploded and there we saw droids moving in from there. We all aim our guns at them and fire. Echo. ta 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 Stretch pang packing. Patches. Pang pang pang. Boom. Five droids are moving in on us. Three got shot by me and all of them fall to the ground one by one. One was hit on the head the others got multiple hits on their bodies. Ellie hit two and all of them hit the body. And Raggers headshot the last one that was about to shoot at Ellie. Patches. Patches. One of the droid is on the ground trying to get up and shoot at us but stretch pang. Raggers hit it in the head and it falls to the ground and stops moving. We wait there for a second if there's more of them but we didn't see any more coming so we started moving again while still aiming at the open door. There we arrive at the second hallway. There we saw a lot of furniture blocking the path right in front of us. We also saw a cracked wall on the left side of the wall. Damn it's blockied but, Echo. Maybe if we destroy the wall. What's the room behind the wall on the left? Echo. Ah that's the medical lab. If we destroy the wall we might be able to open the door on the other side and we can safely move to the armory, Raggers. We may be able to get to the armory if we destroy the wall say Raggers the room behind the wall seems to lead to the other side he said. We move to the crack wall and I inspect it. The others are looking around so that nothing can flank us. Echo. 
We may need a tool to break it, it seems quite strong. I look around the place and I saw a door on the right side of the wall. Raggers what is the door on the right? Echo, the door on the right? Ah that's a small storage room, Raggers. I move there and open it and look inside and there we say. Uck, Ellie, an officer on the ground not moving. Seems to be wounded because of something. I move ahead and inspect him but he seems to be dead. Poor guy seems like he was in a blind and move himself to the small storage. He seems to be bleeding from gunshots. Seems like it may be from the droids. He was holding a sledgehammer in his arm as a weapon. Echo, we can use that to break the wall. I grab the sledgehammer from him and move up. He is dead but we can proceed with this. Echo, all of us nodded and moved to where the crack wall is. Raggers stay for a moment and send his prayers to him before moving to us again. I aim the sledgehammer to the crack wall and then bang, bang, bang. With my power as I've been training a lot. My physical ability is stronger than the average demon so it's easy to break the wall. Only took three swings. We then move into the medical bay. There we saw some medical equipment. And the door to get out is just a couple of feet away from here so I move there. Raggers follow. But Ellie grabs some equipment first before following me. Well, she is the medic. I then look to my team to say are they ready. Raggers nodded. I'm um, wait a second, Ellie. Ellie seems to be sorting her bag. After some time she then looks at me and nodded. And I open the door with my gun raised. This hallway is empty and no sign of any droids yet. So we kept moving to the next hallway without any problems. We arrive at the third hallway now. The armory should be right around the corner. Raggers. After following Raggers instructions we found a door that seems to be made out of metal and there's a lock on it. It seems that the door is locked. Ah oh, that's a big lock, Ellie. I can see that, Echo, maybe we can break it with a hammer? Raggers, I nodded and try to break the lock by swinging my hammer to it but, cooking, cooking, the lock is quite hard to break, that's a very very tough lock, Echo, Raggers move in front and inspect the lock, ah, it seems to be made out of metal a regular weapon can't break it the door seems to be sturdy too we need to find the key to open it, Raggers. Seems like we need to find the key to get it open all of us look around the place if we can find something. The hallway seems to be quite empty but there's another door beside the armory. I look at Raggers. Raggers what's inside this door? Echo. He looks at me and then looks at the door before looking at his wrist device again. It seems to be an office nothing out of the ordinary weight. Raggers. I and Deli look at Raggers as he said that. There seems to be an air vent in that office that leads to the armory maybe we can use that to get inside, Raggers. An air vent? That's quite useful. I nodded and opened the door. The door seems to be unlocked so we move inside. Inside the office was a mess. Documents and books scattered around the floor and desk. Raggers point up and we all look up and saw a close hatch. Seems to be the air vent he was talking about. I saw a desk near me so I grab it and pull it below the closed hatch and I slowly got up on the desk and opened the hatch. The hatch seems small. I may not be able to fit inside of it. The hatch is too small for me. Echo. It's quite small but. I look at a certain someone besides Raggers. Looking at it again it's also quite small for me but. Raggers. Raggers have the same idea as me and look beside him. The two of us look at the only person left in our little group. Wait we are you looking at me? Ellie. 23. Chapter 23 Echo Past Part 6. Ellie Poff. Clung. Clathang. Clang. Aquimi. Ellie. Crawling through the air vent that I was forced to do by them. Anyway. The air vent is quite cramped here. The length of the air vent from side to side is a little wider than my main gun length but it's still really cramped here. I have to point my gun in front so that it won't get stuck and good thing my body even fits in this air vent. I also have my flashlight in my mouth so that I can see what's in front of me because this air vent is dark. I left behind my bag and medical kits with the others because they won't fit if I had them on me. I only have my SMG the MP10 and my regular M9 pistol and a small first aid kit attached to the belt that I can attach there. How long till I get to the armory now? Ellie. PSS very close ups it's just next door to the place so not far PSSS there should be a T section now in front of you and in the middle of it should be a hatch to go down to the armory raggers. R. Okay. Thanks I. Ellie. Um you okay there? Raggers. Yeah I'm okay till not like I'm complaining about me being in a dark air vent with only my gun and a small first aid moving to a place where I don't know if it could be good or bad. 
Ellie, I am serious about it. I'm not that good with close combat and I'm very bad at dark places more so if I'm alone here. I'm only a support class Sai. I hope there's nothing in the armory that might jump scare me or I'm going to pee myself. Well just be careful over there. I'm going to look around to find the key to unlock the lock on the door. Raggers you stay here till I come back. Echo. Roger Raggers. Well seems like Ego is going to look for the key why can we all just do that instead of forcing me to do this? Well, it already happened anyway, might as well hurry up. I started crawling my way through the air vent again, then I saw the T-section in front of me and over there in the middle of it was the hatch just like what he said. I slowly crawl my way there. Echo Poff. Okay, where could the key be? I look around the room and there seems to be nothing here that looks like a key so I move to the hallway again. The hallway was empty, no sign of enemy here. I then look at the communication devices on my vest. It's pretty much just a small radio attached to my vest. Everyone has it so that we can communicate with each other. Raggers, you copy? Echo. PSS yes Raggers. Do you know any place where the key may be located? Echo. Schmillet me checks. Raggers. I waited for a couple of seconds then Raggers answer. Ah there should be a room on the next hallway that should have a key case in there. You should try checking it out Raggers. Thank you I'm going there then. Echo. I then started walking to where Raggers said the room was. Elipoff. Clathang. Creek. Placking. Pang. Gratang. I open the hatch and the hatch falls to the ground below with quite a loud sound. I aim my flashlight around so that I can see everything in that place before dropping down from the vent. The armory is pretty big. A row of shelves everywhere filled with ammunition boxes. I also saw some guns on the shelves. There's a lot of different types here like R, SMG, LMG, and other types like a granade launched on one of the shelves there. But all of them are lock and I don't want to mess with the grenade launcher here. One explosion could lead to a chain reaction here so I got to be very careful. Since I don't want to explode into millions of piece here, I slowly walked around every shelf to see if there's anything I can use here. Then as I move my flashlight on a random spot. Ah, Ellie. I saw a trail of blood over there. Oh. This just got worse and I hate it because it's dark here. I slowly walked over there and followed the trail. Step. Step, step. Every step I made echoes all around me. Seriously, what's with this horror setting? The trail of blood I started following suddenly leads to the right. Glup. I swallowed air, and I slowly walked over there. My gun is shaking. Wait that's just my hand shaking. I arrive at where the blood turns right. With my flashlight in my hand, I slowly turn the flashlight to the right. And what I saw over there was. Crick. 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 Drip. 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 A one giant arm robot moving its head around while making rusted metal sounds, with the body of a dead office in its big hand. Drub. It drops the body on the ground when it saw me flashing it with my flashlight. Its big red eye started glowing. I look at the robot's big bloody arm, and I saw blood dripping from it. So this is what happens when you follow bloody trails in horror movies huh. My face turns pale and sweat came running down my face as I was opening my mouth. Aha, uh -huh, Ellie. You know what? I think I better start watching cute animals videos every day again after this is over. Before that. Ah. Ellie. I have to scream and run away from that thing. Echo Poff. Arriving at the fourth corridor where he said the key was I saw one room on the left and one on the right side of the hallway. I didn't know which room that has the keys so I picked the room to the left. I opened it and saw. What the? Echo. Three droids with different sizes looking at light from an HP on the ground with three dead bodies of different people scattered around the room that is full of stuff like money and clothes. One of the droids seems to have a trash can stuck on its head. Seems to be the tallest of them there. The other one is wearing a cowboy hat, and its body is square and seems to be the shortest amongst them. And the last one seems to be wearing dark glasses on its head. The body is the same as the regular droid I saw and was not like the other two that have weird bodies. I slowly look at them closely if I am seeing things right. I kept blinking my eyes and they're still there. Nanny? Seems like the droids are too focused to even see me at the door. They just keep staring at the HP that seems to be playing a video about something. The tall droid is standing behind the short droid that didn't seem to have legs but has a small wheel attached and the droid with glasses is squatting on the ground. All of them are watching the video on the HP. I move my flashlight around the room avoiding hitting the droids and didn't see any key cases. So I guess it's in the other room then. 
so I just slowly close the door. Slowly. After I close the door I pinch myself on the hand if I'm dreaming, but it hurts. I then look at the door again then look at the other door while shaking my head. That's the weirdest thing I ever see in my life as a police officer. Echo. I move to the next room and try to forget what I just saw over there. Elipoff. Running. Running. I kept running straight till I reached the end of the wall before running to the left quickly so that I won't get grabbed by that robot easily. P.S.S.S. Ellie what happened? I heard a scream over there. Raggers. Raggers called me from the communication devices that I have on my vest. I keep running and then answer the communication devices. What happened? I'm being chased by a big one arm robot right now. Ellie. I look back and aim my flashlight there and saw the robot slowly running towards me while dragging its big bloody arm on the floor. Scratch that. It was pretty slow but I don't know what to do right now I can't fight that thing and I don't want anything blowing up in here. So I'm reluctant to fire my gun here. Ellie. Then for some reason, the robot grabs a random crate on a random shelf beside it with its big arm and throws it at me. Whoa. Ellie. I duck and the crate flew right past my head before crashing to a wall behind me. Crash. Paling. 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 The crate was filled with bullets and all of its content crashes to the ground, but now is not the time to be talking about that I can't think of anything as either do that or that. I aim my gun at it and pull the trigger I can't let that thing throw another crate at me. ta 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 Ping. Plang. Pang. Pong. But the bullets didn't even do anything to it. Hell. Ellie. What happened? Raggers. Bullets didn't work on it. Ellie. Oh just keep moving. I'm going to where Echo is right now to help find the key. Raggers. Yeah please hurry. Ellie. I then started running around the armory again so that the robot won't catch me and rip me off. 20. Chapter 24 Echo Past Part 7 Echo Poff Ah it should be around here somewhere. Echo Arriving at the right door of the hallway I opened the door and walked inside the room. For some reason, the place seems to be pretty clean. No scattered paper on the ground or any broken furniture at that. I look around and see the shelf filled with keys on the wall. I walk there and try opening the shelf. Gatak. Gatak. Echo. Of course. It's lock. The shelf was made out of glass so. Raising my hand I then hit the glass with my elbow. Crash. The glass broke and I then started looking around the shelf filled with keys and started looking for the key to open the lock on the armory door. But then. Grumble. Grumble. Whoa. Echo. The ground started shaking. An earthquake. What happens outside? I look behind for a second and then. Broke. Crash. The shelf that was full of keys break and falls from the wall to the ground. As I turn my head towards the shelf. Well what's remains of it? R.S.H.T. Echo. All of the keys are scattered around on the ground. Then my communication devices started ringing. P.S.S.S. Echo did you find the key yet? Raggers. Um. Working on it. Echo. P.S.S.S. I'm going there to help you. Ellie is in trouble there so we need the key ASAP. Raggers. I'm okay. I'm on the right door of the place you said and the keys are here. Need help. Echo. I hope Ellie will be alright with waiting more. Ellie Poff. Whoosh. Wah. Ellie. Crash. Evading another crate smash on a wall behind me as I run around the armory. The robot is still chasing me slowly but if I get hit by the flying crate then I'm dead. I only have my flashlight to see where I am going and the robot keeps following the flashlight. Ah. I wish I have night vision goggles. I look around if I can find anything to use. I saw some tools from the broken crate maybe I can use that. I run in circles so that the robot loses track of me then I move back to the broken crate I then look at the thing that are on the ground. Some flashbangs and smoke grenade. Huh, Ellie. I may be able to use this to my advantage. I grabbed some of it and after that, I turn around and, you are, Ellie, saw a giant metallic hand swinging at me. I evade to the side. Bang. Crack. Patches. Patches. Bang. Bang. The hand smashes a flash grenade and a smoke grenade that was on the floor and it set it off and a bright light flashes the place up for a second and then smoke started covering the whole armory. I used this to my advantage and got out of there and ran through another part of the armory. Half youth. Ellie. I'm starting to get tired but I can't rest now. The smoke won't stay too long and that thing will start going after me again. The smoke was starting to fade so. I started running again. Echo Poff. Seriously, Raggers. Don't question it and help me. Echo. Raggers just got here. In the middle of me crouching on the ground trying to find the key to the armory from all of the keys that were scattered on the ground. I hope Ellie is alright with waiting. 
Raggers, will she be alright? What happened anyway? Echo. Raggers then explain everything that was happening on the armory right now. After finish explaining, I hurry up my pace to finding the key with Raggers. Seriously where is the key to the armory? Echo. All of the keys on the floor have name tags on them but none of the name tags are for the armory. There should at least be a spare key here for safekeeping. If I remember correctly the armory key should have a red name tag. Raggers. I look around and see nothing with a red name tag. I then look at the desk and other places and didn't see anything or any keys with a red tag on them. Where the bloody hell is the key? Echo. Ah. Raggers. I look at Raggers when he said that what do you mean by ah? If I remember the key manage usually keep the important key on a safe on a portrait somewhere. Raggers. And you just told me right now? Echo. Oh. I'm going to strangle you. I've been doing everything for nothing then. There's only one portrait in the room I ran there and took her off the portrait and saw a safe behind it. What's the password? Echo. Um it should be written down on his desk if I remember that's what he said that is. Raggers. How do you know this anyway? Echo. Oh because I've been friends with him since before I joined here. Raggers. Okay, close enough. Echo. Ellie, please stay alive for a couple of minutes more. We almost finished finding the key. Ellie Poff. Okay, now where am I? Ellie. I've been running around the armory for some time now and I'm now in some random section of the armory. I lost track of the robot and that makes it quite worse for me. Step. 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 My footsteps are echoing through the armory and that is quite bad because that thing can hear it. I can't hear its footsteps to hear for some reason. I suddenly found myself at the front door of the armory. It's pretty much a small clear area with some crates stack on the floor all around the place. The left and right sides are covered with shelves filled with a lot of things. I move to the door and try to open it. Gatang. Gatang. Yep it's still locked why do I even bother? I turned around and woong. The robot was there. And now is blocking the only way for me to move around the armory. I blame myself for getting myself into this tight spot. The robot raised its big arm and swing it at me. I quickly evade to the left. Bang. Seriously. How much power does that thing have for it to make a small crater on the armory hard floor? It then started swinging its arm to the side where I was and I quickly evade it again by jumping while turning my body to the left but that's a mistake. Gathang. Ugh. Ellie. I hit a crate while I was evading and falls to the ground accidentally as the crate that I hit falls beside me. I swing my head left and right a couple of times and then look up and there I saw the robot was about to swing its big arm at me. I roll to the side and manage to evade the arm. Bang. Crack. The arm that the robot swing hit the crate that was beside me and the crate got smashed and every inside the crate falls to the ground in front of me. I look at what is on the ground and saw. Shock charge. Ellie. Just what I need right now. It's very effective to stun the enemy but it's even more effective again electronic. It should be able to stop the robot's movement with this. I grab one of them and rolled away from where the robot was. I then turned the shock charge in my hand on and throw it on the floor in the middle of the robot leg. The robot started moving its leg and it triggering the shock charge. Bang. Buzz buzz buzz. The robot got stunned, and electricity started coming out from its body. And its body started to stop moving. I quickly grabbed more shock charge on the floor. I then saw something at the corner of my eyes inside the broken crate. That's, Ellie. What I find is something that should have not been there. Why is there a gravity spike here? Ellie. A gravity spike is a weapon that can create a shock wave that can even throw people up in the air while also destroying anything that made close contact with it. 21. Chapter 25 Echo Past Part 8 Echo Poff. Still, in the room where the safe was with raggers, I am searching for the code for the safe on the desk. Not here. Echo. The top deck has nothing what about the bottom drawer of the desk? I tried opening it and it's lock. Echo. I don't have time for this so I force it open with my hand. Crack. It made a cracking sound and then it opened I look inside and saw pieces of folded paper. Is this it? Echo. I grabbed the folded paper and opened it. There I see a number around four digits. The number is 6669. Well, ain't that something? I think I found it. Echo. Really? Okay, try it, hope it works. Raggers. I ran to where the safe is either lock in the safe is a button input one so I just need to type the number on it to open it. Oak 6669. Echo. Clackic. 
As I finished typing the numbers and press the enter button I heard the safe unlocking. I opened the safe and saw some keys. R. There is a red key there. Found it. Echo. Okay, let's go back now. Raggers. We then headed back to where the armory was. Elipoff. Finding a gravity spike here is unexpected. Finding one is hard because of its limited construction. Why is it doing in a crate filled with shock charges? But it might come in handy. I grabbed the gravity spike. Woo! Exclamation mark Ellie. I rolled to the side with the gravity spike on my hand as I saw a big hand striking down on the broken crate where I was at. Bang. Well, I guess the robot can move again. Now what? Claytag. Claytag. I heard sounds coming from the door. I looked there and saw Echo and Raggers on the window. It seems like they're opening the door great. Whoa. Ellie. The robot swings its big hand at me and I evade again by rolling to the side. Then again the robot swing its arm to the side where I was and I evade again. Now I am behind the robot. Clathang. Bang. I look at what's in front of the robot and saw the door was kicked open by Echo and they started aiming their guns at the robot. The robot looks at them. Fire. Echo. Then Echo and Raggers started shooting their guns at the robot and I quickly duck on the floor. Echo poff. ta 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 I and Raggers are now engaging the big hand robot. We kept firing our guns but. Ting. Plang. Dang. Pang. I guess Ellie is not kidding with its armor huh? Echo. The bullet we fired doesn't work on it. What to do now? We can only keep it at bay by shooting it with our guns. Ellie seems to be doing something behind the robot. What is she doing? It's quite hard to shoot since she is behind the robot. Actually, we just did that huh? We only notice now that she was behind the robot. Oh? She has something in her hand. That's a shock charge right? What is she doing now? Raggers. I have no idea. Echo. What is she trying to do? I saw something in her hand. Is that a gravity spike? How did she get that? She looks at us then looks at the robot again. Echo. Raggers. I'm going to do something reckless. Ellie. Wait. 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 What are you trying to do? She throws the shock charge at the robot's feet. Bang. Buzz buzz buzz. The shock charge explodes and stuns the robot. Ellie then ran to the robot from the back and jump on its back then raise the gravity spike high above. Wait a minute. Is she? Stab. She then stabs the robot on the back with it and ting. Active the gravity spike. Boom. A small shock wave came and the first thing I see is the robot started leaking electricity everywhere. Buzz. 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 Swing. 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 It started to move left and right making Ellie almost fall but she's still mounting the robot. Until the robot raised its big hand to the back and grabs Ellie. Eh? Ellie. It then swings its arm that was grabbing Ellie and throwing her at us. You are. Ellie. Ark. Echo, and I was the one that got hit, and I fell down with Ellie on top of me. Ouch, that hurts. I look at the robot and it seems that it's starting to break apart. The gravity spike destroyed the robot inside and the robot falls to the ground with a buzzing noise it wiggles for a moment before it stops moving. I take a sight after that. Ouch ouk that hurt, Ellie. I look at Ellie that is now on top of me, and her helmet isn't there. Maybe it got flung out when she was thrown. What I saw was her face. She has green emerald eyes and short brown hair. She seems young to be honest. Are you okay? Echo. Yes. I'm fine. Ellie. It took a couple of seconds before she got up quickly with a red face. S sorry, Ellie. For some reason, you look like a small animal without your helmet. Ellie then noticed that she wasn't wearing her helmet and look around to look for it. R. Ellie. She found her helmet. Underneath the robot body. Well. There goes that, Raggers. Uck, Ellie. Hey it's nothing to be worried about why do you even care about your helmet anyway? You always hide your face with a helmet even when you first join, Raggers. Hey really? Is she the shy type? I did it because I keep getting pick on when I'm not wearing it, Ellie. R, Raggers. That makes sense since her face is cute. Well, nothing to be worried about better start moving, okay. Anyway let's go grab all the things we can grab now. Echo. Yes. Ellie. And Raggers. We then started to gather ammunition. As we look around it seems like that robot seems to be the only one here. Well. As well as some corpses. After we finish grabbing some ammunition like explosives and other things that we can use like flashbangs and shock charges. The gravity spike seems to be broken when Ellie stabs the robot on its back so we can't use it anymore. We then proceeded to move to the fourth hallway again. 
I saw that the room on the right is open I slowly move my gun and aim at the room. What I see is an empty room. Seems like those weird droids are not here anymore. We don't have time to search the room so we make our way to the last corridor. It's just a straight line with nothing in it. Just a metal door right in front of us. We walked our way to where the metal door was and tried opening it. But it seems that it was shut tight. I look at Raggers and he nodded. Raggers is the one that was carrying the explosive that he grabbed from the armory. He put the C4 on the door and we moved away from the door. After we are at a safe distance he activates the C4. Boom. It exploded and the metal door opened. We then aim our gun to the front and move in. The place we are in now is the vehicle hangar. Yes, this is it, Raggers. Raggers told us as he looks at his device. We just need to open that gate, Raggers. He then pointed his flashlight somewhere and we saw a giant gate at where his flashlight was shining at. There's no way we can open that giant gate. There should be a control room somewhere but with no electricity. It is a waste of time, Raggers. True we need electricity to open that gate. I looked around the place. There is some vehicles parked around the place. Around special ops cars and I even saw some of them have turrets on top. I aim my flashlight to the gate. I see some joints to open the gate. I wonder if we can open the gate if we destroy it. Can we force it open by destroying the joint? Echo. All of us look at the joint on the gate. Maybe we can try even if it didn't open it we just need to put more force into it to open it. Raggers. Yeah, seems like we know what to do now. Grumble. Exclamation mark echo. What the? Raggers. What was that? Ellie. We heard grumbling sounds. And it's mainly from. It came from over there. Raggers. The sound came from on top of the vehicle hangar. It came from the control room. Raggers. The control room seems to be stationed around the second floor of the vehicle hangar. We aim our flashlight up to the control room. The glass of the control room is pitch black. We can't seem to see anything on the other side. Then crash. The glass broke and we saw something flying to us. Evade. Echo. All of us evade to the side. Boom. Gratak. Grumble. We look at what was thrown at us and saw. R. Ellie. The Lifeless Body of Ruton. 20. Chapter 26 Echo Past Part 9. Echo Poff. Mary. Ellie. Ellie slowly walked to where Ruton's body was laying and crouched down beside him. She put one of her fingers in his neck. I look at Raggers. Raggers. Echo. I know. Raggers. The two of us aimed our guns at where Ruton was sent flying. The glass was broken but. Bang. 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 I heard gunshots coming from inside. Gah. We heard a scream over there. And then we saw another window beside it broke and the shattered glass falls to the ground where we are. We saw blood splatter on the shattered glass on the ground. We looked up and saw a body dangling at the edge of the broken window well half of its body. Is that Rug? Echo. Yep, that's him, Raggers. Then, crash. Someone was sent flying out of the control room from the broken window. Drop. And it fell in front of us. It's Ark. R. Fortra. Fortra. Echo. I and Raggers ran to where he was but he then raises his hand to us to stop. Don't. Hurry up and get out of here. Fortra. But. Raggers. Just get out of Ag. Fortra. Boom. Something jump from the control center and land on Fortra body. We aimed our flashlight and guns at it and saw. What the hell is that? Raggers. It was a humanoid robot and it was holding a bloody katana. The humanoid robot has full black body armor with a V sign attached to its head. Get out. Just get out of. Fortra. Before Fortra can finish his speak the robot raises its katana and decapitated Fortra's head. After it decapitated Fortra it looks at us and walks slowly to us. Not good. Fire. Echo. Tatatatatatata. Tatatatatatata. Raggers and I started firing our guns at it. But the bullets. Slice. Cling. Slice. Plang. Ping. The bullets were sliced up into two by the robot's katana, some of the bullets hit the armor but it bounces and didn't even dent it. This is bad. Really bad. I look at Raggers. Raggers. Get Ellie and blow that gate up fast. I'll deal with this myself. Echo. Are you crazy? You see what that thing did to the others? Raggers. Don't worry I got a plan. Echo. He looks at me silently before he nodded at me and ran to where Ellie was. She was still on the ground laying beside Rayton's body. Hey, Ellie stop thinking about it. We got to move. Raggers. Be but. Ellie. Just move. Raggers. The two of them then ran towards the gate and I stayed here with the robot in front of me. Well, 
Might as well say maybe an android at this point because it's humanoid ting. Its eyes glow brightly and I raise my gun at it. I haven't tried my skill yet but I guess I have to do it to buy enough time for them to blow the gate up. Echo. Woo. -woo. The android looks at me. As I readied myself for its attack, it launches at me by jumping forward to where I was. I then used my skill. I said it with a small voice. Presence concealment. My body then turns transparent and I jump to the side and move to its back. The android blade misses me and then it started looking around. This is not the first time I use this skill. I had a couple of tries before but still. It's hard to use this skill. I aimed my gun at its back and pulled the trigger. ta 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 Ting. Plang. Pan. Pang. But it didn't even dent it at all. Seriously what is that armor made of even its back can deflect the bullets? The android looks behind but I quickly take cover somewhere and it didn't see me so it then started looks around again. I let my breath out a bit and was about to take a step but then ting swing. The android trow its katana at me suddenly and I quickly jump back. Dring. The katana hit the ground in front of where I jump and the katana manages to grace me a bit on my shoulder and my skill deactivates from that. I look at the android and quickly aimed my gun again but I was too slow. The android rushed to where I was and grabbed my gun with its hand. Huge. Echo. It grabbed my gun and started crushing it with its hand. How powerful is that hand? I let go of the gun in my hand and kick the android in the belly with my feet. The android flew back a couple of feet away and look at me before breaking my gun in two with its arm and throw it to the floor. Fuffies is challenging, Echo. I got to thinking of something. I took out a knife I had on my belt. Every officer is armed with at least a knife or baton for close quarter combat. I used pretty much a knife for that. I wonder if this can even penetrate its armor. I bet it couldn't since bullets can't penetrate it. The android ran to where its katana was and quickly took it out from the ground. And then it looks at me with its glowing eye again. Echo. Wonder what the others doing now are they still trying to open the gate now? The android then started launched to where I was again but, presence concealment. Echo. I activate my skill presence concealment and evade it. I then use another skill. Silent noise. Echo. I got to stay quiet more the android was about to detect me even when I was making a little sound. The android then started looking around for me again. I look at the android that is still looking around trying to find me. Well, I better start thinking of another plan to beat that thing. Ragaspoff running and arriving at the gate with Ellie we started to plant the explosive on the joints of the gate. There are four of them and it will take time to plant them all. I look behind to where Echo should be at. I heard gunshots over there. Ragas. Ragas? Ellie. I look at Ellie that seems to have murky eyes in her eyes. Well can't blame her we lost everyone and she lost someone dear to her. But this is normal for a police officer so we have to stay strong. I then remembered something. There should be some car keys in the place where we came in. Ellie you plant the explosive I'm going to help Echo, Raggers. Eh? But, Ellie, don't worry I know what I am doing and also the others are waiting outside the faster we can open the gate the faster we can get help, Raggers. Ellie thinks for a moment, then look at me, okay but don't die, Ellie. I then turned around and I'll try not to, Raggers. Then started running to the door where we came from, I just hope I find it there. Ellie Poff. Looking at Raggers fading away in the darkness with his flashlight, I looked at the gate, what do I do, Ellie, I remember when I saw his dead body, Rayton was very special to me and, uck, Ellie, slap, I slap myself in the face, I can't be depressed now, seriously, what would they think of me if I broke down right here right now, and here we promise that we will have a party once this is over, Ellie, I don't know why but I'm starting to feel something dripping from my face. What's this? I touched it with my arm. Tears. Ellie. Ah, I guess I'm still weak to this huh. I shake my head left and right then look at the gate. Then I look at the joint supporting the gate. I then grabbed something. Before Ragas left he gave me some explosives. I better hurry up and open this gate so that the others outside can come in. I then started planting the explosive at the gate joints quickly. I hope Echo and Ragas are alright. 20. Chapter 27 Echo Past Part 10 Third Person Poff In the dark vehicle hangar, the android was moving around trying to find Echo but still can't find him. The android then suddenly stopped on track and raised its katana and ting. Swing. 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 Swing in every direction. 
The swing launches a wave of wind that slices anything on its path. Whoa. Echo. Echo. That was still invisible look at what the android did everywhere. Seriously talk about temper. Echo. Echo then slowly moved to where the android was from behind. The android was only swinging its katana to the front and leaving its back exposed. It makes a perfect ambush. Slowly Echo makes its way to the android from behind, but then ting. Swing. The android swings its katana to the back. Arc. Echo. Echo duck to avoid the incoming slash from its blade. The slash hit the wall behind Echo and it made a long strip line on the wall. Echo look at the wall then at the android that kept swinging its sword. Just hat was close. Echo. Echo was still invisible he didn't get hit from the slash. Not taking any chances he runs to the android. And he then rammed the android from behind Echo skill also deactivate from the ram. Woo. -woo. The android that got rammed by Echo fell to the ground but it quickly jumps up and slashes its katana at Echo. Echo evaded to the side and did an uppercut to the android face with its fist. Dang. That hurt. Echo. The punch sends the android back a couple of feet away it hurts Echo's hand a bit but. Taking this chance Echo grabbed and raised his knife and swings it at the android head. But. Sweating. The android blocks the knife that he swings with its katana. TCH. Echo. Ting. The android then raised one of its arms to grab Echo but Echo evaded by jumping back a couple of feet from where the android was. The android slowly looks at Echo. Echo then braces himself for another attack, but then, for a living being you are very cautious. Echo was shocked. The android suddenly spoke, but he keeps his guard up. The sound that the android makes is the sound of a grown adult man. Compared to the others that can only shoot you are much more challenging, android. It seems like Android was praising Echo. Echo narrows his eyes. For an Android you're pretty rough I can say that. Echo. I am a samurai warrior I am rough. Android. Compared to now he might be able to get information from him since he can speak. Echo Poff. So why did you invade us? Echo. We're only following orders. Android. From who? Echo. Classified. Android. Figure. There's no way he will answer that. It'd be too easy. Is that all? If that's all then let's con. Android. Fip. Fip. I and the android heard a sound from the distance the two of us look at the source and saw. An armored police car drove at top speed to where we are. I evaded to the side while the android just stared at the car and Brack got hit by it. The car smashed into a wall with the android in the front crushing it to the wall. What just happened? Echo. Then the door of the car opened and I saw raggers coming out from there and started running to me. Sorry for that I should have said something to you before hitting the trust to ha ha ha, raggers. Um don't worry about that but didn't I tell you to, Echo. I can't just leave you here alone you know. And also Ellie is trying to open the gate she will be okay alone I think. Raggers. You think? Echo. Yes, I think she will be able to do it, raggers. I sighed and look at where the car crash was. I hope that managed to take it down, raggers. But then, gring. Crang. Crack. Gang. The armored car started to move left and right. Swe I. Bang. The armored car then falls to the right and we saw the android coming out from the wall all intact with no damage to it at all. Frick, raggers. Even getting crushed by an armored car didn't even scratch it. John Poff. So many things are happening all at once. I look at the front where all of the officers are fighting. ta 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 We need a medic. There's too many of them. ta 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 the droids are slowly making their way over here little by little. Papa, Aina. I look at Echo's daughter that was beside me. Where is the Air Force? We can't take it much longer. Tit. 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 Sir. Multiple flying aircraft are approaching here. We also detected multiple helicopters and dragons coming this way. It's the Air Force, sir. An officer screams while pointing in the distance. Finally. PSS this is Air Force Team 5. Sorry for taking too long need to do a detour to avoid getting shoot down. I grab the radio. You finally made it here. We are getting run over by droids here. We need help now. John. We will start the air raid in T minutes 20 seconds. Get ready. Calling out. I smile and look at the front. Okay. Everyone. An air raid is coming. Keep defending this point. John. Ooh. Every. Police officers. All of them did a war cry and all of them started defending from all of the incoming attacks from the droids. Ellie Poff. Okay check I think everything is done now. Ellie. Okay. Putting all of the explosives on the gate joints is very hard. It's. Even more. 
harder to get the explosive at the top joint. I have to throw it and hope that it sticks on the joints above. Good thing I am very good at drawing. Now I just hope this works, Ellie. I grabbed the detonator and moved away from the gate. Please work. I look at the detonator then at the gate in the distance. Clackick. I then active the detonator. All the explosives exploded and crack, crack, crack. I heard a cracking sound from the gate and then I started to see light coming out from some opening there. The gate then started falling, but then gatang, the gate stopped falling. I look at the gate and then I saw something on the top and the gate was stuck on a sign that was somehow on the top of the roof of the vehicle hangar. Okay, who the hell put a sign over there? You got to be kidding me, Ellie, but then something called me from my communication device. Maybe someone is calling from the outside? I then pick up the call. Um hello? Ellie. PSSS this is John need some help with opening the gate. John, the one who called me is the commanding officer John. Yes, please Echo and Raggers are in trouble and I can't get the gate open we're really in a tight spot right now, Ellie. What about the others? John, Kia only me. Echo and Raggers left. Ellie PSSS OK, moves away from the gate it will take a while to blow it up but once the gate is open we're going to storm in, John out, John, the voice in the communication device then cut off, what does he mean about blowing it up, 16, chapter 28 echo past part final, echo poff, boo 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 I heard an explosion in the distance, is that Ellie, has she finally managed to blow the gate, I look at Raggers, I think it's time we move now, Echo, yep, Raggers, the two of us then ran towards where the gate was, while shooting at the android that started rushing toward us, oh, where are you guys going, android, swing, 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 the android swings its katana at us and wind slash forms every time he slashed his sword at us, the two of us evaded all the slash that was thrown at us while running towards where the gate was, Elipoff. How long will we have to wait again? We're running out of time here. I'm just taking cover near the gate as for their order to stay away from the gate. Then, grumble, grumble, grumble. Whoa, Ellie, the ground started shaking. What happened? Boom, boom, boom. I heard an explosion outside, a lot of explosions. What's happening over there, Ellie? I heard someone calling my name behind me. I looked behind and saw Echo and Raggers running toward me. The gate is stuck. Echo. I nodded at Echo's question. Frick not good we can't. Echo. Can't what? I heard a sound behind Echo and Rag as I looked there and saw the thing the thing that killed the others. Echo poff. TCH. Bad. Echo. Why ask that? You can't outrun me, Android. The gate is still not open. And that thing managed to get here fast, huh? Raggers and Deli aim their guns at the android and I stand ready in front with my knife in hand. Talk about struggling, Android. The android then took a stand with his katana aiming at us. This is bad, as the android was about to attack us the communication devices all of us had on our vest started acting suddenly. PSS move out of the gate now. John. I heard John's voice from the communication device. I looked at where the gate was. Swing. But then I heard the android slashing its katana at us while I was looking at the gate. As that was happening raggers ran in front of me and slash ag. Raggers. Raggers. Echo and Ellie Raggers got sliced in the chest by its blade and then boo something explodes from the gate behind us and that explosion made the gate flew to where we are. We quickly evaded the falling gate. Ellie and I drag Raggers away from it while the android jumps back to avoid the falling gate. Bang. After that, I can see a lot of police officers storming the vehicle hangar from the opened gate. TCH, Android. The android lowered its katana and moved back before looking at me. I can kill all of them but we already brought enough time on away see you next time. Android. The android moves to the shadows and fades away, while a lot of police officers storm everything here, but they didn't find anything there. We then got escorted out while Ellie and some other medic take care of Rayton. Papa. Aina. In the distance, I can hear my daughter's voice calling for me. She ran full speed at me. I crouch down and she quickly takes me while also hugging me. I hug her back in return and she smiled. I then see John moving to me. Wow talk about a hassle good thing the Air Force makes it in time, John. I look up and saw jets flying around, helicopters dropping soldiers, and dragons moving around. I guess the army helps us. We're still not done yet. Follow me, John. 
I then got up with Aina in my hands and then followed John somewhere. I arrived at what seems to be a small control center. John was in front of me with a map and some people are doing their things here. He laid the map on a table in the map there was a red X mark in a certain place and John pointed at the X mark on the map. This is the extraction zone where the army is a station. Some other refugees are also there we're going to have to go here since this place is not safe and we don't have any more places to go the army said that the air force will guard us against any possible danger so be ready to move out now after that, we will join the army and retake this city back from those fucking robots. John. All of the people in the place nodded at John's words, seems like that's the only option we can't do with our current weapons here. I then move out and saw a lot of armor cars came out from the vehicle hangar with some additional people carrying crates and supplies, they seem to be in a rush. I look at Haina and, she just smiled at me. I smiled back and look at the sky above. It's cloudy, they didn't take long to pack up. The one that is an injury was taken care of by the medical team with healing magic that said. Why is there a small amount of mage in this place, Echo? I look around and only saw some healing mage where's the rest of the mages here? I saw John talking to someone in my view. I then started walking to where John was and he saw me walking towards him. <laughs> Have any questions Echo? John just asking why are there a small number of mages here? Echo. John then thinks. And then he looks at me. I don't know but I heard that almost all of the mage were said to move to the main city. It said that it was to help with the defense there. John. Really? That's quite odd. Well since John also doesn't know to will stop asking. Anyway we're going to move out in five minutes get ready. John. I nodded and I started moving to where my car was. After five minutes all of us moved out. There are 15 armored cars and 20 police cars right now moving to the destination that John said. I'm in my car with my daughter and I can see that the Air Force was flying everywhere in the sky. The jets are flying left and right patrolling the area, the helicopter was keeping distance to see if they can spot any incoming enemies, the dragons are on top of us guardian us from above. It took around an hour until we got to where the extraction zone was. Somehow it went smoothly with nothing happening but... It's way too smooth, no enemy attack at all. That's too weird seeing that we are pretty much a big target. The extraction zone has tanks and soldiers guarding the place. I also saw a lot of transport helicopters moving in and out of the place. All of us got out of our vehicles and move into the extraction zone. There John seems to be talking with a general while I walked to an open area looking at the burning city in the distance. Echo, the city was burning brightly. And that big flying ship is still flying above the city. I can see bullets and missiles flying everywhere around the city. Aina was on my side pinching my shirt. I put my hand on her head and look again at the big flying ship and then I saw something glowing. Woo! -woo. Something started moving on the top of the ship. What? Echo. A big purple light came out from the ship and then boom. It made a big explosion there as it flies up high to the sky. Shockwaves spread from the city to here. I grabbed Aina and we quickly lied down on the ground below. The shockwaves spread around us while also hitting the extraction zone behind. I can hear a lot of screams over there. After the shockwave started to fade I got up and look at the city. All of the fire in the city was put out from the shockwave. I look up in the sky. I saw the purple light in the sky started moving. It flew to where the extraction zone is. Oh no. Some people started running out of there and some are shooting at it. I was quite away from the extraction zone was I started getting up but, the purple light in the sky smashed into where the extraction zone was. Boom. A large explosion came and the ground all around started shaking. Then I heard an explosion in the sky all around us. I slowly look up and saw a lot of helicopters and dragons getting shot down from the sky. I also heard something behind me. I look behind me and saw an army of droids and big giant robots. I got up grab Aina in the arm and started running. The extraction zone seems to take a lot of damage but I can see a lot of people are okay over there. I look around, but it seems that the extraction zone is the only place I can go right now. I ran to the extraction zone with Anya in my hands. Arriving there I can hear a lot of screams. Help I need someone here. Medic. Where is the medic team? A lot of people are on the ground not moving and a lot of people running back and forth helping people. I move to where the control center is and, it seems that it's still intact. I saw John there and I sighed in relief. He saw me and ran to where I was quickly. Echo. I'm glad you're okay. John. 
you to John, Echo. I look around and saw a lot of soldiers and people running. Some are just staying on the ground in despair. I look at John, what now? Echo. I don't know but our first priority is to move to a safe place, John. I saw an armies of droids and robot moving here through the plains, Echo. TCH, I knew it. That explains why we haven't been attacked, John. What do you mean? Echo. John looks at the distance. I can say that they might just want to end all of us here I guess they somehow know our location, John. Ah so, they started their counterattack on us. Well anyway we better, John. Boo. I heard an explosion in the distance near us. All of the people including us looked at where the explosion was. There was smoke coming from there and we all saw someone coming out from the smoke, and behind it was a squad of black androids. I'm started to sweat. Fire fire. John. John commands everyone here to start firing at it, and everyone quickly started firing their guns at that thing. But that thing didn't even get hit by the bullets. The bullets stop right in front of the thing. Then the bullet slowly turns around. Exclamation mark everyone take cover. John. All of us quickly take cover and the bullet that was floating started flying towards us at high speed. Some people didn't make it in time and fell to the ground with bullets piercing their bodies. After that, we all slowly got up while still aiming our guns at it. My my. Still, a lot of them are standing. The one in front raised its hands widely while looking at us. That thing has a humanoid body and was wearing a helmet with a no sign on the middle but it looks like an android like the others around him. Who are you? John. John shouts at it. Who am I? The thing puts one of its hands in its chin while still looking at John. It then stretches its arms again. I am O. 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 John. Yes, that's my name. Given by our creator. Ha 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 ha. O. O look around and laughing. All of us are still aiming our guns at O. Ha 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 ha. It's funny. But you still resisting, huh? Bullets won't work on me. So try your best. O. This is bad, John. And also don't worry about the other people, we take good care of them. Oh, what do you mean? Echo. I look at oh. Oh, scary, scary. Well just watch. Oh. Oh then turn around to where the big ship is and then flick. Oh flick its finger, and then woo oo puss 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 puss. The ship started launching missiles in a specific place. Wait that's, nuff shelters. The missiles then hit the shelters all around the city. And then, a giant explosion happened there and a mushroom cloud was formed from the explosion. Why you, John? No way did it just destroyed all the shelters where the citizen and other people were hiding? Ha 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 ha. Yes, explosion everywhere. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you son of a. Some people started firing their guns at O because of rage. Yes, yes, get angry. Oh. The bullet was stopped and was shot back at everyone. All of them fell to the ground with a scream as the bullet hit their body. I love the smell of anger. Oh, monster, John. Well, time for the main event to start. Oh, O raised one of its hands to the sky and then swing it at us. Indicating the androids behind O to move. Everyone fire. John. All of us started firing our guns. But the androids skillfully evade it and started taking down a lot of people. Ha 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 ha. Yes struggle till then end. Oh, then from somewhere, boom, try ting 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 ting. A tank from the army came rushing from a broken building somewhere and aimed its turret at O. Oh, oh, the tank fired its shell at O. Boom, and it explodes. Did it get him? Someone said that. TCH 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 TCH. You should have not done that. Oh, O came out without any scratches. The tank started to open fire with its LMG but the bullet was stopped by O oh, then the tank fire another shell at O oh, but now, boom, oh, no way that's going to work again. Oh, the shell then stops right in front of O. Oh. No way, John. The shell slowly turns around and blasts its way to where the tank was. Boom. Cliss. Boom. The tank got hit and it exploded. A tank shell can't even damage O. Oh. Some people started to surrender to them but, oh, why did you give up now? Lame just die then, oh, the one that surrender was killed by the androids. With that out of the option, the only option is to run for all of us. A lot of people started running away, ah ha 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 seriously? Running? I love playing tags you know. Oh, oh then make a sign the androids started chasing the one that was running levo by itself, 
with only a couple of people here including me and John. Anya was still grabbing my clothes and was hiding behind me. I can only look at O in the distance slowly moving to where we are. You're dead? A soldier came rushing at O with a knife in hand. Another one also joined him including some police officers. Ha ha lame. Oh, oh grab the soldier in the arm and break his arm he then kicks a police officer that was rushing at him in the belly and the police officer was sent flying and crashed into a building. Another soldier came behind with a knife but oh still having the other soldier in his hand swing the other soldier to the other soldier and the two of them were sent flying. Another police officer came from in front with his fist on O's head, the fist hit but, big, he grabs his hand. It seems that O's head is very powerful and tough. O grabbed the police officer in the head and swing it at a soldier that was sneaking up on O from the back. The two of them crashed to each other and were sent flying a couple of feet away. Everyone stops moving and only looks at O as that happens with their weapons still aiming at him. O stopping already? O O looks around. Well, no matter isn't that right hand my dear friend? O what? Echo. Then from the distance, I can see Han moving to O. Han what is the meaning of this, John? John was taken back from this. Sorry boss but I have to do this, Han. He was holding a detonator in his hand. What is he doing? Han what are you doing? Echo. He then acted the detonator. I heard sounds from my back behind me and John is the control center. Oh no. I grab Aina and shield her. Boom. John. Ark. Echo. Heal. Aina. A big explosion came and everyone was sent flying. I'm still holding Aina in my hand protecting her from the explosion. I was sent flying a couple of feet away from the explosion and my vision started to become blurry. I can hear voices everywhere. Aina got up and kept shaking me while calling me. Papa. Papa. Aina. Ha 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 ha. Amazing truly amazing. Oh. Oh was laughing while killing the rest of the soldiers and police officers. There no look at Han. You did a great job. Oh. Yes now free my wife and son. Han. So he did this because his family was taken. Hostage. Ah yes I'll free them I also free you from this world. Oh. What do you. Han. Bang. 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 Han slowly fell to the ground. I saw O with a handgun in his hand. He shot Han in the face. Yes. I will free them. Free them from this world that is high high he. Oh. Monster. Papa. Papa. Aina. Oh. What's this? Oh. Oh slowly look at Aina. No. I slowly got up and shield Aina behind me. R? Oh. Oh slowly move to where we are. Move out of the way please. Oh. Oh then slap me with his hand and I fall to the side. Papa. Aina. Aina runs to me but was grabbed by O in the hand. TCH. Ha 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 ha. What a lovely pair of father and daughter I wonder what I can do with it. Oh. Oh still grabbing Aina started dragging her I move and grabbed O's feet with my hand. Oh look at me while Aina is struggling to get out. TCH miserable insect. Oh. Let goof Aina. Echo. Oh then swing his leg out from my hand then stomp on my face with his leg. Papa. Aina. Ah. Too loud. Stop whining. Oh. My vision started to go even blurry while O started walking away with Aina in his hand. Aina keeps shouting while crying. Papa. Hick Papa. Aina. No. Aina. I tried to get up but falls to the ground again and everything went dark. The last thing I remember was me waking up in a hospital. I look at my shaking hands and tears came out of my eyes. I can't even protect Aina. Third person puff. At the hospital Echo wakes up covered with bandages. It's been a week now since the fall of the city. Clackick. Someone came into the room he was in. The one that came in was a girl with white hair and red eyes with pointy ears. She looks at him with a sad face. Echo just kept looking at the window in the room since he wakes up. The girl takes a chair from the side of a wall and puts it beside Echo and then she sits there. Are you okay? Girl. Echo looks at the girl but then looks back to the window. I'm okay, Echo. Echo said that without any emotions. The girl bites her lips as he said that. She looks at the paper on the desk and reads it. Then look at Echo again. What are you going to do now? Girl. Echo look at the girl sitting in the chair. I don't know, Echo. The girl looking at Echo. Are you okay with this? Girl. What do you mean? Echo. The girl looks at Echo with a serious expression. Echo can see that she is being serious. Are you okay with just giving up? Girl. Of course not. Echo. Echo started to get angry. 
he was reminded of the moment when he didn't manage to save Aina. Then just keep moving forward then, girl. Echo look at the girl in front of him with a questionable look. I may not be the best of this but, girl. She then points one finger at Echo. Giving up when you don't know if you can move forward is pretty stupid. It's been a week since you keep looking at the window. Are you going to keep this up when you have people that need you right now? Girl. The girl smiled at Echo. Echo the think. It's true. What will Aina think when she looks at him now? She will get mad and scold him as her mother would. Echo then started to smile. He looks at his hand and then looks at the sky from the window. He then thinks of Aina. I promise I will find you and bring you back, Echo. The girl only looks at Echo with a smile and then got up from the chair and moved to the door. Echo look at the girl. Where are you going? Echo. Oh me? I'm going out on a mission to infiltrate a base somewhere, girl. Really? Echo. Well, I don't really know. I'm just taking a break right now and I don't even know when I will be deployed right now. I'm just here because someone here was asking for my help with you, girl. Echo look at the girl that started opening the door. Ah, he hasn't given his name to her yet. I forgot that I haven't given my name yet. My name is Echo. What's you? Echo. Ha ha I know your Echo well about my name. Girl. The girl looks back at Echo. Call me Xenia that's my name, Xenia. She then closes the door leaving Echo alone in the room. Echo looks at the sky from the window again, with determined eyes. He promised himself that he will do his best, and hope to get Aina back. And that's also the last time he saw Xenia. 24. Chapter 29 Problem and Embarrassment. Liana Poff. Well that's the end of my story. Echo. After Echo told everything about what happened to him in the past I can only look down with a sorry face. Sorry for asking really? Liana. Well don't worry about it it makes us even now. Even if everyone thinks that it's stupid and she was already dead I still believe that I will bring Aina back one day. Echo. I look at Echo. Even if you don't know where she is or is she even? Liana. I stop talking because it will make things worse. Echo has been searching for his daughter for ten years. With a sigh Echo then stands up and walked to me and puts his hand on my head and then he rubs it forcefully. I was annoyed by that and look at Echo. Seriously don't worry I know what you are thinking but I can't just give up and just stay in place. I have to know what happened to her myself I have to see it for myself if my daughter is still alive or not. Echo. I don't know what face Echo is making behind his helmet but I can say that. Maybe he is determined to find her. Echo then looks at the door. It was quite weird for him to do that suddenly. Um is something wrong? Liana. But Echo didn't seem to answer my question. Well, I think we should get going right now. Echo. What do you mean? Liana. I looked at Echo while wanted to know what he is talking about but then I heard sounds somewhere. I think it came from outside. I closed my eyes and focused my hearing. Pew 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 pew. Question mark Liana. What's that? It seems like a small sound of something. Seems like it started, Echo. I look at Echo again. Okay, I'm starting to want to know what is happening right now. Well, you know kid I was too busy telling you about the story that I forgot to tell you, Echo. Echo then aimed his gun at a window outside of the room through the open door. And he pulled the trigger. ta 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 Crash. Picking. Pang. Patches. The bullets hit the window breaks the glass and it hits something I heard static noise I look at the window and saw. Echo hit something outside of the window. It was a black droid and it got hit by the bullets that Echo shoot from his gun and the droid falls to the ground below outside. How did I not notice that? I can tell that it's night time outside but how did I not notice that droid? I swear I didn't hear anything at all. A stealth droid huh? Echo. A stealth droid? Liana. Echo nodded then looked at me. It's a very dangerous droid it's mainly used to scout and assassinate people they have a way to blend in and go invisible they also make almost to no sound when they move they also use suppress weapons to kill you need to be so focused to even notice them they've been following us for a while now since we came here. Echo. How did you notice them? Liana. I'm used to dealing with them. Echo. Okay. Liana. I got up and took out my vector from my inventory. I haven't tried using this. Oh, so you will use that now? Well I guess that's good, Echo. I closed my eyes to focus my hearing again. I heard something outside this time. I guess it's the stealth droid Echo was talking about. I really need to be focused to know where they are even with my skill. It's still quite hard to hear them but. I heard a lot of sounds outside. I also heard some growling. What's going on outside? Liana. I think I know, 
Echo. I look at Echo and Echo points his hand at the scratch mark on the walls of the room. I bet it's because of the panthers, Echo. Panthers? Liana. Wait what do you mean by that? This is the claw mark of a panther. I usually saw them at the zoo. The zoo is near this place. I bet they got out from there. The reason why they come here is because of that, Echo. Echo the point at the moving generator. They are sensitive with sounds and they always run to check it out. I bet the sound of the generator lured them here, Echo. Wait doesn't that mean that we're surrounded now? Liana. There are stealth droids here and now there's panthers. I don't worry I can tell that the panthers are dealing with the droids. Their hearing is even more advanced than us and I think the droids aggro them first and about that, I know a way to get out of here. So don't worry, Echo. I look at Echo again. There's an underground tunnel that leads to the subway station in the basement. We can use that to get out of here while they are busy fighting each other outside anyway we should get going before one of the sides finished fighting, Echo. I nodded and then Echo move outside the room and I follow him. Echo leads me to the basement as I kept hearing sounds outside the place but I ignore it and kept following Echo. We arrived in the basement and there are a lot of shelves and boxes here and all them are covered with cobwebs. Echo then started to move some boxes away and I look around with my gun raised to see if anything is moving here. No pa it should be here, Echo. Echo keeps moving boxes while I look around. Then I heard a sound from where we came into the basement. I aimed my gun there and there I saw. G-E-R-R-R-A, a black's big panther. It has a saber tooth fang and it's looking at me. I was still aiming my gun at it. The panther wasn't attacking me and was just looking at Mel silently. I still kept an eye on it. I found it. Echo. I heard a voice and looked behind and that was a very big mistake. Roar. The panther jumps at me with its claws up as I quickly looked back at it again. I evaded as fast as I can to the right, but I was a little too late. The panther claws strike my left arm and scratch it. Uh? Liana. The pain is quite strong. I drop my gun in pain and covered my left arm up with my other hand as I fell to the ground. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. Liana. Wow well. That's a strong attack. Never thought that a panther was this strong. I look in front and saw the panther was right in front of me with its jaws wide open. I was horrified and can't move my body at all as it opened its mouth. It seems like time suddenly slowed down. Its jaws slowly move closer and closer towards me. I swear I think I just pee myself from seeing that I quickly closed my eyes waiting for its jaws to hit me. But then ta 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 the panther got hit by someone's bullets and back off from me. I opened my eyes and saw Echo running towards me with his gun aiming at the panther. G R R R R. The panther looks at Echo for a couple of seconds before it slowly back off then it runs out of here from where it once came. Echo sighed and looks at me. Then he stops for a second because he saw something. Um did you pee yourself? Echo. I look below me and. Ah. It's wet it took me a couple of seconds before my brain started working again. I then screamed as I noticed what just happened. I don't know if my scream made its way outside or not though. Echo seems to be looking elsewhere and now I am panicking. That's an embarrassment that will be reminded by me for the rest of my life. Ah, I want to dig myself a hole and jump in that hole now. But we don't have time right now. Without delay. We moved to the underground passage while I kept holding my skirt that was still wet. 33 Chapter 30 Elemental Crystal Liana Poff It took a while but we managed to find a good spot to rest on the underground passage. HGN Liana My face was still red from what happened at that time. Echo stops walking while looking away from my face. I looked down while still covering my wet cough. Skirt with my hands I guess. Uck. Liana Um. Echo it seems Echo was trying to think of how to talk to me right now while I still have tears falling down my face. Hey Echo. Liana. Yes? Echo. Echo look at me as I said his name. I slowly raised my head looked at him and raised my right hand towards him and pointed at him with my finger. Never never talk about this to anyone you hear me. Be because I if you do. Liana. What am I saying? But that doesn't stop me from being embarrassed here. I can only look at Echo with my hand pointing at him with my body trembling, tears falling down my face, and steam was popping out of my head out of embarrassment. My face was bright red from what I have experienced just now. Drop. My legs started to tremble and I fall to the ground and sat there. Oh no. I can't take it anymore. Wimp. Wimp. Liana. 
I start wimping with tears still in my eyes and my ears started flopping down. I looked like a lonely puppy that was abandoned in a street somewhere. I have a dejected face and I am still trying my best to cover up everything wet below me with my hands. As I am wimping myself away in shame I look at Echo that was in front of me one of his hands is rubbing the back of his helmet while he is looking at me from being that helmet of his. I look at him with tears still in my eyes while I try my best to stay strong and not think about it. Sadly I don't think I can do it right now. It took a while for me to calm down after that. I use my fire magic to dry up my lower clothes that was my skirt and underwear I of course have to strip down first because I'm using fire magic and I don't want to burn myself by accident I kept looking at Echo if he tries to look at me while I was taking off my lower clothes he just silently looks away not minding me it only took around a minute to fix myself back up again. I will bury that moment in the back of my mind forever and will stay there forever. After what happened. We continued moving through the underground passage leading to the underground train station. The underground passage isn't very dark from what I can see there are different colored crystals on the walls, floor, and ceiling glowing and making the place bright. I have never seen this kind of crystal in my life before so it makes me curious of wanting to touch it. The little echo saw me looking at the crystal. The crystal on the wall is called Elemental Crystal when I and my crew are making this tunnel to the subway station we stumbled to this place that is a lot of this crystal we also found an abandoned mine I think. Well even with that we can't use the crystals for anything other than a light source so we use it to light up this place inside these crystals have a small amount of elemental power but we don't have the necessary tools to use it. Echo. Echo said that while still moving I nodded and follow him but I do wonder these crystals have elemental power that means it has mana inside it right? I put one of my hands to my chin and started thinking, I wonder if I can use that. Liana, I moved to a crystal that was near me and touched it then for some reason, a screen popped up in front of me. Skill mineral drain can be used. Eh? Liana, wait I can use that skill? Wait does this count as mineral? Liana, something wrong? Echo. Echo heard me saying something and looked at me. I looked at him. Well I just noticed that I can use my skill on these crystals. I want to try it out is it okay? Liana. Echo look at the crystal then at me. Well up to you. I don't mind. Echo. Okay. I got permission maybe I then try using the skill if I remember the skill is kinda the same as corpse drain so I try using it the same way I use it I touch the crystal with my hand the crystal is blue so maybe it's the water element? mineral drain. Liana. Then the crystal started to glow and then it became particles of light and it was getting absorbed into my hands. I feel like some kind of energy pouring inside of me. It kinda feels like I'm getting stronger. Skill level up. A screen pops up in front of me. I was startled but then open my status screen. Name. Liana Gender. Female. Wolfkin. Age. 5 Job Class. Magic Gun LVL. 292. HP. 29,529,500 MP, 14,600, 14,600. ATK, 1,460 plus 100 DEF, 295 MAG, 1,460 plus 110 plus UP DEX, 2,950 INT, 2,950 plus 100 LUCK, 1,460. Skill. Fire Magic L the L1 Earth Magic L the L1 Wind Magic L the L1 Water Magic L the L2 Plus Up Lightning Magic L the L5 Gun Mastery L the L3 Magic Bullets Mastery L the L2 Buff Magic L the L1 Debuff Magic L the L2 Mechanic L the L5 Passive Skill Hyper Evade Low Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced Eyes Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Perfect Evade L the L1 Void Magic L the L1 Dark Magic L the L1 Lock Light Magic L the L1 Lock Creation Magic L the L0 Lock Corpse Drain Mineral Drain Hide Status L the L Max Active Titles Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Break a Gun Knowledge Memory Link My Magic Increase and My Water Magic Got Up Weight Isn't This Very Good? Doesn't that mean I just need to use Mineral Drain on the Crystals and my Magic Level will keep going up? My eyes started sparkling thinking about it. I look at Echo he looks at me with his face going back a bit. He saw what I did and I think he knows what am I thinking. I look at him with puppy eyes. Okay, okay, fine. 
Just don't take too long we got to keep moving because we don't have that much time just don't get too far from me while you do what you do, Echo. I nodded and then run around the place using my skill to absorb every crystal I see while following Echo slowly after a couple of times absorbing a lot of crystals while walking Echo and I arrive in a small open area I haven't looked at my status yet because I was having fun absorbing the crystals I find everywhere I did see some screens popping up several times but I ignored that because I was busy I opened my status screen to check for a moment name Liana Gender Female Wolfkin Age 5 Job Class, Magic Gun LVL, 292 HP, 29,529,500 MP, 14,600 14,600 ATK, 1,460 plus 100 DEF, 295 MAG, 1,460 plus 590 plus UP DEX, 2,950 INT. 2950 plus 100 luck, 1460 skill, fire magic LVL 9 plus up earth magic LVL 7 plus up wind magic LVL 5 plus up water magic LVL 9 plus up lightning magic LVL 12 plus up gun mastery LVL 3 magic bullets mastery LVL 2 buff magic LVL 7 plus up debuff magic LVL 7 plus up mechanic LVL 5 passive skill. Hyper Evade Low Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced Eyes Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Perfect Evade LVL1 Void Magic LVL4 Plus Up Dark Magic LVL2 Plus Up Lock Light Magic LVL2 Plus Up Lock Creation Magic LVL0 Lock Corpse Drain Mineral Drain Hide Status LVL Max Active Titles Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Breaker Gun Knowledge Memory Link Oh wow I think I may be broken now almost all of my magic is over level 5 well except void, dark, and light how did dark and light magic even level up I don't know maybe because of the crystals I absorb? It's still locked so I can't use it now. Creation magic didn't level up too. Well, I don't think there's even any material about creation magic being a thing it is very unexpected if I even find anything related to that magic here. There's a lot of different colored crystals that I absorbed anyway. Indicating from the color of red that's fire, brown is earth, green is the wind, blue is water, yellow is lightning, pale pink seems to be buff or debuff, purple is void, white is light, and dark is well dark. The rares I see are of course, the purple, white and dark crystals. I don't know if there is anything about a crystal containing creation magic but I didn't see any so I can't say. I look around the place and didn't see anything that I can absorb anymore, this place is quite dark now that I absorbed almost every crystal but still can see a little. I also limit myself from absorbing every crystal I see so that we can still see when we were going. Echo doesn't want to keep using his flashlight to light the place and it's also not very good if the place became dark because of me. Echo looked at me and pointed at the front. You will be very happy about this up over there is where the abandoned mine is at if I remember, Echo. I look in front I saw bright different colored lights there Echo said that there is a mine in front over there, does that mean I can get more of this elemental crystal? I smiled happily and dash over there. Ah, hey kid, there's also a... Echo. I didn't hear what Echo was saying and just kept rushed to the light in front of me and then after I got to where the light was I saw that I just somehow jump off a ledge without knowing. Eh? Liana, I think it's because of the bright light that I didn't see that this is a mine with a long drop down below at the very start when you enter. It took a second before my brain started panicking. Ah. Liana. Whoa there. Echo. Just in time Echo grabbed my jacket from behind and lifted me back up before I fall to the ground below I then was put down beside Echo I look at Echo and I can see his black aura coming out behind him again. Wimp. Liana. After that. I got scolded again by Echo well, I can't help it, I was a curious and excited wolf wimp. 37. Chapter 31 Moving Underground and A Proposal. Liana Poff. After getting scolded by Echo we started moving again. But now slowly. I don't want to experience what just happened again. I already experienced two different things now and I don't want any more coming at me. We moved down the ravine by climbing down. Echo said that the entrance is below the ravine. I looked around the place to get a better view of the place. 
The ravine seems to be a close of one if I looked at it. I look up and I can't see the sky it seems it was sealed off by rocks and other minerals above. The place is pretty bright because of the elemental crystal sticking out everywhere. Almost all of the crystal I saw was just small chunks compared to the one here. The size of the crystal is massive. If I compare the size, it's around the size of a bus, and the crystal is everywhere. It's funny that nobody found this and used it yet. I want to know what happens if I absorbed it all. I look at Echo and he looks at me. Echo. Echo then thinks. By the way, we're still climbing down and just stop to take a rest on a small open ledge at the cliff of the ravine. Well as I mainly want to say yes I don't think it's a good idea, Echo. I look at Echo with a Y face. Well the reason is that it's you and, Echo. Echo looks up, then look at me. I don't want anything falling under us, Echo. Oh. Now that Echo mentioned it, if I absorb the crystals randomly there may be a little chance that it will cause a rock slide to fall under us if I'm not careful, we're in a closed off ravine, of course, it can happen if I'm not careful, well if can just used your skill to get rid of some crystals that might be blocking our paths, Echo, my lips move up forming a smile as I heard what Echo just said to me, we then proceed to climb down the ravine slowly again, oh yeah, by the way, there are bugs down there so be careful, Echo. I stopped climbing down from what Echo just said for a second. There are bugs there? What kind of bugs? Liana. I talked to Echo that was climbing down slowly below me. If I remember mainly roaches, Echo. What are roaches? Liana. Yep, cockroaches if you may. They're the size of your hand or even bigger and some centipedes too if I remember, Echo. I stopped dead in my tracks as I heard that. I looked down to the bottom. We're already close to the bottom of the ravine. I look up and saw that the way up is very long. I think my face turned pale from what's going to happen down there. Hey don't tell you are scared of bugs. Echo. Echo look at me. I can't tell what face he is making behind that helmet of his. And no I'm not. Let's hurry up and get to the bottom now. Liana. I then started rushing down to the bottom while Echo looks at me and swing his head left and right before climbing down as well. Claytag. Claytag. It took a while but we were finally at the bottom of the ravine. It's pretty dark but the light from the crystals brightens the place up a bit. I look around the place if I can see anything moving. Krojic. Krasic. Exclamation mark Liana. Oh. That's a sound I always heard from somewhere. I look at the source of the sound and saw a. Crick. Krasic. A big cockroach. Eating a dead big centipede. Oh wow. It's big. It reminds me of a mob in a game that my little brother plays. The one where you always saw after you wake up from a vault somewhere after getting cryo sleep in ice for so many years after a nuclear explosion happened. I still remember the disgusting cracking sound they made every time they move. I look at it for a while before I grabbed my vector from my inventory and aimed my gun at it, but then Echo put his hand on top of my gun and lowered it down. I looked at him and he was shaking his head left and right at me. Better not make a sound don't want to attract too many of them. Echo. Echo then grabbed a knife that he had on him and then throws it at the cockroach. Stab. Screech. The knife hit right in the center head of the cockroach. Echo then ran to it grabbed his knife out from it and started stabbing it multiple times in the face before stopping. I can see green blood running down from his knife. That just makes me shiver. He then started cleaning the green blood off before putting his knife back. He then started moving again. I look at the dead cockroach as I followed him. Krojic. Hi. Liana. Its legs started moving and I ran to where Echo is without looking at it for a second time. Along the way, we encountered some cockroaches and the other one is a giant centipede. When I first saw them I had my jaw drop. It's way bigger up close. Its pincers was the size of my hand for God's sake. Echo agrees to use guns to kill it and I quickly aimed my vector at it and pulled the trigger. ta 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 Scritch. By the way, I'm using flame rounds on it. It's super effective of course. Only a couple of shots and it's already down to the ground. It started moving left and right a couple of times before it stops. Sad that I didn't level up. We also encountered some crystals blocking the path and I happily absorb it because Echo said it's okay to do it. We then kept moving until we reached a cave opening. Echo points there. That's the place leading to the underground train track. Let's move. Echo. Okay. Liana. We then started moving through the cave. The cave doesn't seem to have any light at all. So Echo turn on his flashlight so that we can see. 
He also gave me a spare flashlight that he had somewhere then started moving again. I turn on the flashlight that Echo gave me and follow Decker from behind. The cave is pretty much just a straight line. It's pretty quiet here, Echo. Liana. Ugh, it's getting pretty awkward between us since we're not talking at all as we kept walking. Echo was the first one to break that mood. Hey kid, Echo. Yes? Liana. I look at Echo. After we get out or here what do you want to do? Echo. Liana, I never think about that. Like I woke up in this mess up city filled with robots that are trying to kill me and I don't know what happened to my parents here. I was pretty much just trying to get stronger and trying to survive till this moment. I never really thought of anything else. I don't know maybe finding a way home if I can. Liana, I look down while saying that. Can I actually go back home I wonder? But I died there right? I never even know if I can even go back home. I wonder if everyone is alright. Is my friend okay? Is my little brother and sister doing fine without me? Is mom and dad okay after my death? So many questions that I want to know. Echo. Echo look at me. Why don't you come with me? Echo. I look at Echo. Well you don't have a place to stay so why not come with me? I usually always work alone and never really have that many people that I can trust besides me but if it's you you can join me in searching for my daughter if you want. Maybe we can even find a way for you to get back home to your parents. Echo. Is it really okay? Can I really come with you? Before I could answer I saw Echo aiming his flashlight to the front and stopped. Well might as well think about that later, Echo. What I saw in front was a hole Echo walked closer to it and aimed his flashlight down below the hole. I also walked closer to the hole and looked down what I saw were train tracks that were leading somewhere below. Seems like we made it to the train track that Echo said. I look at Echo and saw him jumping down to the hole. Drub. He safely made it down to the ground without any injury. The height is pretty high but not too high for it to hurt someone. Echo then looked at me and stretched his arm wide at me. I know what he is doing and I guess I don't have a choice. I jumped down the hole as well. As I jumped down I landed on Echo's embrace and then he put me down on the ground. And he started looking around the place. I also look around as well. There are only two sides we can take anyway. The left side or the right side. Echo grabbed his map out from his chest armor and put it on the ground. He then traces where we are and then closed the map and puts it in his chest armor again. He pointed to the right and then we started moving there. I didn't manage to give him an answer to his question yet and was about to say it but it seems that he is focusing looking to the front. I sighed and just followed him from behind without saying anything. I guess I give him the answer when we have the time. After walking for some time I felt the cold wind blowing in front. It's pretty cold I crossed my hand so that I won't feel too cold. Is it the wind you feel? I'm wearing gear so I don't really feel it too much but if you feel it that means we're closed now, Echo. Before long we made it to the underground train station. The place is, of course, dark without light. Except for what I saw in the distance. I saw light coming from the right side of the train section. Ah there's our way out, Echo. Echo then got up from the track to the floor of the station. He then looks back at me and opened one of his hands towards me. I grabbed his hand and then he pulled me up from the train track to the smooth station floor. After that, we started walking towards the light. As we walked there we saw a stair leading straight up to the surface. We turned off our flashlights as we don't need them anymore now. Echo moves up the stairs first, and then I followed him from behind. Step. 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 As we kept moving up the stairs the light started to get brighter and brighter. I put one of my hands in front of my eyes so that it will not hurt my eyes but it's still too bright. The light is so bright that I have to close my eyes for a second as I walked out of the station. As I walked out I can feel the wind blowing at me as the light started to fade. I then opened my eyes and look around. What I saw is a lot of building all around me. All the buildings I see are being covered by gigantic red crystals the size of the buildings themselves. I look around again and it seems that I and Echo are in a T-road section. We're pretty much in the middle of the three section I can see the road leading to the left, right, and in front of me. But, amazingly, I look around the place and, you are, Liana. It was a sight to behold we're on top of a hill full of buildings all around us and in front was a straight road going downhill and in the distance there I saw three big giant pillars or skyscrapers, yeah, skyscrapers, that seems like it was positioned in a triangle position and around the skyscrapers were gigantic red crystals forming everywhere. I saw Echo looking at me, 
I don't know what happened here, but it was said that these red crystals somehow appeared out of nowhere the second day after the droids attack the city it's been a whole week since then we call this place the red crystal city after that, Echo, whoosh, I can feel the wind blowing around the place, a desolate place nothing to be seen anywhere, all around the place are abandoned buildings and scattered cars everywhere. I can only feel the wind blowing all around the place and I can't see anybody in sight, not even a body anywhere here. Definitely an apocalyptic place. I look at Echo. Echo just took out his map from his chest armor, looked at it for a second before closing it, and put it back in his chest armor again. He then looks at the distance where the three skyscrapers were and then pointed his finger at it. That's our extraction point, Echo. Echo said that while looking at the skyscraper. I also looked at it. So that's where we need to go? I looked at Echo again but I saw that Echo seems to be looking at something in the distance. I also follow where he was looking at and I saw smoke coming from there. We got to deal with that first, Echo. What I saw there in the distance was a big moving vehicle. With two big barrel turrets on the top. The size is the size of a small building the length is the size of two buses or more and it was surrounded by droids everywhere if I see it. It's pretty near to us around a couple of blocks away but that's not the problem here. Isn't it a little bit bigger from what I saw last time when Echo gave me that picture? I remember the armor vehicle Echo was talking about, but it's quite different. Now it has layers of armors and even a lot of small turrets on its back and sides I can also see that its main double barrel turret is even bigger than in the picture. That thing is moving slowly towards where the skyscraper is. If we don't deal with the thing now we won't be able to get out of here. I'm starting to get worried. That thing may be even stronger than the ones I fight before. Maybe even stronger than the spider walker I beat. I hope it will go smoothly. 34. Chapter 32 Strategy Meeting. Liana Poff. Step step step. Moving through the narrow street Echo and I arrived at a tall building somewhere in the city Echo tries to open the door but it seems that it was shut tight from inside Echo then tries barging into the door but it still won't open at all. He'd got something you can use to open it? Echo. Well, I can use my magic but I look at the distance where the big street is. Clang 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 clang. There's a lot of droids patrolling the place. Good thing they are only patrolling the big street and not the narrow ones. I look around the building and saw an opened window above. I may be able to get up there with Echo's help. I pull Echo's clothes and Echo looks at me. I quickly pointed my hand up towards the window that I saw. Echo looks there saw the window. He looked at me again and nodded he then grabs me and pulls me up to his shoulder I put my feet on Echo's shoulder and stretch my hand to the opened window and managed to grab the ledge of the window I then started climbing up while Echo help pushes me up from below I then remembered something I look at Echo and he is looking away from me while I am wearing a skirt I'm a little embarrassed because he can see my underwear but I kept climbing up and managed to get inside the place I then started looking around for the door I look around the building and red crystals are forming around the place I tried touching one of the crystals with my hand out of curiosity. Pitches. Buzz. Buzz. Liana. But my hand was repelled by the red color electricity that was shooting out from the crystal. It seems that it's not a fire crystal but it doesn't seem to be thunder as well. No, if I think about it this one looks kinda darker. The glow is even more faded than the regular fire crystal and it's also quite darker also. It seems like I can feel a sudden breeze when I got close to it by the way. I also never used my appraisal on it too I might as well try using it now. Unknown crystal. Eh? I have never seen system pronouncing an unknown in a material before. Unable to scan substance. Okay. Liana. Seems like I can't do anything about it I then started walking to where the front door was the room I was in only has one door and broken furniture in it I opened the door and saw what seems to be the main hall or something below. The entire place is wrecked and there is a big red crystal forming in the middle of the place I can also see a strange red aura circling the crystal but I can't think of that now where seems to be on the second floor of the place I also saw stairs going down to the first floor so I take the stairs as I walk down to the first floor I can feel something. It seems pretty weird I looked at the big crystal that was in the middle. Whoosh. I can feel small wind circling on it. I also saw that the top of the buildings has a couple of holes on it and so some of the sunshine was hitting the crystal from above. I ignore it for now and move to where Echo might be waiting. Echo should be waiting on the left exit door he said. 
So I moved to the left and saw that there was a fallen metal closet blocking the door in front of me. It's pretty big and there's no way I can move it or maybe I can use a magnet to move it? Liana, I then stretch my arm at the metal closet think of a magnetic field and try pulling it in. Magnet, Liana, buzz. Buzz, electricity started shooting out from my hand and hit the metal closet then it started to move slowly with small electricity coiling around it. I then moved my hand up slowly. And the metal closet started floating up from the ground I then walked back from the place and the metal closet follows me and then I slowly put the metal closet down somewhere on the left side of the place. Drub. It made a small sound but that should do the trick I then moved to where the door was and tried opening it. Clackick. I opened the door and look around I saw Echo looking around with his gun aiming left and right. PSSS Echo. Liana. Echo heard my sound and saw me opening the door he moves slowly to where I was and he came into the building and then he slowly closed the door. Fuff good thing nothing happened yet. Echo. Echo then walks slowly to the main hall he looks at me for a second and puts his hand on top of my head and rubs it a little. Good job. Echo. After that, he pulled his hand from my head and start walking. I nodded at him while holding my head a little and then followed him from behind. It took a while but we managed to make a small base here near the big crystal. Echo grabbed a table from somewhere and put it on an open spot in the main hall. He then took out his map and laid it down on the table. I look at the map and then saw Echo grabbing a red marker from somewhere. He then started to draw a lot of X and then A, greater than then an O at the three big buildings on the map and a bigger one on a place away from here. Oh it seems like the three building is the skyscrapers. I can say one thing and that is that the extraction helicopter will arrive at one of these skyscrapers but I think they might just land here. Echo. He then made a small X mark in the middle of the three skyscrapers. Why is that? Liana. I ask a question isn't it better if it's at the very top of the place? Well, there is a reason why mainly to take cover from long distance attacks the skyscrapers are pretty strong so it may be able to be used as a shield for the helicopter from enemy fire by hiding behind the three skyscrapers. Echo. Okay, that might be good I nodded at Echo's words then he pointed at a big X mark the big X mark is inside the big circle and then I saw his hand moving to the greater than sign he made. This big X mark is the target the armored vehicle we saw but it seems that we can't call it that anymore might as well call it a Goliath tank it's even more bigger than before. I can tell that they might add a few modifications on this thing along the way here. Echo. Yep that tank is armored up to the bones can my weapon even penetrate its armor I wonder? Well I can't say it for certain. We have to know what we are dealing with first. Echo. Echo then started making a lot of O around the big X. First things first. Echo. He pointed his hand around the big circle. This is where we might be at. We don't know where our position is but because of the director of the skyscrapers and ours we should be around here. Echo. He then made a rectangular sign on the right side of the big O. We should be around this place we're pretty near the tank and we should take advantage of our surroundings I say we make a trap here. Echo. He then pointed at there, greater than mark it sounds good but, I can see it from your face kid first, we need to take out its surrounding that tank was guarded by a lot of those droids and not just regular ones but also armored ones, Echo. I then remembered the armor droids that I saw in the park, kid, Echo. I looked at Echo, it's risky but we don't have a choice here can I count on you to deal with some of them, Echo. I was a little shocked by what he said I then pointed my finger to myself. Me? Liana. Yes. You even if you're small you are pretty fast and good at dodging I have to go to a place somewhere to get some tools to make a trap for the tank while I'm doing that I want you to lower the defenses around the tank a little bit. Echo. Okay so that's your plan? Also note to never go near or even get close to that tank you hear me? That thing can end you in a second with its gigantic turret. Echo. I nodded at his words of course. I won't even dare to get close to it but it's also pretty risky I look at the map maybe the little circles around it are where the droids are? There's a lot of them, don't worry you will attack when the tanks stop moving and the droids were patrolling I can tell that that tank needs a lot of fuel to keep moving like that I think it will always stop to refill every hour so you should wait a bit, 
Make as many noises as you can the droid seems to be attached by noises so feel free to shoot your weapons out to destroy a lot of them but it's also pretty good if you can go sneaking in and silently kill them all will be easier to deal with them, Echo. How do you know this if I can say? But I think I can only trust Echo right now we don't have a lot of options right now anyway. While you're busy beating the droids down I will move here. Echo. Echo then makes a small O mark somewhere then he makes another one in the middle of the greater than sign. I need to grab the necessary tools here and then I will start laying traps here when that tank hits the trap we will move in and destroy it while it can't move and was unguarded. Echo. I nodded at Echo's words Echo looks up then he looks at me. We're the only ones that can do this crazy mission, failure is not an option in this mission. Echo. Echo said that with a deep voice I can tell that he is being serious about this. The operation starts in one hour after this, get ready, Echo. I nodded one hour until the operation started. This operation will be called Fallen Goliath. The two of us have to take that thing down before it reaches the extraction point at any cost. Time is crucial in this operation get ready, Echo. Echo them stopped talking and I started getting ready for the operation I opened my status and look at my skills and stats to see if I am ready. Name, Liana Gender, Female, Wolfkin, Age, 5 Job Class, Magic Gun LVL, 292 HP, 29,529,500 MP, 14,600 14,600 ATK. 1,460 plus 100 def, 295 mag, 1,460 plus 630 plus up dex, 2,950 int, 2,950 plus 100 luck, 1,460 skill. Fire Magic LVL 10 plus up Earth Magic LVL 7 Wind Magic LVL 7 plus up Water Magic LVL 9 Lightning Magic LVL 14 plus up Gun Mastery LVL 3 Magic Bullets Mastery LVL 2 Buff Magic LVL 7 Debuff Magic LVL 7 Mechanic LVL 5 Passive Skill Hyper Evade Low Enhanced Hearing Enhanced Smell Enhanced Eyes Senses Danger System Hidden Skill Perfect Evade LVL 1 Void Magic LVL 4 Dark Magic LVL 2 Lock Light Magic LVL 2 Lock Creation Magic LVL 0 Lock Corpse Drain Mineral Drain Hide Status LVL Max Active Titles Reincarnate Alone Wolf Survivor System Help a Machine Break a Gun Knowledge Memory Link I wonder how my skill level up I didn't absorb anything yet I look at the big red crystal then look at my hand Liana No I'm thinking too much now I shake my head and look up through a big hole on the roof of the building I can see the sky is still sunny but a little cloudy. Well better get ready. Liana, I started sorting my inventory out while Echo was looking at the map. Little did we know that the big red crystal behind us started to glow a little before the glow fades away. 29. Chapter 33 Operation Fallen Goliath. Liana Poff. Krujic. Kling. It's been almost an hour now and I was still busy sorting out my inventory there are so many items here, ammunition check, food, that's another check, robot parts, hey kid, Echo, I heard Echo's voice behind me I stop and look at him, yes, Liana, it's going to be pretty dangerous out there are you, sure, you're up for it, Echo, Liana, I look at him without answering, I close my eyes and then open it and smile at him, don't underestimate me, Liana, even now I'm just a small child, and having a small body. I did tell you right, I'm pretty strong and there's no way I'm going to back down from something like this. Liana, I never say it to anyone but I like challenging moments. I may be a girl but I was quite the hard worker in school and at home. I was also the leader of the students committee department at school and was praised a lot by everyone. Well, that was in school. I was very different at home though. I was very into FPS games till midnight and always have fun kill streaking online. I even play VR FPS and got into the top leaderboard in a week of playing it. I don't know the specifics of my ranking, but I was pretty high. I remember always carrying my team and destroying the enemy's team. Okay, you don't have to say that with a creepy smile, kid. Echo. Whoops, seems like my inner gamer came out for a moment. But anyway, I am very brave to you know. I will never break so easily. Liana, said the one that pee on her skirt, Echo, ha, I look at Echo with an angry face, he just looks back whistling, Ugh, 
I then finished sorting out my inventory and moved to where the map is. Eka follows behind me. After that, we move out to our separate ways while keeping in touch with a communication device before we move out. Third person puff. Clang, clang, clang. In the distance on a big street, two droids are patrolling the place. Cling, clang, pang. Then the two droids hurt something on the side of the street. They slowly move there with their guns up. What they find when they got there is a small empty can. The two droids lower their guns but then. Easy, shock wave, Liana. Patch, buzz buzz buzz, Liana came right behind them and shoot a shock wave on one of the droids. The other one started to turn around and lift its gun but it was too late. EMP shoot, Liana. Liana makes a gun pose with her arm and aim it at the droid head and fire her magic. Pang, pat buzz, buzz, buzz. Pathang. The two droids then fall to the ground. Liana sighed before looking at the big street. Well, that's two down many more to go. Liana, Liana then started moving to the big street. Liana puff, compared to some. Picking them one by one is pretty easy. EMP shoot. Pang. Pitches. I aimed my gun and shot another droid down in the distance. Well, it's good doing it by stealth so that I won't alert others in the area. I quickly ran to cover until I saw something in the distance. I stop on my track for a second but quickly move to a cover somewhere near me. What I saw in front are some armored droids that are standing still and not moving. Is that heavy types? Liana, it's pretty different from the regular ones its body is well armored from the head to its feet. It may be quite hard to beat them with the gun I'm using. Maybe my sniper can penetrate its armor but I think it's too thick for it to even pen. How can I penetrate it that armor? Liana. Advice using magic bullets. A. Eh? How will that work? Liana. Armored unit is weak to magic since a lot of magic can go through armor. Wow, that logic kind reminds me of a game weakness in the Arnie Hash series. Echo said that I can go loud so I open my inventory. What should I pick? I also still haven't used the vector at all. Liana. Might as well experiment. I grab my vector and a round of magic bullets with the lightning element. Clacking. Streech. Pack. I reload the ammunition and then I slowly move near them. What I see is that they are not moving but still looking around. I then name my gun at them. They are all using LMG. It will be bad if they started shooting at me with that. There are three of them from what I see. I also saw some regular ones around the place. Liana, maybe I should make a distraction first. I grab a robot part from my inventory. Flaming arc flash, Liana. The part in my hand started to glow and I quickly throw it to a random place where a droid stood. Plang. Pang. The part landed below the feet of the droid. The droid then looks down and boom. An explosion happened. All of the droids then started aiming their weapons there and start walking slowly towards where the explosion occurred. Little did they know I was already behind them all as they looked there. I quickly got out of cover and attack from their flank as they were busy looking at the explosion. I aimed my vector on the three armored droids from behind and pulled the trigger. ta 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 Pucking. Pass. Pang. Puss. Paling. Pang. Pass. All the bullets hit the armor and somehow all of it penetrated. All three of the armor droids fell to the ground with buzzing sounds. Eh? That's it. Armor droid weakness is on its back. Eh? So I just need to shoot its back then? I thought that it'd be harder. Then I saw a lot of the regular droids aiming their guns at me as I was stunned about that. Well at least I got the hard ones out. Liana. I quickly aim my vector to the front and started running towards the droids. I don't know how much time has passed. It took a while but I think I just destroyed every last one here. I just keep evading them then my skill activates and I quickly use that moment to shoot multiple droids in sight. This kind reminds me of a VR game that I played where you shoot red people while grabbing anything you can grab in that place. I think I took out around 50 of them by now I think. I keep moving around the place while keeping my distance from where the tank is. I only saw a few of them left but they are near the tank so no way I can deal with them. Ting. 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 I then heard something. Oh. It's the communication device Echo gave me. How do I answer it again? The device looks like a radio then the answer call should be on the side. I found the button and press it. The beeping stops and then I can hear Echo's voice. PSSS testing testing kid. You can hear me? Echo. Yes. I can hear you Echo. Liana. PSS okay. That's good you're doing fine over there. Echo. Yes. 
I managed to beat a lot of droids now the only one left is the one near the tank. Liana PSSS okay that's good enough please move back now kid I think that the tank should finish refiling now Echo Tilh. As Echo said that on the radio I heard a loud ping sound on the tank. Gratang. Gatag. 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 Then tank started moving again as it made that sound. Okay, so where should I go? Liana I look around and kind of forget where I am. The tank is pretty much moving towards me for some reason. Oh. It's because I was in the big street to the skyscrapers. The skyscrapers are pretty much behind me and the tank is moving kinda fast in front of me. PSSS there should be a red big building on the big street when you move on the road to the skyscrapers I'm almost done setting the trap meet up there. Don't get caught too. Echo. Yes. Liana. I then started running on the big street to the skyscrapers while also looking around to find a big red building. After a while. I saw the building Echo is talking about and I saw him in front of the door. Oi I. Liana. I shout and wave at him Echo just looking at me without saying anything. We then proceeded to move inside the building. The building was located in the middle front of a Y street so we're pretty much in the middle and the tank is in front of us. I'm quite worried. It's this a bad place to be in? If that turret shoot wouldn't this building fall down. I look at Echo. He looks at me. I know what you're going to say but I got a plan, Echo. He then took out two detonators one has a blue button and one is a red one. I can see the tank moving to us. It seems it still didn't see us yet. I can see some droids moving below the tank. We then wait. What is Echo going to do? Echo then activates the blue button. Boom. I can hear an explosion somewhere I can see smoke on the right side but it's covered with a building in front of me so I can't see it. The tank slows down and turns its turret to the side where the explosion is. The tank is in the middle of a T-section. Our building is on the right side and the explosion came from below the T-section. Echo waits patiently while the turret of the tank aims at where the explosion is and, now, Echo. Echo then press the red button and, the bottom of the tank explode. I can see a lot of explosions where the tank is. I can also see droids near the tank started flying everywhere because of the blast. Okay. Let's go. Echo. Echo then started running to the main door and I follow behind him. The tank desperately tried to move but it seems like the tank track was destroyed by the explosion and now was stuck there. Echo opens the door and we run towards where the tank was. I can see the tank turret move but then, pang. The turret hit the side of a building and stop on track making it unable to aim at us. Echo. You just did something that happened in a game or a movie somewhere. Something like making the main weapon of a boss unable to hit us by getting it stuck by whatever is in the way. I respect that. Hey. This is not the time to daydream kid move. Echo. Why yes. Liana. I then started running towards the tank that can't move following Echo that was already running in front of me. 25 Chapter 34 Battle Against the Tank and Liana Poff Bang 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 ta -ta 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 -ta. Some droids managed to survive the explosion when we rush in. They started firing at us quickly. I started moving in a zigzag pattern to evade the bullets. More of the droids that survived the explosion raised their guns at us and started shooting. Echo stop on track and did a cover fire from behind me as I rushed to the front. I also started aiming my gun and shooting at them with my vector. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Still, there's quite a lot of them in front of us. I count around 20 surviving droids. Some are regulars and some are heavy types. It took quite a while but we're doing just fine I think. Pick us. As I shoot down droid after droids I saw something that came out on the front of the tank. It's a two barrel flank gun. One on each side of the right and left armor of the front tank. And it's aiming at us. Echo. Liana. Ek also saw it and then we quickly take cover on some debris somewhere. By the way, the explosion was not only below the tank. I also saw an explosion inside the building right in front of the tank on the left side of the building when we were still inside the red building so there's quite a lot of cover here because of the falling building. We can easily use that to move towards the tank while also taking cover. Wong. Bang. 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 We take cover in the rubble as the tank flak guns fire towards us. Boom. 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 I can hear a small explosion when the bullet hits the ground. 
Is it using high explosive rounds? One hit and we will turn into chunks of meat if we got hit by that. Echo moves to me while still taking cover from the flak fire. The tank seems to be shooting at random places. Seems like it lost track of us and just started shooting everywhere randomly. I look at Echo. So what now? Liana. Echo slowly lifts his head to see what's happening in front then quickly lowered his head down again and think. He then look at me. Well I have some explosive here that we can use. Echo. Echo then took out something from his vest and gave it to me. It's an explosive charge. Well, it's a C4 in in-game name. He also gave me the detonator. Echo then raised his head and looked to the front again before quickly lowering his head down again. It seems like the only way we can get up that tank is by climbing the front of the tank. The tank has a slope in the front and we can use that to get up to the turret and throw the explosive if we can find a hatched. Echo. Seems like the plan is that I guess. Echo then looks around the place. It seems like we're good for now kid. You go on the left side and I'll go on the right side. Echo. I nodded and then I quickly get ready to run out of cover. It seems like there are not that many droids left when I see it. Echo. Well, we did take out almost a lot of droids from the explosion itself. And I think I also saw a lot of them got hit by the flax too. I guess they don't care about friendly fire. I look at Echo and Echo look at me. We both then nodded and started running. I can see some droids aiming their guns at me and the flax too. I then take out a part from my inventory. Flaming arc flash. Liana, the part glows brightly as I throw it to the front and boom, it quickly exploded and dust started flying everywhere in front of me, Patches, I looked to my right and saw Echo throwing a smoke grenade to the front seems like the two of us have similar ideas, binding the enemy, bang, 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 the two flat turrets on the tank shoot at us, but because of the smoke, they all miss us. We run as fast as we can until we manage to get to the bottom line of the flax turret and, it seems that the turret can't aim below the place we are in. Lucky us. We then started to throw the explosives on the turrets and activate them. Boom, boom. The explosives exploded and the two flak turrets was destroyed and now out of commission from the explosion. We then looked at each other and quickly started climbing up the slope of the tank in front of us but then, Paytang, Patches, Patches. Patches, exclamation mark Liana, and Echo, we quickly ran back from that place as three missiles suddenly came out in the middle of the tank towards the sky and then started homing towards us, boom 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 boom, the three missiles hit right in front of the edges of the slop and hit the ground below making a lot of dust fly as the explosion happened, what just happened there, I and Echo look in front of the tank mainly at the top of the tank. The dust slowly faded and then we saw something slowly rising up from the middle of the tank top side. You got to be kidding me, Echo. I look at Echo and then focus my eyes on what's slowly rising up. Then as I realize what that is, my eyes go wide. What we saw is, Ting, the mesh that we saw in the park. Fully fixed with a missile pod attached to its back, the mesh jumps from the tank and landed on the ground a couple of feet in front of us. I can see a big red glowing eye looking at us as its big gun on its hand started aiming at us. Well we're screwed, Echo. Seems like this is going to be harder than we thought. Tank, the mesh made a loud screeching noise as it looks at us. Third person puff, the mesh started firing its big assault rifle at Liana and Echo. Bang, 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 scatter. Echo, the two of them quickly moved to cover. Liana ran to the right side and Echo to the left side as the bullets flew towards them. The bullets fire at a straight line and both Liana and Echo managed to evade getting hit by the shots. The mesh then started shooting at them again. Echo and Liana quickly find cover and stay in the cover and start firing back at the mesh. Tatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
Dust then flies around Liana as Liana closes her eyes she then looks at the cover above her was full of holes, phew, Liana good thing it didn't hit her, it seems that the mesh started using armor piercing rounds. She then looked in front and saw Ek also evade the rounds of shots that were fired at him, Liana looks at her gun while thinking about what to do. There no way a vector can penetrate that armor so maybe the SSG can do it, I just need to aim it and hope it penetrates it, Liana. Liana then changes her gun into the SSG and aims at the mesh. As she looks, the dust in front of her was still blocking her view. She waited a couple of seconds for the dust to clear up and she saw the mesh from the dust. Picking the best possible place would be the best, Liana. She focuses her sight on the mesh but then she saw the mesh back doing something. Exclamation mark Liana. The mesh was aiming its rocket pod at her. Patches, patches, patches. Boom, boom. Boom. Liana runs out of there as the missiles flew and started hitting the place where she was and it made a big explosion and dust quickly flew everywhere. Echo Poff. Kid. Echo. I look at where the kid should be when the rockets were fired. I can only see dust flying and I can't see anything there. TCH. Echo. I aim my gun at the mesh and started shooting at it. ta 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 I think the kid should be alright. Maybe. She managed to survive a fall from a high place anyway. Tick. Tick. Tick, exclamation mark echo, as I was thinking my gun magazine empty itself up, I then quickly changed the magazine, bang, 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 but I was a little too late as the mesh started firing at me, I quickly run to my right while evading the bullets, taking cover is bad with the armor piercing rounds it was using, those rounds can penetrate almost any wall, bang, picking, buzz, buzz, but then out of nowhere, I heard a gunshot and it hit right at the back where the missile pod of the robot I can see scraps of the bullet flying everywhere making a light spark behind the mesh. By the way, the robot is looking right at me so its back is pretty much unguarded on the right side of the street. I looked there and saw a clear circle in the smoke and inside there I saw the kid with a rifle in her hands. She quickly started reloading another cartridge while looking at the mesh with her eyes on the gun sight. 29. Chapter 35 A Risky Plan Liana Poff Clacking Streck Clang Ching Cling Cling Ping Pulling out the cartridge from my gun it falls to the hard ground and made a clinging noise. I managed to hit the mesh back. Tink. The mesh seems to be angry from what I see. It then looked at me and tried to aim its missile pod but Crip Buzz Buzz The missile pod didn't move and I can see a spark coming from it. I smile the mesh there names its big arm gun at me and I got up and run to the side. Bang. 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 The smoke is still here so I got more chances to not get hit. Whoa. Liana, I saw a bullet flying true and almost hit me. My skill active and time slow down. I use this to move to get away from the mesh. As time started to go normal again I can see the mesh change its target to echo. Not good I don't think I will be on time if I reload my SSG I should have reloaded it when the time is still slow, the distance is quite near me maybe I can use it, I change my SSG into my shotgun, stretch, check, I aim at the back of the mesh and pull the trigger, boom, you are, Liana, the recoil is so big that I almost fall down to the ground, the recoil also made my arm raises up with the gun to the air, but, clang, patches, buzz, buzz, the pellets hit the back of the mesh, and I think I can see some sparks over there. The robot stops targeting Echo turned round and aims its big gun at me but that's a big mistake because that's a chance for Echo. Echo moves out of cover and aims his gun at the mesh back as it turned towards me and fired his gun at it. ta 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 Balang. Pang. Buzzes. Boom. The bullet hit the mesh's back and it explodes. It may be because of the damage I inflicted there that it exploded, but with that, the missile pod on its back flies off of its back and falls to the ground. Tink, bang, 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 bang. The robot then, in a rotation fired its guns between me and Echo. The bullets flew everywhere and we quickly evade it by running out of cover. We can see that every cover was hit by a stray bullet and it crumbled down to the ground. It then stops shooting as it looks between me and Echo. Puss, pow. Wash. The mesh legs slowly bent and it then jumps from the ground with force from its legs and manages to land on the top of the tank. Tank. It did a big roar and I saw the tank start to move again. Woo-oonk. I can see something opening at the front of the tank. 
on Lord God, its four twin flak guns two on each side of the side armor in the front. I also saw two machine guns turret at the top. Boom. Boom. Grumble. Grumble. Crash. Crash. A loud sound came from my right eye look there and saw a lot of building crumbling down. The turret of the tank just randomly fire and hit the building where it was blocking the turret. It made a big explosion as the bullet of the tank goes straight through five buildings in a row and crumbles it down. The shock wave is big when the tank shoots its cannon and it feels like an earthquake here. Cree I. Plaque. Plaque. I heard a sound above me and I saw a long sign falling at me from the top of a building. R. Liana. I quickly run to the left as it quickly falls right in front of me barely hitting me. Then falls to the right side. I was sweating as I look at it falling to the ground. Whoa. Liana. I then looked at the tank and see a giant cloud of smoke coming from the left and right side of the tank covering its rear with dense smoke. The turret was set free, and then moved to the front again. I move to where Echo is since the smoke is still covering the place. I look at this devastating machine. The turret slowly turned and aimed at us. Echo. Liana. He'd get ready to evade and start running. Echo. Yeah, no questions asked there. Boo. As the turret fire me and echo evade to the side as fast as we could. Payang. Pass. Boom. Grumble. 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 The bullet of the tank hit the behind us that for some reason it bounced a little as it hit the red building behind us goes straight through it and hit whatever behind the building before making a big explosion behind the red building as it falls to the ground and making the dust fly everywhere. That's some firepower there. We slowly got up and look in front of us. Tank. The mesh made a loud noise at all the flak guns aimed at us. I can also see the submachine guns turret aiming at us too. Now what to do? Liana, Patches, boo I was started as a missile was fired and hit the flak turrets on the right side of the tank. I slowly look at where the missile was fired and I can see Echo with a missile pod on the shoulder. Wait we can use that? Liana, yep we can use it, Echo. Oh, I then slowly look around. I then saw the fallen sign that almost hit me. I can see that it may lead to the top of the tank if I go there. I may be able to use that to climb up to the top of the tank. There's also the smoke around the place but I think I can still use it that way. It's pretty risky. I look at Echo. I have a plan and it's going to be stupid. Liana. Okay, then good luck, Echo. I nodded and the look in front. The turrets are about to fire. I look at Echo. And Echo looks at me. Don't die. Echo. I giggle. Yeah I won't. Liana. I then started running. The turrets started to aim at me. Patches. Boo. Echo fire a missile and it hit the twin flak guns on the left and it explodes. With that, I managed to get through to where the fallen sign is and started climbing up while the smoke started covering me. Echo puff. As I saw the kid disappear on the smoke look at the thing in front of me. Its turret started aiming at me as I smile behind my helmet. Come at me you piece of junk. Echo. I fire another missile at its top turrets fire at me. Tatatatata. Tatatatata. Patches. Boom. Carrying this heavy fracking thing is annoying but I can't do anything about that. The missile I fired hit the left side of the top turret and it explodes as it flew into the air and slowly falls to the ground. Seriously this thing is powerful. Either the turret has weak armor or this missile is too powerful I thought it may take around two or three shots to destroy it. It took quite a lot from our regular missiles to blow this type of turret. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I evade by rolling on the ground and I look in front. Only one more turret to go. The turret is also pretty bad at hitting me for some reason. Maybe it's designed for anti-air that's why it has bad accuracy. Anti-air weapons need a lot of spread to hit flying vehicles. I aim at it and fire. Patches. Boom. Well, that's the last one now just the. Boom. Exclamation mark echo. I jump and evade to the left and land flat on the ground. Pang. Pass. Boom. Crumble. 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 The main turret fire at me and almost hit me. I swear it's around a hundred centimeters beside me and I can feel the force of a vehicle. It went past me hit the ground and bounced before flying off to the distance and hit a random building and exploded it. Oh me god. Echo. I think I'm going to evade fighting anything that has that much firepower from now on. Not like I've been to worse. I look at the top of the turret where the mesh is. The mesh is looking at me. The starting aiming its gun at me. I also aim at him with his missile pod in my hand. This is bad. 
I'm going to get hit first since the mesh gun is faster than the missile. Suddenly, I can see something coming out from the smoke on the right side of the mesh. It is running at a fast pace to where the mesh is. I smile since I know who it is that's going to come out. 30. Chapter 36 Victory and Explosion Liana Poff Step. 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 Running through the smoke I can see the mesh close to me. The smoke is really hot and I am sweating like crazy. Huh? Liana. I was a little out of breath because of the heat but I'm still okay. My body seems to be very strong even though it's very small. I started moving again until the end of the sign. I then saw a straight line to the left side from the sign that leads towards where the mesh seems like the sign looks like a 7 from here but that's a good way to get there now. I slowly take a deep breath then run as fast as I could through the smoke to the left of where the sign end is. As the smoke started to clear I can see the mesh aiming its gun up front aiming at Echo exposing its broken back to me. I smiled and it's right at the end of the sign as well so all I need to do is to jump towards the mesh. I started running towards the end and jump. Got you. Liana, I grabbed hold of the mesh backside as the mesh was too late to notice me. It then started to move around its body to make me fall well. Not happening I keep holding onto it as it keeps trying to force me down. Tying. Bang. 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 The mesh roar as it turns its body left and right like a maniac while shooting its gun around the place. Whoa. Ah. Liana. I'm getting dizzy from this shaking I then let go of my right hand from grabbing its back and then electricity started to form on my right hand. Buzz. Buzz. Here goes nothing. Liana. Shove. Buzz. Buzz. I shoved my hand inside the gap on the mesh back, buzz, 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 my hand started to light up with yellow lightning then it started to turn into blue lightning and the lightning started to gather on the center of my hand making my right hand glow inside the mesh and electricity started to pour out of my hand that was inside the back of the mesh. Image of big energy of electricity forming into one spot and then bursting it all out. Discharge, Liana, buzz. Buzz. Tank. Electricity started running down inside the mesh and smoke started to form inside the armor. Bang. Bang. Piana on. The mesh then stopped moving and falls to the ground as the electricity started to fade. Seems like I did it. Phew. Liana. I then got my hand out and relaxed my body. Ting. But suddenly the eye of the mesh light up and its body started moving again. Tying. Whoa. Liana. The mesh suddenly got up from the ground and its left arm moves to the back and managed to grab me while I was trying to regain balance. Ah. Liana. Smack. The mesh the trow me to the front and I was smashed into the metal ground of the tank. Agar. Liana. I can feel something break inside my body and then the pain started rushing through and it feels like I was being crushed by something heavy. Ah. Liana. I then saw a screen pop up. Liana LVL. 292 HP, 1529500 MP, 14600 14600. That's a lot of damage. I look up and can see the mesh swinging its arm right at me. I close my eyes, but then I can hear something from the distance. Patches, pang. A missile hit the mesh arm that was about to swing its giant arm at me. The missile didn't explode, but its thrusters were still working and were stuck in its arm. The thruster was pushing the mesh's arm back and the mesh was unable to swing its arm at me. Pakiz, boom, pang, bang. The missile then suddenly exploded and trousered the mesh arm right into the air and the arm landed on my right I slowly got up and look at where the missile came from and saw Echo doing a crouching stand with a missile pod on his shoulder. Tying. I look behind me and I can see the mesh started moving and aims its other arm with the gun at me. Patches. Lucky Echo shoots a missile and it hit the arm right in the joint of the mesh's arm just like before the missile didn't explode but it still keeps moving while it was stuck on the mesh arm. Bang. 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 The mesh is still shooting its gun even though it can even aim at me I then use this as my chance to attack I grabbed my handgun from my inventory and aim at the mesh my vision is still blurry but I was still close to it. Ting. Change bullet type reload. Liana. My vision started to correct itself self and I can slowly see the robot. Fire bullet. Liana. Click. Wash. 
Wash. My gun started to light up and flames started to form into a circle at the front of the barrel of the gun and I can slowly feel the heat from my arm as my gun started to glow. I slowly got up into a crouching position stretching my arm to the front with the glowing gun. Ting. The mesh looks at me with its glowing red eye the missile in its hand stopped working but still didn't explode and so the mesh started moving its only hands with the gun at me sadly it was too slow. Buuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
You still need some time to rest you were knocked out for 12 hours you know? Echo. Eh? Liana. That's quite a lot to take in but, I guess that's good. You should rest you are still not fully healed and we still have about 3 days anyway. I think we already completed our objective so now we just wait till help arrives. Echo. I slowly nodded. Um where are we? Liana. Oh, we're in a small apartment place near the skyscraper as you can see it from the window. Echo. I look at where the window is and saw that we are close to the skyscrapers. I can see a lot of red crystals glowing in the distance. It's around 5 p.m. it seems. The sun is setting in the distance, but the crystal seems to glow and light up the place a little. Well at least we have a breather now. Echo. Liana. Well kinda true. Every day is so intense that I never really have any day off. Even at night I still have to be cautious while sleeping. Having this without anything bothering you is nice. I slowly relax on the bed while looking out the window. I then remembered something. R. Liana. Echo. Echo look at me when I said that. What is it, kid? Echo. Oh just remembering something before I got here. Liana. And what is that? Liana. I just remembered that my family was about to throw me a birthday party a couple of days late when we got home well that was before I die and reincarnated here, Liana. End of block 1